It is I, the meatball, the meat man. I have my nice blankie on because I'm a cold boy today. How's everybody doing? I am a comfy, I am a comfy boy today. It's working today and you have a local recording so losing 30 minutes isn't all bad. That's true. Frozen meatball today? I don't know why, but I think my circulation in my hands today has just not been good because they've been cold all day. It's like 2 a.m. Well, it's like 12.06 p.m. for me. I think the music is a little bit too loud. I have it at like minus 40 dB. I'll keep pumping it. I'll pump it down to minus 45 How's that sounding to everybody in comparison to my voice? Hello, hello, folks. Hope you are all doing well. Another day, another hunt. Make sure to drink water. Or, if you're based, make sure to drink Gamer Subs. Exclamation point Gamer Subs because I'm an affiliate and it adds time to the timer. Practically can't hear it. Then this is good, right? I just want to make sure it is balanced. Also, I made sure to pin the message today that if you were just jumping into the stream, make sure to uh, like the uh, like the stream. The more that it gets liked, the more hopefully it gets pushed out. I made sure to do my d Discord post, my Twitter post, my community tab. I even did the community tab to make sure. So, let's get cracking. We ended up getting a duplicate shiny Geodude yesterday, and we're only counting the Zubats on this counter. So as long as I get my Zubat in less than 8,192 Zubats, I am happy. If it goes over that, I'll be rather disappointed. Yesterday, we ended up getting about uh, 3,950 uh, 3, encounters in 12 hours of Zubat. So either today we get it, or today we go over odds. I would like to not go over odds, please. Bayleaf looks good, yeah. I love the, the golden leaves over like the, the regular like green leaves. Morning chat, morning meat. Hello, Mortis. How are you doing? If no Zubat skill issue, agreed. Wait, two shiny Geodudes? Yes. Well, one was on Route 46. I don't know if it shows the Met area. It does not in this gen. Uh, but we ended up getting a second one yesterday in here. But that's Dupes Claws, so we can keep rolling for uh, Zubat. And uh, pray to God, no Dunsparce, but again, uh, like I was saying yesterday, Dunsparce, because it's a 1% encounter, and Shinies are 1 in 8,192, theoretically the odds of getting a Shiny Dunsparce is 1 in 819,200. So, we want Dunsparce, you, no, no we don't. Let's let him save it for a game where it's more common. Exactly. Still trying to find the shiny Zubat? Yes, I am. I did not manage to find it yesterday. Again, we found a shiny Geodude, an extra one. I already had one on my team, but we're trying our best. One in X and Y. It took one, me 1,511 eggs to get a shiny Froki with Masuda method. Meanwhile, a friend of mine got two shinies in 11 eggs. I was a little upset he spaghetti, I could imagine. I would be too. Like Scarlet and Violet, where you can get it to Dunsparce. Yeah, I didn't get to use that in my uh, my Scarlet and Violet run in season one because or season yeah season one because I uh, I used Dunsparce in Gen two because I ran into it. How's the hunt for the vomit bat going? Oh, it's it's going. We're still we're still under odds. As long as we're under odds and we don't have it, that's fine. But as soon as we go over and we don't have it, that's uh that's an issue. My fastest shiny was a Dreepy. First egg, and I wasn't even trying to get a shiny. Just needed it for dex. That's comedy. Uh, what if you encounter a shiny Dunsparce first? Well, then that's our encounter for this area, because we don't have Dupes Claws for Dunsparce. We have Dupes Claws for Geodude, but we, and we're trying to get Zubat to get uh, Dupes Claws for Slowpoke and Slowpoke well, because the only two encounters in, in there are uh, Zubat and Slowpoke. 
JK, thank you for the $5 e-dues. We're already adding to the timer today. I very much appreciate it. Let's see if we can keep net neutral today. I want to see if we can stay at 55 hours, if not go higher. Maybe even 60. That'd be crazy. Again, my goal is to keep this timer at least afloat until we um, we finish Gold, Silver, Crystal. Once I'm able to make the Gold, Silver, Crystal video, I'm sure that more people will end up coming in here. And then, you know, at that point, I feel like uh, we'll be able to keep the timer rolling until the end of the series. It's really the first hurdle is just finishing this one. Uh, you can evolve Dunsparce without using it in battle. You just have to level it up while knowing Hyper Drill. Okay, interesting. I still don't want to use it here, though. Yo, Tom Joker, thank you for the five gifties. If you didn't get one, type dodged in chat. It is simple as that. Adding 25 to 17, which is 42. Thank you again, Tom Joker. Feeling good about that Zubat today? I am too, hopefully. I mean, again, we'll probably, if we don't get it, we're going over odds today. Uh, I decided to stream at my normal time just because um, I... I had a feeling that I was not going to be able to get to sleep last night very easily. Um, I just felt it. And even though I was drinking the non-caffeinated gamer sups, I still... My, my brain was still racing last night. I didn't fall asleep very, uh, very easily. I kept getting up in the middle of the night. So not very good night's sleep. But I, I said, all right, let's, uh, let's just stream at the normal time. I will forego WrestleMania night one. I will watch it before WrestleMania Night 2 tomorrow, and I'll just watch it straight while working on other stuff. Figured that would make more sense. Yeah, Stand and Deliver started literally as soon as I started stream, so oopsie. Sorry, wrestling fans. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of uh, overlap, even though I'm a wrestling fan. There's not, like, a ton of overlap in the, in the community, hopefully. Grab my a bit of this blanket to use over the D-pad so that I can, you know, dry it off a little bit. Stupid, uh, stupid hands always get all sweaty. Mom spaghetti, as it were. That is not what I meant to do. You legend, I I'm trying to be. I don't. <laughs> One day there will be the legend of the meat. Looking forward to Mania? Uh, I'm hoping for it. Yo, Sanal, thank you so much for the gifty. Appreciate it. Another five minutes to the timer. Again, Chad, if you end up getting your own membership or you end up gifting some to other people, every every base level membership is going to add a, uh, a five-minute chunk to the timer. Super Chats, every dollar that you do in Super Chats is going to add a minute to the timer. And ever, uh, using exclamation point gamer sups and using my um, affiliate code chaotic meat uh, for every dollar that you spend on any of the beverages or the uh, the instant noodles uh, will add a minute to the timer as well. Are you gonna name your shinies? No. Yeah, that's what the FAQ is for. Fingerless gaming gloves. Well, that doesn't solve the problem of my like. Fingers always being oi uh, like oily. I'm an Italian man. My entire, my entire skin just decides it's like, all right, it's time to be a be a weenie, and you know, that's why my face is always not very clear. Still trying that um that new geology stuff that I got uh, for my face, so that hopefully it clears up. Maybe I can get it to look uh, like a normal human being without breakouts and stuff. So. I feel that as someone who's 100% Greek. Yeah, I can... Uh, Greeks and Italians, I know, are definitely... They definitely have the most breakouts. I don't know if there's any other, um... Like... Type of people that end up having that. But I know for me... And my family, because a lot of us are Italian, we have that problem. Meatball, do you have merch? Uh, I don't have my own merch, no. 
Maybe one day. Thank you so much, Sinal, for the two buckaroonies. Let's hope you find the shiny Zubat. I hope so, too. I don't want to go over odds. Please. Certified white guy? Wish I could relate. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't wish you could relate. I mean, I am a white guy, but, like, I don't know. Itali Italian guys still don't have... Uh, they still have that, uh, that problem. Irish here, I get the finger grease playing Pokemon Go on, on uh, my screen is almost unreadable. Sheesh. Yeah, I, I have that problem with my, my phone screen too. Like, I, I will swipe up and it will just leave an entire line. I'm like, I, and then I immediately grab my uh, a bit of my shirt and wipe it off. And it's like, next swipe, do the same thing. And it's, it's, I, that's why I don't use my phone much. It's because I saw that gray tee with your logo. I was just curious. Oh, I got those as, like, Christmas presents. I didn't, uh, I, but I don't have any, any merch of my own. I probably, I wouldn't sell a shirt with just my logo on it, because I feel like nobody really gives a shit about that. If it was something I would want to do, do something cool, like, um, like Alex Simo of the channel Simo over on the Yu-Gi-Oh! side did a shirt for the progression series that I think looked like really cool and had a cool design on it. Uh, but it wasn't just like, oh, generic YouTuber, uh, thumbnail or not thumbnail, but, um, generic YouTuber logo on a shirt just being like, yep, that's, that's a YouTuber I watch. I want it to be cooler than that. I, at least you don't have the issue of, uh, toddler vomiting on your phone. Well, yeah, that's true. Where it seeps inside the otter box speakers. Ugh. Will you use Alakazam in Gen 2? Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Jared Portorf, thank you for the five dollar e dues. Take my money. Shut up and take my money. Absolutely. I will take your money and convert it to time on the clock. Can you raise your volume? It's really low. Is it? I have it maxed out. It's at like minus 10 dB. Uh, I feel like you just have to raise your own speakers. Music volume is still a bit low. That's probably fine. I don't want to put it any higher than that. Just, you know, out of copyright concerns. Even though it's just like remixes of video game music, even uh, two of my streams have been, uh, one of them was limited for ads because of just the amount of language I was using in the video or in the stream. And one of them was uh, just caught like a, uh, a remix of, or like a, a metal cover of a, one of the video game songs, one of the, or no, it was the DuckTales moon theme. Yet it attributed it to the wrong person. And I'm like, that is not the same recording. I tried looking into disputing it, but it didn't give me an option of <laughs> this This dispute is wrong. This is not the same material. Um, so I don't know. My skin oils are straight up radioactive. Jesus Christ. Yo, what's good, doggos? How are you doing? Hello, Mr. Meatball. Hello, Samuel. Hope you're doing well. Music is fine. All right, Steven, thank you for the input. I appreciate it. Just as long as everybody's, uh, you know, able to hear everything clearly. And that the, you know, the background music is the background music. Doing good about, how about you? I am doing all right. A little tired just because of uh, not the best sleep last night, but we're doing okay. I am doing fine. Sound is crisp, but not overwhelming. Well, then that is exactly what we're looking for. 2,255 on my Zubat hunt. How long is this going to take? Ugh, I don't know. My old channel got taken down because of copyrighted videos. Oof. Yeah, that's just, that's just YouTube. Don't use the copyrighted material or you're going to be doomed. The first shiny I caught was a Pidgey in Soul Silver, right after I got my first Pokeballs, so 100% full odds and random. 
Well, at least it was after you got Pokeballs instead of, uh, you know, before. Luckily, I've never had the, um, the accident of running into one while not having Pokeballs, so... I'm playing on actual cartridge, so it's slow. That's fair. Uh, if it was before, I would have just rage quit Soul Silver for the second time. I I would understand. Sanal, thank you so much for the five gifties. If you didn't get one, type dodge and chat. It is simple as that. Um. I have to do math because I have to enter these manually. There we go. Controller? Oh, it's paused. That time it wasn't the controller, it was user error. Don't you just love, don't you just love user error? And you realize it and you just go do a good old face palm and you're like, yep, I'm a stupid idiot today. I ran into a shiny piss rat in gold and that was the first and last time I didn't have balls in my bag. Well, thank God I had mine when I uh, when I got my mine to finally friggin' show up. No, thank you. I do not want to do that. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with that. My very first shiny was a Charmander on Fire Red on a save I didn't intend to hunt on as a kid. Yellow Lizard. It is weird that it's yellow. I don't like the uh, shiny coloration. Funnily enough, Teon did a thumbnail uh, for his Fire Red Leaf Green Shiny only uh, video that he did recently. And he put, um, he recolored like the shiny Charmander for the thumbnail. Which I don't know was for clickbait or if it was for, look at what it could have been. But uh, looking at it from the perspective of look at what it could have been, I was just like, man, if it had the same coloration as Charizard, it'd be so much better. One of my favorite shinies was from Let's Go Launch Day. Booted up the game, walked into Viridian Forest, and there was an orange Metapod just uh, standing there. Uh, took that Butterfree to the Hall of Fame. Understandable. Sometimes those early game mons, if you end up finding a shiny of it, it's, it's a little bit too sentimental not to do so. My record for most shinies in one day is six. My lord, wow. One in my Ruby for Fessor Oaks challenge. Which are, are um, oh, two. You just typed one. There's two. There's Roselia and Ninkata. Uh, then the other, or. Oh, I'm confused now. One in my Ruby Professor Oak challenge, which are Ninkata and Reslia, which I'm guessing you meant to type Roselia. But that's two, and the other five. Um, our Brute Bonnet in Scarlet. So that's seven. Wait, I, got, I did get Ninkata, but earlier, not in the same day. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying now. Is that Battle on the Big Bridge? Yes. Right when I got Scarlet, I found a shiny Fido right after I just got Pokeball. Safe to say it was on my team the whole game. Hey, uh, Doxbun is a good Pokemon. Uh, I mean, the only reason it's good is because it's uh, it's just the single-player machine where it's like, okay, what Pokemon would you like to sweep with today? That one? All right, let's do that, Baton Pass. Most I've gotten one day was 14 if we count Pokemon Go. All of them were Hoppips. My god. I'm guessing it was a community day. I have a shiny Spoink. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like Spoink. 
I like rum pig. Really wanted to see Hardys back in WWE. I really want them to stay in AEW long enough to where they get to do the, the Edge and Christian versus Hardys match one more time before going back. I don't know if they can hold on to them for that long or if they can play out the Christian Cage versus Adam Copeland story uh, fast enough to get it to happen, but we will see. 196 people watching, only 93 likes. Kind of whack behavior, chat. True, folks. Make sure to give the video, uh, the uh, stream a like. I always call it a video because that's what I'm used to. No news related to Matt contract at the moment. Uh, eh, I'm not too worried about it. They're, they'll do whatever they want to do. I just think it would be cool if we, uh, if we got the one more time with both teams. I just really hope the Hardys don't show up tonight. I want something new, not a 33 repeat. It would be funny if they did the same thing seven years apart, returning at Mania. Uh, did you watch Bloodsport? Uh, I did not get the chance to watch it last night. I kind of just tried to go to bed like right after I went. I streamed. Trying not to throw off my sleep schedule, basically. I'll probably check out most of the most of the stuff tomorrow on my day off. I'm doing three days on, one day off, and since this is the sixth stream, tomorrow is my day off. Don't forget to switch to live chat instead of top chat so you're not confused. Uh, yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has it on top chat, but don't do that. Do, do, the, do the live chat. It makes much more sense. My first ever full odds shiny was a Shuppet in Alpha Sapphire. That's a pretty decent one. Uh, the coloration isn't that different, but that's cool. Um, a couple years later, my brother got a shiny Shuppet in Omega Ruby as his first shiny. That's funny. Like or ho will disintegrate you with the power of the sun. Yes. Yo, how's everybody's day? My day is fine, Gabriel. Hope yours is going well. I'm not a shiny hunter, but my first shiny was in Scarlet about an hour into the game. It was a Meryl. I did get Pokeress and Fire Red and was like, the fuck is that? <laughs> I've only gotten Poke Rust like two or three times in my entire life, but every time it happens, I'm just like, why does this, why? I don't need this, but thank you. You excited for Mania tonight? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to be streaming through night one, but I'll be catching up on night one and watching night two tomorrow, so I think it'll be fun. Yo, what's up, Golden Thomas? Hello, Chaotic Meatball Stream. How's everybody hanging? We are doing pretty well, I would like to say at least. I'm doing all right. First Pokemon I caught in Pokemon Sword had Pokerus, so my whole team ended up getting it. That's so funny. The likelihood of that is crazy. My first full odds was a Piss Weasel in the grass outside of Valley Windworks. Ah, yes, Piss Weasel. Why are so many different shinies piss colored? Or I guess the most colloquial term we could call it, yellow. <laughs> my first shiny was a Psyduck in Pokemon Gold for Game Boy Color. Uh, blew mine and my friend's minds because we didn't know what a shiny was back then. Yeah, I'm sure it blew a lot of people's minds when they when they accidentally found one. I mean, I'm sure that like the, the Gyarados kind of gives it away. Like, oh, this is a thing in the game now. But, I don't know, kids could have just thought that that was, like, a a, a one-off. Like, that's just not a thing that other Pokemon can be, because that was, like, a static encounter. But, I don't know. My favorite gen is Gen 2, Pokemon Silver, and Pokemon Pants. I am uh, I am still not a Johto fan. I, I think these... Uh, the, the, the structure of it, the level, uh, the level scaling, the availability of Johto Pokemon is just not good. The stats of the Johto Pokemon are just not good. So, oopsie. I used my shiny Geodude as a trophy, gave him to the legendary status. That's funny. Uh, one day I was on a school trip to an aquarium, and I was in the Whirl Islands in Heart Gold, and I found a random shiny Z Zubat, and yes, I caught it. Well... Uh, consider me jealous right now, because I would, I would like to get my Zubat soon. 
What do you like about Johto? The Pokemon designs are good. Most of them. The rest of it kind of blows. The gameplay loop is fine, but the design that goes around the gameplay loop in this entire game is just kind of meh. Has the third Geodude popped up yet? Thankfully not. Please do not speak that into existence. Thank you. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wasn't aware of the concept of shiny Pokemon. Uh, the Red Gyarados was the Red Gyarados, right? I guess it pays off to where um, I ended up seeing my first shiny outside of the, the, the Red Gyarados, so I kind of figured out that that was a really rare thing. Um, I think, like, I, I was, like, six, or I was, like, five or six when I found my first one, and I was like, that Geodude is not right, and it also sparkled. What is going on? Uh, thankfully, we, we had a family computer at the time, so I could, I could uh, at least look it up. I was I was surprised uh, at the time. It was like eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. That's a lot. <laughs> so, you know, you, you're uh, as a kid, you're like, wow, I could have I could have won the lottery with that one. Then again, I I I might have been one of the only kids who thought, dang, I could have won the lottery with those odds. Mostly because my mother was addicted to scratch offs. So, gotta gotta love gambling. Man, still no turd rock? We got two turd rocks. One of my favorite shinies it was a Rattata. Uh, caught it in fi a fire red leaf green ROM hack and hacked it into black too. Now it's in home. Really? It lets you get it into home? Well, I guess if it was technically a legal encounter, uh, if it was a legal encounter in, um, in the originals then it would have been a legal encounter for home, even though it was a ROM hack. That's cool. My mom was addicted to Candy Crush, and she started playing again today. Uh-oh. My favorite shiny is Metagross. That one's a sick one. I like the shiny for Metagross. I like the shiny for Mega Metagross. Honestly, I wish they had, uh, speaking of, like, shiny mega Pokemon, I really do wish that they had, um, redone the coloration for, um, the, for, like, shiny Gengar. Because, like, mega Gengar looks so much better. And I wish they had just been like, okay, we're just gonna change this one so that we can line it up with the, um, with the mega I always joke saying I grew up in Johto because it was the first game I owned, but I do agree accessibility to Johto Pokemon is the game's downfall. Otherwise, it brought a bunch of cool features. I mean, it was cool to have, like, the, um, the shinies, like, the fact that shiny Pokemon started existing in this gen is cool. The new two, uh, the two new types in Dark and Ghost, or not Dark and Ghost, Dark and Steel, why did I say Ghost? Um, those were neat. I don't know, the rest of the game just doesn't really hold up to me. My first game, of course, like I, I've said it plenty of times, was Fire Ed. Uh, I, but I also played Emerald. I also played Diamond and Pearl. I also did play, uh, I did try Gold and Silver, but again, they didn't resonate with me. When the remakes came out, I thought they were fine. I thought they were completely acceptable games. Uh, but then, because I, I, I got the English release of Heart Gold Soul Silver, specifically Soul Silver, uh, but then I got the Japanese release of Black which came out only a few months after the uh, release of HGSS in, in North America. So I didn't have much time to resonate with uh, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, and then I jumped over to Gen 5, and I'm like, yep, this is way better. I can't even understand this game, and I like it more than, <laughs> than HGSS, like, way better. And uh, when I finally got to play that in English, I was, I was further cemented in that. Then I played Black, Black 2 in English, or not in English, in Japanese, Again, even further cemented, yes, the Gen 5's even be like way better than anything in the series. The English version, 
Mwah. And then everything started going downhill. I remember staying home sick, uh, pretending to be sick so that I could play Pokemon X when it came out. And uh, I played through the entire thing. And... Not fun. No, nah, it wasn't that it wasn't fun. It was just extremely goddamn underwhelming. Uh, it's just... Like, I had hopes, like, while I was playing through it for myself. Like, the amount of content between Gyms 1 and 2 and the amount that levels went up, I was like, wow, they really started fitting a lot of content between Gyms in comparison to the, the 2D sprite-based games. This is great. I really hope it continues like this. Then, um... Then it didn't, and then everything kind of started falling like a landslide. I was like, oh, oh, they finished all the content between Gyms 1 and 2, but then the rest of it was rushed. The fact that they only got that far just speaks volumes on uh, the amount of time that, uh, the little amount of time that Pokemon games have to be in the oven. They need more time. And that's why I hate whenever I see other creators, like, uh, sometimes I'm in like I'm in a couple of like Pokemon creator discords and I'll see people complain about man I really wish there was a new Pokemon game this year it would be really good for content and I'm like yeah I know it'd be good for content but you know what else is good for content actual good fucking video games uh just I don't know what do do ROM hacks do fan games uh you know do challenges in older titles wait for the official games please, th to be good please is this departure this is departure yes don't forget to drop a like indeed folks if you have not dropped a like yet make sure to double check scroll down click that like button tab over if you're just listening and doing other stuff i would very much appreciate if you took that couple seconds to go ahead and do that make sure you're also subscribed to the channel for some reason these streams also uh they lose subscribers to the channel i don't know if it's because people are annoyed by my near daily streaming already or if like people are like no i want just videos and i'm like well if you just want videos i get it but at the same time if you're gonna unsubscribe over that i don't want you here <laughs> finally caught a stream on time let's go hell yeah aster welcome Still looking for Zubat? Yeah, we didn't end up get. We got the du duplicate Geodude yesterday, so the the shiny was eaten up by uh, bad bad chance. But we're still counting Zubat encounters. Again, as long as I get it in less than 8,192 Zubats, I will not be disappointed. Even if we get a duplicate another duplicate Geodude, as long as it's below 8,192, I will be content. Imagine unsubscribing over the ability to watch part of a future video live. I don't know. Uh, my my viewer base, like so, uh, I think my casual viewer base is really weird. Uh, I don't know. Like on my newest community post that I did for the A Drive box break that I'll be part of tomorrow. Speaking of which, exclamation point box break. Uh, we're going to be breaking a base set two booster box and an Elestral's prototype booster box, and there's going to be me and 35 other creators attending. Uh, so definitely hang out if you want to see a bunch of Pokemon people together, open some cool packs. Just hanging out. Uh, we're going to be doing that on twitch.tv forward slash a drive. Uh, but the yes, that'll be all, uh, that's all linked there. But uh, on the community post I did for that, one of the the ta uh, one of the comments was just unsubbed, and I'm like, why? Because I announced that I was doing something with uh, with a drive and other creators. I I, I don't understand. People are weird. Like, I feel like uh, some viewers just feel like they're entitled to stuff on YouTube, and I'm like, you're getting content for free. Mostly. Unless you decide to contribute to the creator, either by using YouTube Premium to bypass ads and to give more of a uh, more of a revenue share to the, to the streamer and or uh, video creator that you're watching, or if you're like you guys are doing to keep this timer up, gifting memberships, buying your own memberships, doing super chats, that kind of stuff. Otherwise, it is free. So you're steal. Uh, so you're stealing my air, unsubbed. Exactly. Uh, one for what version of uh, departure are you playing? Mythos? No, that was a uh, Toxic X Eternity's rendition. And Sanal, thank you for the two buckaroonies. Let me go ahead and add that to the timer. Uh, I just decided to throw on. Uh, Jack is one of my friends. I I met him back when I was in middle school oh 
Advis Speaks, thank you so much for the five as well. But yeah, I met Jack back when I was in late middle school, when I was trying to learn guitar. Him and the little V-Mills helped me immensely with uh, with honing my skills with that. And while I, I wasn't able to become like successful in terms of doing video game metal covers on the internet, I certainly did uh, with uh, with Pokemon videos, so, you know, I can't complain. I do love music, but I also think I've made my magnum opus already. I made, like, a 32-minute long Mega Man medley with, like, 60 other creators. Um, it's unlisted on my channel, mostly because when I recorded the video, I was at the heaviest I was in my life. I was, like, 320 pounds at the time, and... Uh, I hate looking at it. I genuinely hate looking at myself at that point. I was just like, how the fuck did I let myself go that far? Um, one day, I would like to have that remastered because I have all of, I still have all of like the stems. I still have everything saved on a hard drive, but I would like to re-record the video that I did, relearn all of the parts on my guitar, on my bass, just be able to record a much more clean video, have a better sound to it so that, you know, people can actually enjoy it. But for me, it just feels tainted by how I looked in that video. I can still listen to it. I still love the way it sounds, uh, but I, I can't look at the video. I just am, like, disgusted at myself when I do. Like, I understand body positivity, and people might take that as fat phobic, but at the same time, just being fat really isn't healthy. It's going to strain your joints. It's going to, you know, if you're consuming too much sugar and you're going to... Uh, exhaust your body of the ability to produce enough insulin to keep your, um, keep your, you know, blood sugar levels down. Uh, it, it, and you might get diabetes. It sucks. I've had family members have it. I, I've, I've seen my stepmother's mother die of it. Like, it sucks. Don't let yourself go. Like, if, if you can, please find something to try to reverse it. It's not fo fat fat phobic to be concerned about someone. Yeah, but people, there are some really extremist type people towards like fat phobia and saying that like if you're encouraging somebody to work out, that's fat phobic. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I think it's a good thing to go out and take walks, get physically active, even if you're not a fan of working out. I'm not. I don't like it at all. But I, uh, I, I can do a walk and I can listen to music, clear my head, and I'm also getting physical activity in. That's that's something I enjoy doing. Well, we're when we're talking about your appearance, I always thought your hair looks amazing. Well, thank you, first of all. Um, I, I've been trying to do as much as I can to keep it relatively good without going to, like, salons and going crazy on it. I just do a good shampoo conditioner every night. I make sure that it's... Uh, I mean, I don't have curly hair, which helps. I don't use an air, uh, I don't use a hair dryer very often. The only times I do is if I have to take a shower like right before I have to go to some like a public thing. Um, but that's that's rare. Usually I'll do it ahead of time just so that I can uh, let my hair dry naturally. People tend to think black or white and there are no other options. Yeah, especially on the internet. But Did you see the live stream for the shiny Professor Oak challenge? The bot's been going for like 450 days. And is still looking for a 1 in 819,200 shiny C dot. Unsurprising. <clears throat> and you guys think that I'm going to get the shiny Dunsparce. You know, if if the bot that's running 24-7 has been going for 450 days and still hasn't got a 1 in 819,200 shiny C dot, we are not getting the Dunsparce. Yes, you are. We are not getting the goddamn Dunsparce. You are crazy. If you think we are getting it, if I do, you all owe me a hundred dollars each. Holy shit, I know this Xenoblade uh, song, Engage the Enemy. No, Engage the Enemy was the one from the original. This is Counter Attack from 2. I always hear this at like the penultimate moment of an Alpha Rad video. Like, he, he likes using Counter Attack, and Counter Attack is a really good song. Uh, a lot of the Xenoblade OSTs are really good. I remember wanting to learn how to play Mechanical Rhythm, and uh, 
uh, you will know our names back when I was like in my guitar class in high school, and I did a pretty good job of learning how to play them. But uh, God, I, I need to pick up my guitar more. Uh, I just have I just don't have time with my other uh, other hobbies in Yu-Gi-Oh, other games, as well as you know my work doing doing Pokemon videos. That's just not enough time in the day to do other stuff, along with you know regular old life responsibilities. Today will be two Shinies, one Death, and Pokemon League. I don't think we're getting to the League today. We still have, um... Like, I'm only hunting for Zubat because I want to get Slowpoke. If we can get both of those, we'll move on. But I I, I feel like we're going to be doing most of the stream today looking for Zubat and, uh, and Slowpoke. If you get Shiny Dunsparce, then it will become your channel mascot. That would be funny. Hi, hope the Donothon has been going well. I think so. We've been going net neutral on time for the last few days, and I appreciate you guys keeping the uh, the timer as high as possible, because, uh, again, a as long as we get through Gold, Silver, Crystal, and I can say in the video itself that I'm doing these at the beginning of the video as opposed to the end like I did in the Red, Blue, Yellow video, um, I think that people uh, more people will come in, the timer will start going up more and more, and we don't have to worry about it potentially uh, sinking down. So, What is your favorite starter Pokemon? Snivy, easily. Love Snivy. I'm still pissed they didn't put... Um, Tantal Day into Smash? I don't know what that is. Oh, from, from like the Xenoblade OST? Same, Snivy is the best. It is a cool cool starter design. Even uh, all three stages are cool. Uh, I already liked Snivy from the get-go, like when the starters were announced. Uh, they showed them on a Japanese program called Pokemon Sunday. And I, I was following gaming news already at the time, and I was like nine years old. And when I saw them, I'm like, oh, I need, I need, the, I need the green one. I need the grass one. Immediately. Um... If I remember, uh, God, a, a lot of the Japanese names for Gen 5 Pokemon, I do remember. Like, I remember the Japanese name for uh, Snivy was Tutaja. Uh, I remember the uh, Japanese name for Tepig was uh, Pokabu. And I remember the Japanese name for Oshawott was Mijumaru. I was just like, oh. Uh, it was funny referring to Pokemon as their Japanese names at that time because we didn't have English names. And I learned, like, some of the... Uh, the katakana of the of the pokemon's names and i was like oh oh this is actually doing something even though i didn't know the meanings of each individual character um and i never really got into the language even though i tried i tried learning in middle school i my parents bought me a ds game called my japanese coach but i don't think that was enough i think i needed more supplementary material Remember when Nintendo said Nuzlocking was as bad as ROM hacks and the community got so pissed? I think that was a misquote from the people that used to do Nintendo Minute on like the Wii, uh, there was a, like a, there was a Nintendo channel on the Nintendo Wii that you could watch that went over some games. It was like a five minute show they would do every week. I remember tuning into those every week because it was like Nintendo endorsed YouTube, but not on YouTube. Very funny. But yeah, I think the, the hosts of that. Uh, now have a podcast that they do independently, and they wanted to highlight Nuzlocks in one of the Nintendo minutes, but they didn't uh, like they didn't allow them because it was uh, Nintendo doesn't want f uh, people to know fans exist. It's been this it's been the same thing for like decades at this point. It's the same reason they renamed Earthbound Zero as Earthbound Beginnings because the original English patch that was made by fans for the uh, NES version of Mother or the Famicom version of Mother. Uh, they called it Earthbound Zero. So Nintendo was like, well, we can't use that because if people go Google Earthbound Zero, they'll figure out fan communities exist. But if they Google Earthbound Beginnings, they'll go to us. And then we can charge two extra dollars inst uh, over what normal NES games cost. And I'm just like, ugh, oh well. It's also why they won't release Mother 3 in the West. Yeah, because the Mother 3 English patch is too popular. Um, I believe there's also a video uh, by the... 
uh, from a channel called Moon Channel that went over why Mother 3 will never be brought over to the West. Um, I think it was pretty insightful. I remember when the only name for Moxie we had was Earthquake Spiral. What a what a translation. What a That's so funny. I remember having a Pokemon some Pokemon collectible guide in the late 90s. Had a bunch of TCG sets that were weren't translated to English yet. Seeing Japanese gym heroes and Team Rocket cards were wild. Well, Gym Leader was, uh, there was, there was two sets. There was Gym Heroes and there was Gym Challenge. But yeah, it, it is kind of cool. They had the sets, like, years before us at that point. We were still trying to catch up, even into the Neo era. Hmm. Mother 3 won't be released because it's so full of copyright stuff that's okay in Japan, but here would be a giant mess. You know what's so funny is that stuff's okay there, even though there's no f fair use. Like, I don't understand. Like, we have fair use here. If it's transformative, which it is because it's in the form of a friggin' retail video game, I feel like it's fine. Plus, it's only alluding to, like, stuff. And plus, they can change names around. They can change graphics. It's not hard. GBA materials are pretty widely known in how to change them if you just bring in a team that knows how to use GBA uh, hardware and programming for it. And yet we skipped the Versus set. Yes, we did. We skipped the, the Versus set that had the Gen 2 gym leaders in it, which was unfortunate. According to Reggie, Mother 3's lack of localization has nothing to do with the content in the game. He said it was just business. Again, that was another line that, um, that was kind of uh, not torn apart, but like decrypted in a way by, um, by Moon Channel in his video. I would really recommend you check out that video uh, at some point, preferably after the stream, you know, I don't want you guys to leave. I know I'm late, but I see you finally caught the unknown. The unknown did not take long. The unknown was like four and a half hours. The Geodude was like six. So it's it's not that. Uh, the Zubat has been taking a while. It's, been, it's always been the Dupes Claws Pokemon that take forever. It's like the Pokemon that I don't need decide to be like, oh, you don't need me. Well, <laughs> then I'm not going to show up. <coughs> According to Reggie. Chat, I wonder if Reggie might lie. I mean, I think he's been open about stuff since, uh, since leaving Nintendo. He's been a lot more open about it because he's not like, you know, <laughs> his job doesn't depend on it anymore. But... Uh, I definitely think that there might be stuff that he covers that might look bad on him if he uh, says something different. So, yeah, probably. What's your answer for Whitney? Uh, roll out Geodude. Defense curl. Kill. Hold a gold berry so that I can recover all of my HP when I go below half. Under odds, uh, currently under odds for uh, for Zubat. We ended up getting a duplicate Geodude during all of our encounters, so I can't say that we're we're probably not under odds in general right now. We're probably close, but what was your first ever YouTube video? I don't know. I accidentally let my finger slip. I will not count this next the Zubat. It's so insulting because Mother 3 is uh, on the Nintendo Switch Online GBA emulator in Japan only. Exactly. Like, that's that's poopy. Zangoose and Seviper being in the same A group is stupid, not gonna lie. They can't breed, right? You can't take, like, a male Seviper and a female Zangoose. Like, there's no... They had to have hard-programmed that to, like, not work because of, like, the, the canonicity of that being ridiculous. They can breed? Okay, cool. So, Game Freak screwed up again. Shocking. Common Game Freak L. I get it's a small detail, but the small details, you know, they matter. If you can if you can get that, you could always, uh, like, you spot those, and it's like, oh, okay, they really paid attention. They really actually care.
I'm so pissed that Earthbound will never get an HD remaster. Eh. Maybe. Maybe it'll get re-released again. Who knows? Also, Nitto Queen and Nitto King can't breed. Well, I think that's because they're theoretically genderless. Even though technically they're, uh, you know, they're, because it's like a holdover of Gen 1, I think that's the reason why. Uh, I don't know why they never bothered to change it. Probably because they were like, eh, nobody's going to care about this anyway. But again, the fine details. If you can make the fine details uh, and y you can correct those and you can make them make sense, uh, those are points of uh, like nitpicking that you can cut out. People might like the... It's not like that's going to improve the game exponentially, but it does show that you care if you make sure to f fix those fine details and bugs. You can use Ditto and Ditto King, but not Ditto and Ditto Queen. That's so weird. I, I don't understand. Nidoran female can breed, just not Nidorina, Nitto Queen. Why is the base form allowed to do that? That's sus. <laughs> Nidorina and Nitto Queen are in the undiscovered egg group. That's dumb. People theorize it's because Nitto Queen has menopause. Probably not, but, you know, Game Freak isn't going to really care to give, like, a proper answer. Still waiting for a re-release of Zelda Twilight Princess. You got it, and it was called Twilight Princess HD on Wii U, but you didn't buy it because it was on the Wii U. But I did. And I would do it again. Male go-goats can learn milk drink, and I don't like it. Now that you've uh, taught that to me, I don't like it either. It might as well say, Go-goat used auto It's it, it healed. Ew. Why did you say that? Well, the fact that they let it happen is dumb. Again, fine details. Don't let people make jokes like that by going combing over your fine details in the game. I just sneezed. Interesting thing to tell, chat. Congratulations. I'm just thinking of that one tweet, the Imagine Men. Yeah, Imagine Men. All men are like this. Aim alt, am I right? Maybe all go goats are like cows in barnyards, so even male cows have udders. Oh yeah, they did give the male cow udders in in barnyard. Does that mean that cows can reproduce asexually in the barnyard universe? These are the details we need to know. The details matter. Oh, I said imagine if men. Oh, I was about... <laughs> it's funnier if it's just imagine men, you know? Imagine those. Those guys, those guys suck. Deep dive into barnyard lore. I don't even know much about the show. I just know that there was a movie and that they made a show like several years later for some ungodly reason. And I never paid attention to it. I thought it was stupid. I'm confused on how Pokemon of different types can learn moves that Pokemon of the same type can't. Balancing reasons. Things that don't make sense if you're thinking about them from the canonicity of the games rather than the, you know, the, the actual game aspect. Have you heard of Choche007? You should. No, I have not. Now that Go Goat is ruined, what other Pokemon has got you to change opinions on thro uh, thorough info spinoffs or so? Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I guess there's the infamous one of the Japanese version of Diamond and Pearl in the library where they said that uh, Pokemon used to marry humans. That, that one threw me off. I'm glad they changed that in the English version to where Pokemon and humans eat at the same table. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I can see that. I mean, they are relatively intelligent creatures in canon. It would make sense if, they, uh, if the more intelligent ones would eat at a table with a human. Yeah, it makes sense the Magnemite line can't learn Iron Tail. Well, yeah. Like, if you don't have the um, extremity to be able to use, like, certain tails, or certain things like tail moves, like fi like punching moves, like kicking moves, I think that makes a lot, a lot of sense. But those are, like, exceptions to the rule, I think. Whoopers, punches, disagree. Well, Quagsire has arms, but at the same time, I don't know why Wooper learns them. Quagsire should only be, be the only one that can. They knew what they were on about with the library. Well, that's just Japanese culture for you. Both the most um, prude and depraved uh, society I've ever seen in my life. Gastly can learn Ice Punch. I know. I know. I don't get it. Whoopers just catapult themselves. Well, then it may, it should be Ice Headbutt or, you know, it shouldn't be Ice Punch. What am I getting pinged about? Things that don't matter at the moment. Cool. Rattata could learn Thunder and Blizzard at, in Gen 1 with TMs. Yeah, I know. It's another one that's kind of stupid. Ghastly materializes hands from the nether. But Haunter just has hands. Like. No. I don't. I disagree with that. I don't care if it's a ghost type. It doesn't have. Damn it, that. I slipped my finger again. It doesn't have hands. Haunter and Gengar have hands. So they can. Ghastly should not. Rhydon can learn Surf. That one's just funny because of the name. Because you ride on your Pokemon. With Surf. You know, it's a, I think it's just supposed to be a pun. Like how Skitty and Delcaddy can learn Thunderbolt and Blizzard. It's strange as well. What if Ghastly Evolving is just it showing more of its body and it's really just the Gengar the whole time? Interesting theory, but I don't know. My least favorite uh, Pokemon is Jigglypuff. What is yours? The, the entirety of the Cinderace line. I don't like Scorbunny. I don't like Raboot. I don't like Cinderace. Scyther could not learn cut in red and blue. I know. And that is probably the most egregious error I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Like, the motherfucker has blades on its hands. Why can't it use cut? Who in that office, like, how did nobody in this that office say, that motherfucker has blades on his hands. Why is he not learning cut? Yeah, Charizard also couldn't learn fly in Gen 1. Couldn't it learn it in yellow? Yep. That's one of the reasons why I didn't use Charmander in Red and Blue, is that Charizard in Red and Blue is bad. Did you know you can do a solo run of Pokemon Black and White using only the Grass Starter? It learns Cut and the only HM you need to complete this game. You don't need Surf 
in Gen 5. I guess that is correct. No, don't you need Surf in Victory Road? No, you don't need Surf in Victory Road, do you? That's kind of funny. You only need Surf in Black 2, White 2. And all Strength does is also unlock unlo uh, like extra areas, isn't it? You don't even need that in... Um, in Victory Road, the only reason that's there is to, you know, be able to backtrack and have shortcuts later. Damn it. Again, I slipped my finger. Alright, that one I slipped my finger for, this one I count. Lickitung couldn't learn Lick in Gen 1. Why? That's even more egregious than Scyther not being able to learn goddamn cut. I have to head out for now. I'll be back when I can. Hopefully you can finally find your elusive baddie boy. I hope so as well. Thank you so much, Zachary, for being here. There was no Wild Encounters run of Pokemon Black and White, and he didn't use Surf. Huh. That's why Black and White are the GOAT. True. The only time cut is needed is stupid. I have to head out as well. I'll, uh, I'll be back after. All right, take care, Jonielle. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you later. Damn it, I'm trying to wipe off this D-pad again, and it's not working well. Growlithe can't learn Growl. It's literally in the goddamn name. Really? Really? Who decided that was a good idea? Yeah, because its Japanese name is Guardi. What is, specifically? I am true. I'm still truly impressed of the intro scene of Black and White. I love the little. Uh, I love. I also loved the animated trailers for the Black and White games. Very true. I remember seeing like the Black Two, White Two one specifically. That was great. Growlithe's Japanese name is Guardi, and Magmar's Japanese name is Boober. Funny. Electric types being paralyzed by electric moves is crazy. Yeah, it does seem stupid, does it? Got any repeat Geodude Chinese yet? We we got one yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I do remember Axu being Kibigo, yeah. Mostly because I watched the uh, the Japanese dub of the Pokemon Best Wishes anime, so it wasn't a it was not the English Pokemon names. And I think the the subs also were using the direct Japanese names instead of uh, just translating them to the English ones. I don't think electric types have ever been able to be paralyzed by non-status electric moves, actually. Well, I mean, it's still weird that you can use, like, Thunder Wave in earlier games. It wasn't until Gen 6 that they were totally immune to paralysis, though. That's true. Best Wishes as a series was rough. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, I think it got off to a pretty pretty rough start, especially with like I think the earthquake tsunami in 2011 really derailed it. Um, especially because they had to skip like the ultra serious Team Plasma Team Rocket uh, two parter that they had planned. I don't remember why they canceled those episodes. Like, were was there supposed to be like? earthquake and flooding in in those episodes and they just got really bad timing because it's so crazy that those episodes never surfaced like because they were clearly finished because it wasn't like they they were already showing previews of it in in like the previous episode but then like just days later or even i don't i don't remember how many days later from the initial premiere of the previous episode but um but that's when the earthquake tsunami combo happened in 2011 and they uh and they just didn't air them even though they were completely finished 
I don't know if one day we'll get like a lost episodes of Pokemon like uh, special, but I mean, of course, I think so, it, I would like them to reanimate that part of Electric Soldier Porygon to not be seizure inducing, so that we can have that episode again. I would like them to redo though, or, or better yet, because it's no longer you know insensitive of the times. Like, you can just release the black and white episodes that were done at that time uh, of the Best Wishes show. Because, you know, again, like, the the stuff happened 13 years ago. Clearly, you can release it. I don't know. It, maybe, it, I guess it just doesn't make sense for the marketing. They could always release it as, like, a, a made-for-TV movie, movie that's, like, an hour because it was two episodes. They flooded the an entire city, if I remember right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense why they wouldn't air it at that time then. Hunting shiny Zubat still? Yes, sir, Dante. How are you doing? Because uh, it's because that was the time of the reactor event in Japan. I thought it was the earthquake uh, earthquake tsunami thing. Earthquake and Fissure are banned to, from the anime to this day, despite the fact that it was in 2002 and definitely not insensitive by now. I think the last time they used it was like a whiz cache or something using Earthquake in the anime, and that was the last thing that they, they did. Is that you on your shirt? No, this is another uh, this is another creator's shirt. I think I accidentally hit the, the space bar again. All they knew, need to do for the Jinx episode is recolor Jinx to purple. Yeah, that's not hard to do digitally. I'm sure people online have already done it, just to show a proof of concept. Found any shinies in between, Geodudes in particular? We've gotten one. Just spent 600 uh, euros and now I'm feeling empty. My bank too. Understandable. There was an earthquake in Japan around the same time that episode aired. Ah. Thoughts on the Relic Castle shutdown as a Pokemon content creator? I was rather, I was rather disappointed. Um, felt like Nintendo and the Pokemon company and, and those people ended up getting, you know, too big for their, too big for their britches, as it were, after the shutdown of Yuzu and Citra. And they were like, oh, we can go after these guys too. So it, it really does kind of suck. Oh, one of these days, one of these days they are, they are going to smite YouTubers. I swear, they will try to copyright claim every single ROM hack and fan game video ever created. Every single mod, and they will try to smite it out of the universe. It's, uh, it's only a matter of time. Either that or the top brass changes. I want four kids to get a hold of the infamous shotgun episode and draw it, redraw it to use finger guns. Didn't they use finger guns? I mean, I know they did it in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I thought they redrew that episode to, uh, like, they cut around uh, certain stuff. Or was that just straight up? Well, that was the Tauros episode that they just never aired. I could have sworn that they there were, like, um... What are they called? Not stills. What are, like, classic animation, um, what are they called? Shit. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Like, it was the way that manually, um, sells. Thank you. Thank you also, Heimflow, for the 10 gifties. That's going to add 50 minutes to the timer. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for your generosity, as always. Ooh, we got over 56 for like 40 seconds. And yes, if you didn't get one, typed dodged in chat. It is simple as that. And uh, if you are consistently dodging, you might have gifted memberships off. Uh, I would suggest Googling how to uh, be able to receive gifted memberships. There is an option to turn it on and off as to whether or not you want to opt into being able to receive them. So that was that is something you should probably look up just in case. Also, your encounter overlay is blocking the gifted things. 
Yes, I know. Do you guys want it over or under? I guess you can still see the number, so that's fine. If you click the little gift icon on the top of chat on desktop right after someone gifts it to you, uh, gifts it gives you the option to toggle uh, opt in slash out. Gotcha. Thank you, Ruben, for putting that in chat. I want it under odds so we can move on to Slowpoke. I agree. Less than 100 till we get to uh, the Zubat. Or till we get to 6,000. Why did I say less than 100 till we get to Zubat? Hopefully less than 100 till we get to Shiny Zubat, but I'm not putting my faith into the game. Expect the worst, hope for the best. Again, I'm still expecting another Shiny Geodude first, to be completely honest. The Safari Zone episode being banned is funny because the Squirtle Squad episode has Jesse and James rolling up to a place and robbing it at gunpoint. Wasn't that the point then that they used the finger guns or did they just cut out the scene entirely? Phew. Excuse me. Piss Bat playing hard to get? Well, it's not Piss Bat, but again, I prefer the name Pickle Bat. Bless you. Thank you, folks. I appreciate it. Has there been any Pokemon episode that has made you cry? As a kid, I cried at the end of James's backstory episode where he leaves Growlithe to watch over his family. No. It's an animation. I think my emo I, I think I, uh... It's not that I've, I've emotionally shut myself off from the potential of, like, animated things being moving. But at the same time, I'm just like... It's hard for me to care. Damn it. I remember a Pokemon episode where Jesse and James were in bikinis and were flashing at... They didn't flash him, but yeah, they, um... Like, James ended up using inflatable, like, breasts, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what how they, uh, how they used it, uh, how they mentioned it in the show, but I've certainly never gone to that episode, because I'm like, that seems very strange. Did they re-air, uh, they did re-air the episode, but cut that scene specifically? Oh, that's funny. My shiny Dragonite was called Yoshi. Is that because it was a reference to the the uh, what is it the electronic gaming gaming monthly that thing that you could evolve your Dragonite into Yoshi? Because if so, that's funny. And on that day, Weedle Twinedle was was made. I'm confused. What? Weedle can't learn twi Twin Needle, and also, well, why no space in between? They aired it cutting out all the James scenes. It ended up like 12-minute episode. That's funny. Surely, four kids could have, you know, censored the animation like they did with Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece, but I don't know. I want to gift the gift, on, uh, but this stupid YouTube system won't let me use my P PayPal technical error. Is there a different way I can just donate? Um, you should be able to, uh, if you have a card, yeah. Otherwise, I think if PayPal is just not working on YouTube, uh, I guess the only other uh, avenue would be using the exclamation point gamer subs thing, because they, I think they take PayPal. But I, I don't know why YouTube is screwing up for you on that. And yet they referred to rice balls as donuts. And they replaced 
something with a sandwich in one of the videos. Or in one of the episodes, excuse me. It's genuinely funny to me how much Jesse and James cross-dresses and, and no one really minds. I don't think that's uh, that's like considered a, a crazy thing in Japan, and that's why. The sandwich was just another giant rice ball. Of course it was. Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. God, all that makes me think of is Eric Stewart voicing Seto Kaiba and the scene in Dark Side of Dimensions where he says, Fire the person that that made that water bottle. Kaiba Corp products aren't supposed to bend that easily. It makes me want him to say, Fire the man who made that donut. My favorite are jelly-filled. <laughs> uh, that, that would have been very a very funny Easter egg or a very funny like blooper for that movie. Furret versus Flambear? What's Flambear? I'm going to use this frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> At least that was funny. Like that, like Brock seems like he's the type of character to be an absolute dork, which is why I think that line works. Screw the rules. I have jelly donuts. They're my favorite. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> that would, if the uh, if Yu-Gi-Oh abridged was even stupider, uh, it's not stu okay. It's stupid in terms of it's funny and the, the jokes are are humorous, but like I don't know how to use the word like I'm trying to use the word stupid in a nice way because it's like stupid funny. Like that's at least that's what I see it as. I, I think it's still entertaining, but that that would be if it was even more like stupid funny. That would be the line right there. Do the la la la. Why? That's like the second time somebody has asked me to do some la 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 thing. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Sinal, uh, I gotta go. All right. Take care, Sinal. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good day. We'll be seeing you on the next stream. Hell yeah. And we will see you later. It was also funny when Krogunk used to cockblock him in the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl anime. Yeah, I don't remember who did it in the who did it in the Gen Three anime because he he had the same kind of gimmick, but uh, because it was pre Krogunk, I don't remember. Was it like Max? Yeah. Will you hit the gritty once you get that shiny Zubat? I've heard the term. I don't know what it is. Occasionally, I realize I am a bit of an internet caveman. Like, I, I specifically delve into what I enjoy. And then whenever trends come out of nowhere, I'm like, what the hell is that? It's a dance? Oh, then hell no. I don't, I don't like doing dances. Why? Um, aside from martial arts, I seem to be very uncoordinated. Meatball, you are one of the most patient people I've ever met. These shiny hunts, your Professor Oak challenges, you have the patience of a saint. Lol, respect. Well, thank you, Steven. I think I, I'm, yeah, I just, maybe I'm just able to take my brain out of it. And I, I take my brain out of it enough to see, okay, that thing's not the same. That's not a different color than the normal one. Okay. And I just look back over at chat. TBH Krogunk was a badass when he deflected that Shadow Ball in the Diamond and Pearl movie. I mean, I don't remember much of the anime. I remember bits and pieces, but that's it. That's probably the best way to consu consume content, honestly. Probably. I mean, at least you avoid all of the bullshit. Most of it, at least. Unless the drama happens to happen... It happens to occur in your, uh, in your community that you usually delve into, and it's like, oh... Oh, goody. That's not good. What was the hardest challenge you have ever done? 
I don't know. I really don't. I would not be able to put my finger on it. I guess the franchise Nuzlocke Season 1 in its entirety, just because of how long it took, and, uh, you know, the amount of near misses I did have in that. All right, when we get to 6,000 encounters, I am going to use the restroom. Because I need to. <laughs> but I, d I don't want to get up because yet, because I want to get it to an even number. I don't know why I'm OCD about these sorts of things, but it's the same thing while I'm working offline. I'm like, I got to go to the restroom. No, I got to finish this thing first. And then I will just be like, shut down, damn it. Let me do my thing. But it's like, no, you have to go to the bathroom. I'm like, no, let me do my thing first. What happens if duplicate shiny? Well, we already had that happen. I just caught the extra one and just kept looking. Uh, the extra one I'm not allowed to use, of course, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a full-out shiny. Why would I not do that? The amount of boost both Brock and James receive from uh, their Pokemon, James was out of affection, is absurd. That's fair. Petition for shiny Dunsparce. Uh, one in 819,200. If I get it, you all owe me $100 each. Every one of you. I'm not going to get it, which is why I'm saying that. If it happens, though, I would laugh my ass off if several hundred dollar bombs came through to up the timer. But, I, I just, again, I, it's not happening. It's not. If it happens, you know, I'm not going to say, like, I, I keep saying it's not going to happen, but if it happens, it's just not going to happen. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The chance of it is too minuscule. This is my third time watching your stream, and I've enjoyed my time here a lot because you, uh, how much you engage with the chat. I try my best. I know a lot of streamers have uh, chats that move too fast, and they can't really engage with the whole thing. But I try my best to keep uh, keep tabs on everything because I, I like I like actually talking. Uh, usually, this is the only way people get to you know interact with me. Usually, it's just like pre-recorded videos. So why not, right? So you're saying there's a chance. Again, one in 819,200 chance. It is so damn minuscule that you probably have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Will you set her for a crisp high five instead? Sure. When did you get the dupe? Uh, yesterday. Have you suffered burnout yet? No, I'm pacing myself. That's why I'm doing three days on, one day off. 12 hours a day. I feel pretty pretty well paced. Well, there's there was still this one guy who got struck by lightning seven times in his life. I would say that's like the luckiest man on the planet, but the luck keeps going in the wrong place. <laughs> or the uh, or the luckiest person. I don't know if it's a. Oh, what the gender is on that. But I'm assuming if you said guy, then he. But again, don't want to assume. There was also the guy that got hit by both nukes and survived. What the fuck? What? Man, your life has got to be like... You've got to, like, realize... What the hell? What is... Why? Why me? Like, you're just, like, sitting there and you're like, Okay, somehow I survived this. I guess I'm going to go to this other place because I have something there that at least I can, you know, rebuild my life. Boom. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why not bat hunting and slowpoke well? Because we want the slowpoke in the slowpoke well. Which is why we're getting Zubat here so we can dupes claws into slowpoke. And I want to get it before getting surf, which is why I'm not waiting. This guy got stepped on seven landmines. This guy got stepped on, or got, this guy stepped on seven landmines and survived. I connected the dots with that sentence, Master. I'm getting better about that. I know in earlier streams, I'm like, if you mess up like a single word or even just a, a letter in a, in, a, in a word that makes it sound like another word, I won't be able to connect the dots, but I'm, get, I'm getting better. I saw a Dunsparce. It wasn't shiny. The shiny ones have pink on them. They're like bright ass pink.
guy struck by lightning seven times, that's the unluckiest guy. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you look at it at the glass half empty, yes, that's a very unlucky person. But if you look at it in the glass half full, that's a very lucky person that just so happened to have that luck applied in very bad scenarios. Which isn't really that different. But it's a nicer way of saying it. Would you be mad if you got shiny done, Sparse? Um, a little bit, mostly because then I would have to go to a different area to hunt Zubat because I'm not leaving until I get the get my Zubat. And there we go. I have I have 6,000 encounters. I'm going to go use the rest of them, folks. I will be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. I would very much appreciate it. And if you haven't liked the video, make sure to, well, the stream. Make sure to like the stream. And I will see you in a few minutes.
I have returned. My stomach was acting up again, and I was just like, uh-oh. But we are good. Trying to get this as close as I can to the wall here. Ooh, this one's a favorite of mine. Grandmaster theme from the Pokemon TCG game on Game Boy Color. If I can weave this cable, I can keep it stable. There we go. What was the song name in the break? I don't know. I wasn't here. Oh, God damn it! the controller did disconnect. Hold on. Uh, while I'm resetting this, I can, I can check real quick. Uh, the last one was Kirby Air Ride, the legendary Air Ride Machine. It was a metal cover by Toxic X Eternity. Alright, did we get the controller back online? Dano, why would you say that? Of course I wouldn't. Jeez. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try getting it again. Yes, we got it that time. All right, back to, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Thank you, no problem. Also, uh, Toxic is awesome. He needs more recognition. Absolutely. Love that guy. I found him back in, like, 2016. Um, I think it was 2016. I think I started listening to his stuff when I was in middle school. Like, this was really early on when he was doing covers. Uh, but I, I started talking to him in 2016. Been a uh, pretty good friend uh, since then. So, I like him. I've definitely, um, I will say... Back when I was in high school, I think I was extremely parasocial with some creators. And I will say, since becoming a creator myself, I look back at what I was like with other creators in high school. I was just like, oh, oh, damn. I was, oh, God damn it. Go, go back in the cave. Uh, I, I, always, I always look at myself and I'm like, damn, that was really cringe. But I think I've, uh, I've resolved that issue. I have definitely apologized to several people over that because I'm just like, I feel so embarrassed the way that I, I was when I was a kid. Um, I know it's only been a few years, but... Because, I mean, then again, it has been like half a decade since I've graduated high school. It's coming up on a half a decade in a month, which is crazy. But Good luck today, me. I'm at the gym right now and I forgot my headphones, so I can't hear, but I'll be watching. Uh, tell Shingeki that I said thank you. And... Um, I hope you can eventually hear me when uh when you get home. When I was 12, I tried adding YouTubers on Meverse. I don't know. I think people just think creators are cool. I that, I think that's why like that that kind of parasocial relationship works is they're like, "Oh my god, there's somebody that has a community of people that like the same things as I do. Uh I want to be friends with them because the people around me in real life like don't don't like the same things as me and they're like they treat me weird because I like these things. And uh, that's that's why I think that, you know, it is it is like a good thing that you find a community that you enjoy being around. But it's also a bad thing because parasocial relationships can be really stupid. I hate them. I hate that, you know, content creation is kind of hinged on them at some points. But again, that's why I like being as, um, you know... Well, what, what's the term? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I like being as transparent as possible with other people. Chugga and Ethos Lab are the only YouTubers I got parasocial with. I'm sure they had it a lot. I mean, you know, a lot of creators have that a lot. And you just got to make sure you set boundaries. And if they they continually cross them, you just you just got to you got to be like, all right, I'm sorry. You've made too many mistakes. Maybe down the line when you, you know, understand the, that mistake and you uh, learn to not cross boundaries, you can come back. But for now, you need to leave. 
It's too much. Got to go again. Goodbye. Take care, doggos. Thank you again for popping in. We will see you later, hopefully. Hey, mate, have you ever tried Poke Rogue? I tried a little bit of it on my day off uh, a couple days ago because I had a lot of recommendations for it. But, um, wow, that game is uh, very unbalanced at this point. Definitely, definitely needs a little bit of rework. Uh, the levels in that game, you do not gain enough EXP to be on level for most stuff. And you're like five, six levels behind. And ke uh, like I kept dying to the second rival fight at like, uh, I think it was like number 25 or something like that. And I was just like, I, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Like, what? I, I, do I just have to keep grinding out these first 25 and hope to God that like I get a, an egg voucher that gets me a legendary so that I can win the fucking game? Like, that's so stupid. Uh, I'm, I'm too old for this phenomenon, I think. Uh, the first YouTube channel I ever followed was just a guy posting updates about HTSS before they came out. Uh, was it Giancarlo Paramango 11 by any chance? Because that was the guy that I followed when uh, HTSS and like black and white and all that were coming out. What if you got shiny Dunsparce? There would be a couple of uh, disappointing, disappointing, uh, disappointed curse words coming out of me. Because again, that's a 1 in 819,200 chance. Yep, that's the guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's ev who everybody was following at the time for news. Because like that was the only guy really doing it. Uh, I have the same problem in the first few rounds. I guess I just keep pushing the one Pokemon only after it's easy sailing. Yeah, um, I, I I feel like the strat is just to keep switch training until you get the EXP share. At least that's what I what I was figuring out. What would you want to be from tomorrow's box break? What would you want from tomorrow's box break? Uh, I would love the Charizard from base set too. That'd be crazy. Um, any of the Stel if there I don't remember if there's any stellar rares out of the prototype uh, Alestral's box. Um, I'm pretty sure there are, but any of the stellar rares that are in there, um, I would love ever extra copies of like Astrabbit. I don't remember if Astrabbit's in there or if it's in just in the uh, the structure decks, but I would love to play like that uh, that Astrabbit control deck that people are po uh, popping off about in Alestral's. I would love to also play like the Earth Beat list that's been pretty top of. Uh, like every online tournament that's been played in that game. Anything from those I would basically be happy with. Are you trying to catch six shinies before the gym? No, I'm trying to catch Zubat so that I can get dupes claws for Slowpoke because I want to add Slowpoke to the team to eventually evolve into Slowking. And the only two encounters in Slowpoke well are Zubat and Slowpoke. So if I get Zubat, I can just dupes claws my way into Slowpoke eventually. I've already caught five. That's true. One of them's a duplicate, though. But we are definitely trying our best here. Bro, the detail on that answer. This man is committed. I'm trying my best. On the topic of EXP share, it's something I like about the newer games since you don't have to worry about uh, as much about grinding or not being able to use a Pokemon who want because uh, you want because they're underleveled. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the duplicate is an extra Geodude. I got it here. My original uh, Geodude encounter was during the night on Route 46 because I also dupes clawed Rattata by staying in Sprout Tower during the day where it's a 100% encounter. So I ended up getting that after like a long ass time. Then I went to Route 46 because the only other encounter besides Rattata and Geodude at night is Jigglypuff at 5%. And I was like, okay, that's a low enough percent chance to where I'm not getting that before I get Geodude. And I didn't get any uh, duplicate Rattatas. I ended up just getting a uh, Geodude. So that was cool. And then because I got Geodude there, now I can dupes claws my way into Zubat here in Dark Cave and then carry that over into Slowpoke well to get Slowpoke. So it's a... It's a it's a little bit of a tangled web, but it does weave correctly. I wish you could toggle the new e EXP all. Uh, I ended up 20 levels over the every every boss fight, and it's no fun. Especially if you're exploring. If you're exploring, you're getting too much EXP, for sure. Like, if you're just trying to catch all the Pokemon that you end up seeing that, that are new. If you end up fighting all the trainers that you run into. Like, just doing all the content. Too much. Especially if you're going out of uh, out of order in gyms, like if you're just exploring the world, if it's like Scarlet Violet. 
dupes claws to dupes claws to dupes claws to get to what you actually want exactly well i wanted geodude which is why i initially dupes claws rattata to get geodude geodude is on the team but um because it's on the team it now also acts as dupes claws to get Zubat in here, because the only other encounter in here is a 1% Dunsparce, which again, if we dodge to the 5% Jigglypuff, we're likely to dodge uh, the 1% Dunsparce even more so. So if we get the Zubat here, then that's just the second non-used Dupes Claws to get to Slowpoke. And then the only other two uh, team members I plan on grabbing are Pineco, which I don't, grab I don't plan on grabbing until I get myself a level ball, because the level ball is... Uh, has like a 100% catch rate, and I'm not risking like self-destruct. Um, yeah. Do you plan to continue the original franchise lock when ZA or other entries come out? Probably not. It's like how Simo did the original progression series. Despite the fact that season one ended at um, at burst of destiny, he didn't continue it when he started season two. He's just going through season two. It's like when the endpoint hits and that's the newest game, that's the endpoint. What apricot makes level ball? I believe I was told it was the red um, apricot, a apricorn. It's duping me. I know. I know that that's a question in one in the uh, the radio card. Kurt makes pokeballs from apricots. No. Are you going to allow yourself to trade Evo? Yes. I suggest to use Raticate. It can sweep Morty if it is poison. I know Guts isn't a thing until Gen 3, but Hypnosis 3 meter. Um, nah. I want to save it for a different game. I can just do that with Geodude and hold a gold berry. And then just, like, magnitude everything. Well, Geodude, it's going to be level 25. And uh, it, it'll be evolved into Graveler at that point. And then trade Evo. You don't even have to level up again. You could just get Golem at level 25 for for Morty. There's no reason not to. Hopefully, ZA will deliver. I think that Legends Arceus was a good basis, and I think as long as they expand upon that and uh, continue with what they did in that game, it's going to be a really good one. Raticate is a monster in Fire Red Leaf Green. Agreed. Low damage range plus magnitude 4 says hi. Well... It's a good thing ghost moves in this generation are physical. What are we hunting this time? The only thing we're counting for. Zubat. Which gym are we up to? Uh, are you up to now? Uh, by levels, I presume Whitney. Correct. And I'm still deathless. Which again, I forgot to have my counter add uh, deaths to the thing, uh, because deaths is probably more important than attempts at the moment. Uh, I, I will just have both. I will have uh, the level cap Pokemon used attempts and deaths, but I do need to have that done. I, I'll ask my thumbnail slash layout guy to. Uh, to do that while I have my day off tomorrow so that I can get that all squared away. And then we'll finally have the, the gold, silver, crystal layout rather than the red, blue, yellow layout. Because he didn't create a stream layout. I just had my editor, Nick. He, uh, he just edited the one that we used for the red, blue, yellow video to do this. And he, he was like, is this good? And I'm like, it's slapdash, but it does the job. And it looks fine, I think. Is Whitney as much of a run-ender as I remember her being? No. Only if you have things that don't resist rollout. Also, I don't remember. Is Protect a TM in the Goldenrod department store? Because if so, we just win. Because we can just poison powder with, um, with Bayleaf, Protect. If it's rollout, we can just poison powder again. If, because um, I think it has the equivalent of a Lumberry in this game. I don't remember. Lower mill tank's accuracy, and it's Jover for her. Exactly. Whitney is easy in HGSS. Like, you can get substitute plus sword stance in the game corner. Exactly. We still have Mud Slap on Geodude, right? Correct. Correct. 
Protect TM isn't until post game in Celadon. Oh, okay. I was right about it being at a department store, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, wasn't Goldenrod. Six thousand seventy-four. Who we are getting? We are getting a little bit close to odds here. I think it's the elemental punches, head button, rock smash. No, oh, rock smash does something. It's actually only twenty power in this generation, though, so that's not like good. That's not that's not a different color Zubat. What are you what are you hovering for? I've not properly played Gen two since I was a kid. My copy of Heart Gold got nicked, and I never bothered replacing it because life. Well, because life plus that game's expensive. Will Pokemon ever do a platypus? One day, I'm sure. Will Pokemon ever do an echidna? That's the question. Where's my where's my echidna? Where's my hedgehog Pokemon? Well, we no. I was about to say we have a hedgehog Pokemon, and then I was like, no, we don't. Joltog is it a pal in Pal World? Stunfisk isn't a platypus. No, it's a mudfish. Lotad is a platypus. Lotad is a lily pad. Shaman is a literal hedgehog. Oh, yeah, that's true. What about Togedomaru as a hedgehog? I guess that's that's close, yeah. Cyndaquil is a hedgehog, technically? Really? I don't know. I guess if the spikes are replaced by fire, sure. Absolutely. No, look at the guy. Lilypad is just a hat. Well, yeah, but like it's not a platypus with a with a lily pad hat. That just doesn't make sense. It's just a silly little guy underneath a, a lily pad. What even is the Cyndaquil line? That's a good question. Chestbin line is chestnut hedgehogs. Hmm. I would like to see a regional fake of Palafin based on Perry the Platypus. Very funny. The beta design of Cyndaquil was him having spikes. They later changed, uh, later, later changed him to fire. Um. Oh yeah. Well, it was still fire in the beta, but the sp uh, but the spikes were in the uh, were in the beta sprite. Yo, welcome back, Jonio. Hammerhead Shark would have been so easy for them to make a Pokemon. They did. It just got cut in Gen Two. Or was that or, or was that shark Pokemon uh, a Gen One cut? I don't remember. Ludicolo is a platypus. There's no way. I don't believe that. By the way, in the beta design, Cyndaquil wasn't a starter. Oh yeah, it wasn't a starter. Wow. I, I, huh. Psyduck is basically a platypus. My lord, there's literally duck in the name. No, Ludicolo is Mexican, not a platypus. <laughs> Very funny. Ludicolo is a kappa. Oh, Ludicolo is a Twitch emote based. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed the video. I want to give a huge shout out and thanks. Well, Psypus wouldn't work, to be fair. Well, yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Psy plat uh, Psy and Nicole Platypus? Exactly. Like the... Like, that's, that's just dumb. I live for the day they give Psyduck the psychic typing. One day. I doubt it, though. His face is a constant pog. That's true. He is a twitchy mode. He's two twitchy modes. Technically, Psyduck can get psychic typing in Scarlet Violet. Yeah, with terastalization, but that's probably the closest we'll ever get. I really don't know why they didn't make it water psychic. Is it because Starmie already existed? Maybe. Psyduck is a duck, but Golduck for sure is a platypus. Like, ducks don't even have claws. That's true. 
What about a swordfish slash marlin Pokemon? Speedy water type. That would be kind of neat. I mean, I think Veluza is the closest we have to that, but that's about it. But it's not like a swordfish. It's just kind of got a pointy head. They were there. Uh, there were two better water psychic types in Gen One. Yeah, I guess we did have Slowbro. If there was already uh, there was already two water psychics, I don't know. I don't know why they decided to do two of the same same pair. Then again, why did they do like three of the same pair in Grass Poison? Ninetale should have been Fire Ghost. That would have been that would have been a banger type combo, especially because like they needed more Ghost types in Gen One. And that would have fit. I mean, hell, make Volpix Fire Ghost too. Why not? God forbid Volpi uh, Golduck be weak to bugs. True. Hot take, but Veluza is the best Water type introduced in Gen Nine. Maybe for like single player. Definitely not for like competitive. I mean that that's that definitely goes to Dondozo Tatsugiri. Blastoise Steel. Honestly, if they did want to give a secondary typing to Blastoise starting in Gen 2, Steel would have been the one. But I think that also would have taken away from the eventual Empoleon. Isn't Lantern an anglerfish? It's like a cute anglerfish, yeah. So at the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, Psyduck and Spoink were programmed for them to get Simple Beam through breeding, but it wasn't until Latios was in the game that they could get this. Why specifically Latios? We need a Blobfish? That would be kind of funny. Latios is the only Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet to get Simple Beam. Right, but then how do Psyduck and Spoink get it? They don't have Sketch. They ca Latios can't breed. Mirror Herb Breed Move. I don't know what that does. But how do you breed a Pokemon that can't be bred? You can pass it via picnic with mirror herb. That sounds convoluted, but interesting. Mirror herb lets the holder learn egg moves. It's just a held item that you put on your Pokemon so that you can go and relearn egg moves and then take it off. Or is it like something that's a consumable? So if parent A has egg move and parent B has an empty move slot, give parent A mirror herb and parent B gets it. Weird. It's not consumed? I see. A kangaroo Pokemon would be an interesting type combo with a new ability called Dust Kick. Wherever kicking moves, uh, where every kicking move lowers accuracy. I feel like that would be a little bit busted. Because you could give it triple kick. Like, if you gave it triple kick and it lowered accuracy three times in one shot. No thanks. Don't do that. I never understood Remoraid's um, evolution to Octillery. Well, they were supposed to be both, like, gun-shaped, but it was too pronounced uh, it, from the beta, if you look at the beta sprites for Remoraid and Octillery. So they, like, just toned it down, but kept to the names. Yeah, it's supposed to be gun-to-tank, basically, yeah. Ground-fighting kangaroo would be interesting, though. I, I agree. I think it would be a cool one. Yo, Mr. Meatball, what game should I Nuzlocke? If it's your first one, I would go for either Fire Red Leaf Green or X and Y. Fire Red Leaf Green is pretty easy. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can go towards Elite Four Round 2. And do, like, the Sevi Islands quests and shit. 
uh, and X and Y just have such a breadth of encounters, including gift encounters that you can always get. So you can like pretty much reliably make a very balanced team. Not my first one, no. Then I don't know. What have you already nuzlocked before? You can still see the remnants of the ideas in modern design, especially Remoraid. That's true. The sprite of a Remoraid in Tentacruel is a water pistol in Infinite Fusion, so that's neat. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire is a good starting point for heart non-hardcore. Well, that's fair. I don't know. I feel like regular Nuzlocks have just been phased out. Like, regular Nuzlocks now, to me, just have level caps. That's just how they're done. And I get that some people don't have fun with that. Um, but at the same time, it's like... if you, it, What's a Nuzlocke if you overlevel? Like, at that point, you're never going to die anyway. What's the, what's the risk? We need a region based on Australia and have the Professor Na based on Steve Irwin and based on Pokemon Conservation. Maybe one day. Mudkip can hardcore RSE easily, exactly. My personal favorites are hardcore mono lock challenges. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense why you'd be watching this channel. <laughs> I do a lot of those. Ludicolo is a Digimon. That makes more sense. That makes the most sense here. I do level caps and regular one runs at this point. Yeah, that's fair. If I, if I did, like, casual playthroughs of Pokemon, which I don't, because I do this as work, I do still enjoy the games, but if I'm playing other games that aren't for uh, doing videos, it's usually not Pokemon, just so that I don't get burnt out uh, anymore, because I, uh, I was burnt out for a significant amount of time. I, I think I took, like, a two- or three-month hiatus from the channel just because I was just... I was done for a little while. Uh, but, hey, uh, I've, I've been feeling good ever since, so I can't complain. I did a gen lock where surviving champions uh, got to be reborn in the next gen. That's cool. But I don't know. I don't I, I always thought that the carryover thing was a little meh. But the only th the only reason I think that I can do that with the shiny ones is just if I don't use them and then I I grab them out of the box when I hit a place that I could theoretically encounter them. So that's that's kind of why I want to do that. I'm so excited for the return to Kalos next year in ZA. I think it's going to be cool. I'm worried about it saying that it's going to take place entirely within Lumio City. Because I'm just like... There's no way... How do they get wild Pokemon to work in a city that makes sense? Like, you're not going to get a full Pokedex's worth of Pokemon in one city. And I, I want that focus on the Pokedex as much as there was in Legends Arceus. Because um, I feel like if they go in a wildly different direction, then I'm... I think people are just going to have whiplash and might not like it, but I hope I hope it does well. I hope that people enjoy it. Catacombs? Maybe. Are the Pokemon on the list the ones he already has or the ones he's hunting to, uh, for, too? What list? Oh, no. Uh, if you mean, like, on screen, no, that's my team. If you want to see what I'm hunting for, use exclamation point FAQ. <sighs> he has these three plus a shiny Geodude and Rattata in the box. Well, the extra shiny Geodude is sitting in my uh, sitting in my party right now, just because I haven't gone to the box since I caught it, but. Have you played any Gen 6 ROM hacks? No, I have not. I've heard that uh, Eternal X and I think it's Wiltering Y, I don't remember, uh, are pretty good. But that's, uh, I, I don't have experience with them myself. I still think it's going to be a pre-industrial area in ZA, so it's going to be mostly wilderness. Well, we'll see, I don't know. Welcome to Pass Kalos. Enjoy making your team. Uh, enjoy your making your team because you can only gen three Pokemon's max. You mean get, get three Pokemon max? Yeah, 
Yeah, I meant get okay. Screw typos. No. Double check your message before you send it. Otherwise, I will chastise you and make fun of you. About how much time has he found uh, since he found the second Geo dude? I want to check it out. I found it yesterday. I don't remember at what timestamp or whatever. I think somebody put it in the comments. Do you have fun with a Pokemon game vanilla without any restrictions? Well, like I said before, I don't play Pokemon games by myself anymore. I just play them for uh, for my videos. If I'm playing other games, like for uh, for my own enjoyment. It's usually knocking games off my backlog or playing like live service stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or playing like indies that I haven't finished yet like Bellatro. I feel like people keep forgetting that X and Y's Lumio City is in the trailer for ZA, but the trailer shows it being ba way bigger than it was in X and Y. I don't know. I, I feel like people are theorizing too much. Just Just let it cook. Let them cook. See what happens. Wait for it to play out, especially once we get some actual gameplay. But I think uh, I think speculating on it at this point is just, you know, cause for worry instead of you know anything good. How was your day today? It was. Uh, it's been all right so far, Elitako. How was yours? Meatball, is there a place in the Discord where I can share art? Uh, there's a music and art share uh, channel in the Discord. And if you guys want to join my uh, Discord server, exclamation point Discord, we've had hundreds of people joining in over the past few streams that I've been doing this. So if you want to join the community, uh, I would very much appreciate it, and I would love to have you. Or uh, at least we can get Furfru back in Legend ZA. Yeah, the fact that it was in the Pokemon Sword beta that leaked, but was cut, just t tells you that... It was definitely not a, we can't fit them all in there thing. It was a lazy thing or a DLC thing. It was definitely a DLC thing. It was definitely to sell DLC, which sucks. It just feels predatory. What goes into making a team for franchise lock runs? Writing out a document, writing out plans for each game, uh, getting a good basis for what your final team should be uh, going into like the Elite Four and how early you can build it to also work for the gym leaders. But uh, once you have your like established six for every game down, or in the case for Gen 1, I usually go with five because I know I can get away with it. Hell, in, ye in yellow, I got away with three. So you don't have to go like a max team. But um, from there, you kind of want to spread out all of the extra ones and make sure you can like specifically grab them without... like screwing yourself over in terms of like encountering a different Pokemon but it, it does take a lot to like specifically do all of it fun fact it was planned to have mega Pokemon added in Sword and Shield uh, yeah I think those were remnants of the beta but I think it's because they were built out of let's go Pikachu and Eevee's engine that uh, that was just like leftover data. I don't believe they ever planned on keeping Megas in uh, Sword and Shield over like Dynamaxing. Devil Zubat calling it six 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 six. Probably that would be very funny. I am very I am disappointed that they chose Conkelder over Machamp in SV. What to appear in the wild area as a static encounter? Because they chose Machamp over Conkelder for the Gigantamax form, which is disappointing. I wish they instead gave it to Conkelder. It doesn't make sense cutting Furfru from Sword and Shield since Kalos is supposed to be just north of Galar. I don't know. They make this shit up on the fly. They're just there to sell stuff, man. The true passion projects are always going to come from the fans that aren't getting paid to do it.
Uh, we didn't stumble across uh, any additional shinies this stream, did we, Meatball? No, not yet, James. Thankfully. Hopefully we just get the, the Zubat and we can move on. I recognize this song. Yeah, it's Sticker Brush Symphony, or Sticker Bush Symphony from uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Which I think that uh, most, like 90% of people recognize from Smash Brothers, but not from DKC2, which is very funny. They missed out. They could at least make Mega's return in the Gen 8 DLC, like Bead with a Mega Mawile and Marnie with a Mega Sableye. Uh, they could have. They could have sold it on the back of that, but I think they just wanted to get rid of them for some reason. But also, like, I think it was uh, maybe due to uh, meta fatigue for, like, VGC events. Who knows? I don't know what all the decisions go into that. I, I, I don't work there, but those could be potential contributing factors. What are you hoping the final team for gold to be? I want it to be Meganium, Golem, Unknown, Slowking, Fortress, and Ho-Oh. Because I want to shiny hunt Ho-Oh because I think that people will pog at it. And then I uh, I think that I can uh, I can try getting away in the league just not using it. But I definitely think it'll be at least somewhat helpful. You know, if they didn't want to make Megas in VGC, just ban Mega items in Dragon Ascent. That's true. Shiny Ho is very good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to grabbing that. I think that's going to be a cool one. Favorite starter of each type. Snivy for grass. Mudkip for water. Hmm. Probably Torchic for fire. Those would probably be my three picks. And just in time for 6,200 uh, Zubat encounters. Sanal, thank you for the gifty. Let me go ahead and add five minutes to the, to the uh, timer. And if you guys, if any of you are unfamiliar with how the timer works, um, basically for every dollar super chatted, I'm adding a minute to the timer. And the, the, of course, the timer is for... Um, how long I have to complete the challenge, but you can keep increasing it. The reason that it's being like that is because I'm foregoing the ability to make other videos and therefore get the other, the ad revenue and or sponsorships that I would normally have. So if I want to continue making this series because it takes as long as it does, I, I need to subsidize it. And uh, the viewers, uh, if you are generous enough to keep the timer alive, tells me that you guys want it. And that's uh, that's all I really need to know. But you can increase that timer for every dollar super chatted. You can increase the timer by uh, either buying yourself a membership to the channel, the base level uh, for every, I mean, every dollar uh, based on your membership will get, uh, will get a minute added, but the base level is five, uh, five minutes for the membership. And then if you gift any, it's still five for each membership gifted. And then the last thing is exclamation point gamer subs. Since I am a gamer subs affiliate as of a couple days ago, uh, you can, uh, get 10% off both your order uh, and if you end up picking up any of the drink mix off of there or the instant ramen that they have for sale which I've heard is very good I have a few cups actually uh, I of course I'm not eating it specifically because I'm doing keto I'm going to see if uh, one of my friends wants these and is willing to try it and give a little bit of a testimonial to see if it's worth recommending to you guys but if so, um, if you get any of that stuff for every uh, dollar that you spend on gamer subs uh, using my code chaotic meat, we'll add a an additional minute to the timer. Also, Jerk Donny, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, if you dodge, type dodge in chat. It's as simple as that. That is for sure. Thank you very much for your generosity. I, I do appreciate it. When do the shiny arts start? Uh, star oh my god, I'm having a stroke. 
Uh, when do the shiny odds start getting better? Is it Gen 4? No, it is Gen 6. Oh my god, Sanal, also with the five gifties. Again, if you dodged, typed dodged in chat. It is simple as that. Boom. Yeah, make sure uh, and click the gift icon on top to make sure you allow gifts. Yes, because I think it uh, it has you opted out. So if you want to be able to get a gift membership, definitely make sure you opt into that. If you can't figure it out, just Google it um, and look for a step-by-step -step guide on how to make sure that you opt into that. And in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't auto renew you. It doesn't like take money out of your bank account if that's if you're worried about that. It's just a one month uh, specifically gifted membership. Oh shit, is this reuse theme? Yes. Oh shit, never mind, I'm a member. You must have gotten gifted, Thomas. Congratulations. You didn't dodge, you sniped. We got the dodgers, we got the snipers, and we've got the, the oil barons, I guess. Only one I remember from Street Fighter is Guile's theme. That's the one that most people remember. Mostly because of memes. Gotta love pop culture osmosis. Guile's theme goes with cooking quite well. I heard it goes well with anything. Do you do the bulletproof coffee in keto? No, I'm not a coffee drinker. Hey, Chaotic, it's been a long time since I was watching your stream. Oh, well, well, welcome, Princess Amethyst. Hope you're doing well, and uh, glad you can make it in again. Wasn't that you say run goes with anything? That was... A much later in a uh, version of the meme. The Guile's theme goes with everything thing was like late 2000s, early 2010s memes. The internet has changed a long, uh, a lot since that long time ago. I find it funny that before Smash Ultimate release, people were joking that they could put, uh, they should put Guile's theme on every stage. And now you can put Guile's theme on on every stage. Can't wait for you to get to Emerald. Oh, changing the exclamation. <laughs> I read it as a question because I saw the question mark. Can't wait for you, get, uh, for you to get to Emerald. Me too. Because that means I'm further along. <laughs> yeah. We changed the theme, but not the concept. Exactly. I want to go. I want to go back on keto, but things got rough for me financially. Got to eat more opportunistically now. Yeah, I mean, isn't it great that eating healthy is a privilege in the United States? Stupid. Gotta love how eating like shit is the thing that they want you to do, which is crazy to me. Early gen shining hunting is so painful. I agree. This is. Pain, pain, all the pain. Waluigi will never be a full character in Smash. Sorry to let you know this. I don't care. I don't understand the people that want Waluigi or Gino or like any other normal first person character. I'm just like... Keep adding the third-party characters. Make this literally the history of video games, the fighting game. That's all I ask for. Which is uh, kind of disappointing that we still d didn't get Crash and Spyro in, uh, in Ultimate. I really think that those two kind of 
should be in there, considering they are icons of the PS1 generation. But what can you do? It's painful, but the payoff for these shinies are way better. I agree. I saw a Twitter thread saying that Waluigi's existence is nothing, and that's the whole point of his character. I don't get it, but fair enough. Uh, mostly because all he was made for was the Mario sports game, so they could do two-on-two -two against Mario and Luigi. Smash Bros. should be a TCG. Then any character you want can be in. Mm. That would be very complex for with licensing issues, but also cool. Crash over Spyro when it comes to Smash? I still think both. I mean, yeah, I guess Crash is a little bit more iconic, but I still think Spyro was like the, the second trilogy on PS1 that carried it through after like the, th the three initial Crash games. Are you on 6x speed? No, I'm on 10x. Will Smash 6 be a roster cut? If it is, people are going to be mad. They're better off just porting Ultimate to every single new console and just developing new characters. This fighting system in that game is fine. There might be you could do little balance changes via updates, but just just keep porting it. It does not matter at this point. It's easy for me to avoid takeout because I don't want to pay the extra five to ten euros for a delivery fee. Also, wait at least 45 minutes to get it. No, that's completely understandable. Steve needs nerf. I've heard. I haven't played the game for a while. I just... I, I like Smash, but I, I, I'm i much more of like a party game guy. So when I'm playing... Uh, when I want to play with friends, I don't want to play the fighting game. I usually just want to play Mario Party because that's funnier. Mario Party and Mario Kart are like my go-to. Smash like my third. Third place. So many encounters. I agree. We are less than 2,000 away from hitting odds. The best party game on Switch is uh, Heave Ho. I heard the best uh, party game on Switch is um, 50, Clubhouse ga uh, 50 Clubhouse Games. Uh, or No, it's just Clubhouse Games. Uh, 50 Worldwide Classics. That's that's a good one. Do you visualize your weight loss too? I heard it helps. Uh, what do you mean visualize it? Like, I don't know what I look like skinny. I don't. I've never been skinny in my entire life. I've always been like a husky kid. Uh, but And growing up, I just, uh, I just kept gaining weight. Why chaotic? Why meatball? You don't look chaotic, and you are not a meatball. I assure you, I don't look chaotic, but I can act like one, and uh, I am a meatball because I'm an Italian man. Uh, if I was Swedish, I guess I could get away with it too, but uh, Italian meatballs are better than Swedish meatballs. Don't at me. I wonder what color is this shiny Zubat? Uh, it's on the thumbnail of the stream. Have you ever thought about powerlifting? Not interested. No, thank you. Like, visualize progress? I don't understand. Again, I don't know what I what I look like at a skinny... At, like, when I'm skinnier. Because I've never been that way. So I don't know how to, like, visualize that. Because I don't know what it's going to look like. It's so criminal that the Switch doesn't have a normal me utilizing party game. Uh, yeah, it is kind of meh. Man doesn't want to get jacked. He just wants to feel n not like hell. Yes. I would I would like to be at least somewhat toned, but I don't want to, like, work out to an extreme. I would like to maybe get in there two, three times a week, you know. Do something relaxed, but still keeping myself active. Add in some walks. Um... Italian, well then, do you have an opinion on people who snap their spaghetti? Uh, I am one of them. I snap the spaghetti in half so that it, it can all go into the pot so that it doesn't cook unevenly. If you don't snap your spaghetti, then you better have a big enough pot to throw it all in at once. That is not a Zubat, you dumb fuck.
That's one. All right. Now the count is accurate. Which pasta is the best pasta type? I was always a penne guy. I like penne. Uh, rigatoni's good. Uh, I also like ziti. Those three, probably. You don't have to know how it feels like. You can visualize the desired number on a scale. That, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I know what the target target is. And I'm going to eventually get there. I just don't know what I'm going to look like. And how to visualize what my body is going to look like at that time. But I hope it looks half decent. We'll see. Got any dupe shiny Geodude so far? One. Oh, that's what Rygan was saying. Yes, one. I thought I was wondering why you put one in the chat, and then I looked up. Ravioli is cool. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket -oli? Nonsense to pasta types. They're all the same thing, different shape, right? Correct. I miss Filthy Frank. So do I. Ugh. I think I'm getting chapped lips for some reason. Might need to get some... Uh, I don't know if I marked this Zubat. Oh, well. Uh, I might need to get some like lip balm or something at some point. Mr. Squidward! No Chef Boyardee beefaroni in me restaurant! But, Cr Mr. Krabs, I love beefaroni! No buts! I'm going back to my captain's quarters to finger me booty! I mean, count me booty! I, I messed it up. <laughs> I'll be in my captain's quarters! Uh, 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 don't come by! <laughs> oh, God, I love Uncle Al videos. Very good. What's up, Chaotic? Uh, got a shiny Zubat yet? I would not be searching if I did. I'm back. I Did I miss anything? Um, no. <laughs> Jiggle me handle, sponge me boy! <laughs> I can't do it anymore now that I'm laughing. <laughs> uh, it's not even that good of impression. I just, I'm trying my best. Rotini and Tortellini are superior. That's fair. It's wild that he can do impressions of every SpongeBob character except SpongeBob himself. He's tried. He's he does a pretty decent job. But yeah, he definitely does like a more spot-on impression of all the other characters. Like the fact that he can even do Larry's voice, like the the roided out lobster, he can do like the um the fish announcer, he can do Plankton, he can do Patrick, he can do Crabs. It's so insane. I don't know, I don't think he's ever done Sandy's voice in, in, in his videos. I don't remember. Are we still hunting the dupe bat? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting a little bit closer to 8,192. Come on, game. Can't be doing this to me. Like the video, everyone, if you haven't already. Well, thank you, Ollie, for reminding me. Yes, uh, I want to try to hit a thousand likes. There is a pinned message, but I know people are probably not even looking at that uh, at the top of the chat. Just so that uh, you double check, double check, uh, tab over in case you uh, have not liked the video. I want to see if we can hit one thousand today. Horseradish is not an instrument either. True. There's more likes uh, than there is viewers. Well, people cycle in and out, you know. Like, if I if I looked at my live stream dashboard, like, the average view duration of viewers coming in is about 11 minutes, 45 seconds. So, hilariously enough, that's, um, that's, that's mostly just people turning in and out. So, that's usually why the likes will be higher than the concurrent viewers. Hit that like button, though. That's true. 
Mike is correct. Hit the like button, though. So you're saying people stick around for the duration of a SpongeBob episode? Uh, probably. Uh, I think people's attention spans are a little bit lower than usual. Also, I noticed that we are lower on the uh, the average viewers today. I think it might just be because I have a lot of like regular viewers that are just wrestling fans, and they're uh, and because it's WrestleMania weekend, uh, we're we're kind of we're kind of in ham mode for that, which is why I'm not streaming tomorrow. That's why I kind of wanted to line up my uh, my days off with with that. I figured it would uh, it would work this week, but of course, because I wanted to do three days on, one day off, I still have to do today, which is I'm not uh, like I'm not wanting to take off because I was like I don't want to do two days on, two days off. I'd I'd rather just watch it all tomorrow and do other work that I have to do while while having that on my other monitor. This is great background noise though. Well, I'm glad to hear it. At least I'm giving you something. I'm leaving in like an hour and a half. No, uh, no, ch any chance you could just kind of catch the Zubat soon? Uh, no pressure. Um, I don't know. Maybe the game decides to be a nice individual. I'm only half paying attention playing Digimon background noise. You know? Yeah, I think that a lot of the time it's uh, it's just background noise for most people, which is cool. As long as I have enough of a chat to like bounce off of and keep talking and and, and uh, entertaining the folks. That's what I'm here for, and that's what I'm trying my best to do. Please give me shiny Zubat, shiny Zubat, shiny Zubat, for the love of fucking God, I am sick of this. And not a chat that promotes you saying out-of-pocket things, getting pa uh, your past pods ad-limited. Very true. I work in a few hours, but I can put the stream on the office computer. If you see a user named literally an Arby's, that's me. That would be funny. I've been listening while playing Emerald on my GameCube. Based? Have you passed? Uh, are you phased? Or I'm guessing you mean passed on anything. No, I have not. SpongeBob, me boy! I've overdosed on ketamine and I'm going to die! <laughs> you can't shiny hunt trade Pokemons in later games, right? Uh, starting in this game, you can't, no. We need Flash to find it. No, we don't. No, we don't need Flash. Also, I, I have deemed that it is Pickle Bat. It is the Pickle Bat. It is not Puke Bat. It is not Piss Bat. It is Pickle Bat. This is the color of Pickle it's funny. What do you know? It's time to rock with the Bickety Buck Bumble. Uh, I have I have Buck Bumble for exactly the meme, and that's it. <laughs> I don't think I want to play it. I don't know if I do. I don't know if it's good. I think it's kind of just mediocre. Not to mention, I don't like the Nintendo 64 very much. I've been watching the whole time while playing Street Fighter 6. Very fun. I'm playing XCOM. I don't know what XCOM is. Man being in this cave for two days has to be terrible for this kid's eyesight. He's going to need glasses when he gets older, that's for sure. Morty! I turned myself into a Zubat, Morty! I, I almost went into the Mr. Krabs voice. I, I'm just really bad at the, the Rick voice just because I can't remember what it sounds like. I know it's kind of raspy, but like, it's weird. I can't do it. Shiny hunting a Cold Soul Silver starter. Ooh, very fun. I'm watching while shiny hunting for Cyndaquil. Eventually, I'm going to have to do that. I've been on uh, Old School RuneScape. We all have issues. <laughs> very fair. Grinding Old School RuneScape can sometimes be an issue. You actually sounded like Rick. Let's go. I tried my best. Yeah, that, that did come across a bit more Mr. Krabs than Rick. I think I just started in that voice because that was the last impression I did and I had to like try to adjust on the fly. Nickname the Zubat once you get it. Tom I'm not nicknaming anything. Nicknames are dumb. I just do it to satiate the comment section some days. Other days I'm like, nah. nah I, like, I like to see the comments that say, why don't you nickname your Pokemon? Because... <laughs> 
Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm, as I've learned. Opinion on Elder Scrolls series. I've never played a single Elder Scrolls game. I am more of a platformer and turn-based RPG sort of guy. XCOM is basically a strategic alien shooting. Ah. Uh, so it's Helldivers, but again. Or before. Why'd you pick Chikorita for gold? So I don't have to do it in silver or crystal. <laughs> I've been playing Monster Never Cry, the other gotcha besides AFK Journey that's all over the place these days. I have not seen that that be advertised at all. So that's shocking that uh, that that you're saying that it's all over the place like AFK Journey cuz I've run into like 10 other AFK Journey ads besides my own and I'm like, "Damn, I am a, I'm competing for limited space here." <laughs> I, uh, I I know my viewers, my viewers don't usually click on my integrations. Even if it's, like, free and helps the channel, they're just like, if it's not Pokemon, I'm not playing it. And I'm like, Pokemon fans, please play another game besides Pokemon Challenge. Impossible. Wow, Chaotic Meat is back. That's true. How are you doing, Ruxin? And hey, guys, did you know that my promo code through Gamersups is Chaotic Meat, which you can find at exclamation point Gamersups. Thank you for the great segue, Mr. Ruxin. Pokemon is the only good game. Why are you doing this to me? I just thought, was Gen 2 the only gen without new fossil Pokemon? Gen 7 and Gen 9. I don't believe Gen 7 had any. Been playing since 97, never skipped a generation. I haven't skipped a generation either, but I do play other video games. And I do like when people are willing to give other things a shot. How are you doing today, Meat? I'm doing fine. I'm tired. I will admit I'm a bit tired because I didn't have the best sleep last night. But I am operating. I am operating decently. Stopped after Sun and Moon. Understandable, but also Scarlet Violet is worth your time. It's a good game. It just runs on bad hardware. I skipped Galar, just never interested me at all. Understandable. Not really. Probably one of the me most mediocre Pokemon games. Nothing to say bad about it. Nothing to say good about it. Just overall, the co total, like middle of the road mediocrity nothing standing out it's just a pokemon game galar was awful insult to uk well i'm sorry to the well, actually why am i apologizing to the british accurate depiction of the british mediocre I feel like it's been a rough sleep week for me, too. I don't know what it was last night. I'm Scottish, not British. Close enough. That means you're Italian, right? <laughs> uh. As a Brit can confirm. The only British person who needs an apology is Spiff. I don't know who Spiff is. Unless you mean Spiffing Brit, in which case that makes sense. Uh, I've learned a couple of things from that person. I've never played Johto. It's too expensive to get heart gold. Understandable. Uh... The only time I would have recommended it is if you had a 3DS at the time and could have just gotten the virtual console version of the original Crystal. But now that that's gone, nah, don't even bother. During the pandemic, I completed the yellow and crystal Pokedexes, then printed out the diplomas on my Game Boy printer. That is the most based thing I've heard all day.
The story of Scar Vio is one of my favorites. They just need to fix the game-breaking bugs. I also really like the new Pokemon. Uh, it's probably my favorite region now. I think the Pokemon designs in that game are pretty good. I don't think they usually miss with much. Then again, the people that seem to, you know, complain about sentient garbage bags and sentient ice cream cones seem to differ. Which I, you know, I don't care about those. I like them. I just think they're kind of funky. Black 2, White 2 story, I still don't think goes over Scarlet Violet. I think original Black and White beats it out, but no, Black 2, White 2 is definitely not as story-driven as the original Black and White. I'm so angry they didn't put Fanpy and Soul Silver when it was in the original Silver. Oh, did they flip-flop the um, the region exclusive? They made the Silver ones in Heart Gold and the in the Gold ones in Soul Silver. That's funny. Ah, uh, yes, sentient garbage bags. Uh, is so much worse than sentient ball of steel with eye and magnets. That's very true. Or one brown worm thing with a nose evolving into three brown worm things with three noses. I thought the crater was a great design. Oh, area zero? Or what? what, what crater? I'm guessing that's it. Damn, we're getting close to odds. Yeah. Ugh, come on. Come on, game. Just don't give me another extra Geo, dude. I just, I pray. I, I'm praying for this not to happen. Please. Or ball with eyes evol uh, evolving into ball with eyes and mouth and upside down. They didn't flip all the exclusives. The Western Gold and Silver had Fampy swapped, and HGSS fixed it. Oh. Why did they swap them? People. Gen 5 Mon, so uncreative. Gen 1 Pokemon Snake backwards. Yeah. Nostalgia is a blinding factor, which is why I think a lot of people still like Johto, despite the fact that it has objective problems with it. If you it, look at it in comparison to other Pokemon games. Muck backwards. <laughs> True. Yeah, the people who claim that new mons have boring designs didn't play Gen 1 and 2. Uh, they did play Gen 1 and 2, and those were the only ones they played. That, that's like the a opposite of the, uh, you know, that's like the opposite of the uh, correct outcome of that. I am the number one Hoenn hater. Hoenn's not bad. Hoenn is nowhere near as, like, bad, for sure. Nostalgia is such a blinding factor for people to judge things. Yeah, it is It is very strange, especially for Pokemon. Like, you either... Uh, it's always the, like... Uh, there is this theory that um, people only like... Uh, they always say their favorite generation is the one they primarily grew up with, which... I guess is fair, but also the majority of Pokemon generations were around when I when I was growing up. Uh, when I was born, it, we were still in Gen 2. Uh, when I started playing the games, it was Gen 3. And, like, I was growing up through Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6. Gen 7 finished uh, th the year I, I turned 18. So... But I, I, I saw it as just, like, I saw it as a bell curve. For me, I thought, I mean, it's not even a bell curve. It's more like this. Uh, for me, it was like, I liked, I liked Gen 3 a lot. I think Gen 3 is a really fun game, especially, especially Emerald. Still really loved that game. Diamond and Pearl run at, like, uh, the core of a good game is, is there, definitely. Uh, but the game runs like a sloth taking a shit while molasses is flowing next to it. That's how slow it is. Uh, Platinum barely fixes anything, even though people say, Oh, Platinum fixed the speed problem. No, no, your emulator fixed the speed problems. Um, but Gen 5, Gen 5 running at 60 frames per second in, uh, in battles, the animated sprites, things just moved fast. 
Um, animations for, were short and sweet. Uh, the games had a ton of content. There were two different games for the for the um, for the region. There was just a lot there. I feel like the like Generation Five as a whole is just so much farther beyond other Pokemon games in terms of content, in terms of variety, in terms of storytelling, even in the, from the original. I think the original really had a lot of good character moments. And while, yeah, Scarlet Violet gets pretty damn close, it's really only uh, isolated to Area Zero. And it might also be in the, um, in the DLC that I haven't played, but that's because I don't want to pay for $30 DLC. <laughs> Like, not until I have to do the Professor Oak's challenge will I buy that DLC. Let's all agree that Gen 6 is the worst. Gen 6 is not the worst. Gen 6 is aggressively mediocre. Gen 8 is also aggressively mediocre. Gen 7 is both A, aggressively mediocre, and B, bogged down by too many goddamn unskippable fucking cutscenes. That's why it's worse. Did you get the third shiny rock? No. Good. Thank God. Get me the goddamn, <laughs> goddamn Zubat. I really liked X and Y. And how old are you? This will be the deciding factor. I was 13 when... when uh, I had just turned 13 when Gen 6 dropped. And even at that age, I was like... Oh, damn. This, does not, this is not as good as the last game. This was... Kind of barren. 33? Okay. What's your opinion on Gen 5? I was literally just saying that. My favorite games in the series, bar none. X and Y was fine, but that's the best I'll give it. Exactly. Aggressively mediocre. Fine. Pretty, pretty much synonyms. Uh, X and Y were okay. The pacing was awful and had a great regional decks. I definitely agree with the great regional decks for sure. Um, the pacing was terrible. Mostly, again, I have my theories that the amount of content that was that was between gyms one and two was the amount of content that they wanted to have between like every single gym. But because they were getting rushed, like they had just released Black and White and uh, two in 2012, they only had like another like year and change to keep working on their first 3D game. Not to mention the Gear Project started around that time. And Game Freak, being the wise sages they are, moved their primary development team that was working on Pokemon up through Gen 5 Part 2 over to making non-Pokemon games. And then the secondary team was saddled with Gen 6, which is probably why the game kinda sucks. It doesn't suck suck, it's just, again, mediocre. It sucks in comparison to other Pokemon games that, are, that came before them. Specifically, Gens 3 through 5. I think that Gens 1 and 2 are good games. Uh, like, they're fine. They For the time that they came out, uh, they or they they work. Um, I mean, they, they kind of work, but it's based on Spit and a Wish. Um, but, like, Gen 6 just felt like the most mediocre game that had come out by that point in the Pokemon series. Everything else was, like, pretty decent to really really good but like again gen 6 was just like the first one that was fine gen 6 had a bunch of gen 1 pandering piss easy free mega lucario forgettable rivals free lapras free gen 1 starter which is a part of the gen 1 pandering uh two mega evolutions for charizard two mega evolutions for mewtwo mega evolutions for Bl uh for blastoise and uh venusaur uh, too much, too much. Although I really hope they lean into it just for the meme of it and give us Mega Charizard Z and Mega Mewtwo Z. That's I just want it for the f the fun of it. I think it'd be hilarious. Um, 
I think it's more of a nod to the fans that that they're like, yeah, we probably went overboard with that, but here's this because it's funny. I appreciate people shitposting in video games. Like, if you can make a shitpost thing in a video game work and it's fun, I'm all for it. And I hope that's what Mega Charizard Z and Mega Mewtwo Z end up being if they exist. I want to see Charizard Z and Mewtwo Z get people mad on Twitter. True. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The shitposty nature of the idea of putting those in the game is what makes me want them. Why Mega Mewtwo Z? I just want Mega Mega Rayquaza because Mega Rayquaza enough is just... Or Mega Rayquaza alone just isn't enough. True. Shitpost like the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce was a shitpost. It was great. It was like, add another segment to the body. Oh, did you hit the 1 in 100 chance? Add two segments to the body. That'll be great. I got X because Deer and Dragon Charizard. That was pretty much my only... Uh, that was that was my reasoning, too. I think it was more just Dragon Charizard. I was like, oh, it's like I have a shiny Charizard, but I don't. People wanted a, uh, people wanted a Dunsparce evolution for years. That's... Uh, I know. I, 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 I've been around the internet for over a decade. <laughs> for over a decade and a half at this point. So I feel that. I got Y because, oh my god, black, red, shiny. Ooh, fair. Wasn't Gen 6 meta, like, one of the healthier ones? Absolutely not. Hmm. I'm having war flashbacks to Parental Bond Mega Kangaskhan. And Aegislash. And Geomancy Xerneas. And Talonflame. Yes, Talonflame. And more Landorus T. Yeah, Gen 8 was definitely a bit more balanced, even though... Again, I think Dynamaxing in that uh, in that game was too broken for competitive. I think Terrastalization, despite the fact that it's pretty random, um, usually Pokemon have one or two typings that b profit them the most, which is why it's not as random as I expected it to be. Because when it was announced, and I was I was still part of Beast Coast Pokemon at the time, when I saw that, I'm like, no. This is not good for the competitive scene at all. It just makes... It, there's just too much variance there. I cannot play a game competitively that has too much variance. And I understand you can get really, really good and really, really familiar with everything. Just look at Wolfie. Wolfie is insanely familiar. But even today, like, he got 13th place at the, uh, the European International Championships. Like... There is still some variance there that kind of kind of cracks in uh, occasionally, and sometimes you just don't make it to the, uh, to you know the top eight. What's funny though is that he did have the record to make top eight, but he just didn't have good tiebreakers. And this is why I think that Pokemon should do more than a top eight because bubbling when your record is good enough is bullshit, and I hate when it happens in any event. It happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! It happens in Pokemon TCG! It happens it happens in Pokemon VGC. Top 8 is not enough. It should at least be a top 16. Hell, even Yu-Gi-Oh! will do top 32 or top 64 if it's a big enough event. Like, if it's like 3,000 plus people, like, they will cut to top 64 because they don't want too many people bubbling. They want everybody who has at least reached the requisite amount of points needed to top at least a chance of, of taking that crown. Which is good. But Pokemon sticking to top 8 and never changing just feels like they don't really give a shit. Which sucks. First time I saw that, I thought Pokemon will get three types with Terra. Better, uh, better it came as it is. Yeah, that's true. I don't like Terrastalization personally. Competitive lowers my enjoy... Uh, 
Competitive lovers might enjoy. I just don't vibe with it. Also, stupid hat. That's fair. Terrestrialization is kind of edgy to me. It's literally, you know what? Let's give them silly, silly hats. Well, that's not edgy. That's just... Edgy is like... Shadow the Hedgehog. Nice cock. Like, that. that's edgy. But silly hats is definitely not edgy. It's like jumping the shark almost. It's like, yeah, let's give their Pokemon a funny hat that gives them a different type. Gen 6 was also fun, though. I uh, can't all uh, outstall the fi 559 defense wall. Angry Mega, mega Adron no noises. That's fair. Gen 5 Weather Wars are memes and vibes. That was the meta that I, uh, my buddy Joseph said he played a lot of Showdown on when he was younger. Uh, MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! specifically. He, uh, he said that he was playing a lot of Weather Wars. And... I, I just, I didn't play a lot of singles. I was mostly like a doubles guy. And really the only year that I took it seriously enough to like get to nationals. Because of course, like my parents were bringing me to most of these events. The only reason I made it to nationals was because we were uh, visiting family in a nearby state to the uh, the last chance qualifying regionals in uh, in Indianapolis. I happened to get top 16 in that. And you know what my parents said? was we were hoping you would win one, but we were hoping you would lose and not go to nationals so that we could go home. And I'm like, I swear, every single thing that I look back on of my parents treating my hobbies like crap, I'm like, God, I have more and more reason as to why I don't talk to you. Like, you know, I, sometimes I do wake up and I just feel bad about like, because I, I, I truly wonder, am I doing the right thing not talking to them? But then I keep adding to the list of things that are like, God, they really treated me like shit. So I just, you know, every time I add something to the list, I'm more and more convinced that I'm doing the right thing. I remember in that group channel you were in, uh, there's an entire video about how terrible Gen 6 Restricted was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, the, yeah, Beast Coast Pokemon. Smear Gold plus Precipice Blaze RNG, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, I don't think I was part of that video, but I do recall this, yes. Oh, are you no contact? Yeah. Parents are just people. If they're not good people, there's no reason to let them be part of your life. You do what's best for you. Yeah, that's fair. And you know, it's kind of like, I, I think I have thick skin. Like I'm, I'm kind of fine with dealing with it myself. Uh, and just, you know, trying to keep a relationship open just in case people need help or I need help in the future. But I think that the, the cutoff point for me was specifically them. It, it was, it was practically outright supporting the Palestinian genocide. And just saying that if we if Israel doesn't kill them all, they'll all get killed instead. And I'm like, that's that's not how that works. They just need to give them their freedom, dude. I, the fact that you believe that is, <sighs> I'm sorry. I have friends that have friends and family that live there, and have been killed. And when that's the case, you you have a bit more sympathy to the plight there. And when you have that, and people say that they just all need to die, especially your family. You get to the point where you're like, I don't want to associate with you. So. Like, imagine saying that a whole group of people needs to die. Imagine literally saying that you should, that genocide should happen. Like, you gotta be fucking delusional. My mother thinks that Pokemon is evil, but here I am in my 30s raising too many Pokemon trainers. In the end, it doesn't matter what your parents say. Do what you love. Agreed. Sorry if the if the uh, the conversation got a little too serious there, but no, I uh, yeah.
People can support the weirdest things. I've got gay friends that want Hamas to win simply because they hate Israel. Doesn't make sense to me. Well, I also think that Hamas is a problem, but I also think that it, they, they would have never really risen to power if Israel had just given this section, the, like the the, uh, the Gaza Strip and like Palestine in and of itself, their own freedom. Like, I don't know. You can't treat people in an open-air prison and not expect them to revolt and try to overthrow because clearly you won't listen to reason. But... Pokemon, uh, Pokemon is evil. Also, them. If you don't believe, behave exactly as we tell you, you will burn in hell. Your skin ripped off and torture and pain forever. <sighs> God, people are weird. I really am just in the camp of treat people uh, and not uh, like not like a dick, and do what you want as long as it's not hurting anybody else. That's literally the only two things that are like, that is the baseline, please. Please just follow the baseline. Not at all, man. At the end of the day, you do what you love. It's your life at the end of the day, not theirs. Agreed. Yep. I don't want kids, but oh, have I thought so much about how I would raise my kids. Yeah, uh, I've definitely had thoughts about that. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I ever will, uh, but if I do, I do want to try my best to like be a good like role model and like not raise them like shit and you know I, I don't want to give them any childhood trauma because like too many people suffer with that stuff and it's disgusting come for the piss rats stay for the existential musings thank you cards I appreciate it One of my favorite things to end discussions with fanatics of any kind with was, have a day you deserve, sir slash ma'am. Honestly, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Because they can uh, think all high, high and mighty of themselves, well, I'm going to have a great day because I know that I'm right. And, you know, they might not be. All kids deserve parents, but not all parents deserve to have kids. That's true. That is very true. So I've got to ask the whole Pokemon thing is evil slash the devil is still a big thing in the U.S. It never was a thing in the U.K. I, I mean, I don't know, but like I, I had like step cousins whose mother also believed the whole Pokemon is satanic thing. I tried bringing my Pokemon games over there to play by myself, and she took them from me. And I'm like, excuse me, you are not my mother, you are not my father, you are not my parental figure. You can have your beliefs, I can have mine. But my, at the same time, I'm like eight years old. Like, I don't have the maturity of that, but I'm surely thinking something pretty close to it. Mom's too much on Facebook. That time, probably MySpace. I'm just here for the Raid Shadow Legends ads. True! I'd rather be a weird witchy woman the neighborhood kids are scared of because I'm always followed by a flock of crows that's based. My mom believed that crap too until I invited her to watch a Pokemon marathon with me. I, I, I don't know what really... I don't know. People with big influence that wanted to capitalize on it and try to... I, I, what, what were they trying to capitalize on? It's not like they're... I, I, I don't understand what was the point. Like, it's just a video game. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Raid. The bug spray. What do you think I was going to say? <laughs> that would be an amazing, uh, like, April Fool's uh, ad or something like that. 
Uh, the, by the way, the stream is not sponsored, but I am affiliated with exactly one company right now, that being Gamersups, which you can get some at exclamation point Gamersups. Use my code Chaotic Meat. Get 10% off your order, and for every dollar that you spend on drink mix and or instant ramen from their site, I will add one minute to the timer for every dollar spent. Look at that. Look at that segue. That was just that was beautiful. Digimon was worse. It literally had demons and devils in it. That Yeah, that's true. People think being Pokemon D&D and Harry Potter brought on Satanism is just so weird. I mean, I understand the Harry Potter thing of, like, witchcraft or whatever. Like, I guess that's the closest one that really gets to it. But I think it was much more trying to be an innocent fun until... Until J.K. Rowling decided to be an idiot, but you know. It's uh, Gamer Supps. Uh, Gamer S-U-P-P-S, Heidi. You say instant ramen? Yes. This stuff. Thank you. No problem, though. I'm not, not, I'm trying to get the gamer suck. True! <sighs> Please? I, uh, I'm asking nicely, Gabe. We're getting a little high up in the tank. Please? Please. Uh, have you been to Japan once? I have not. Shiny in three, two, one. Let's see. Three. Oh, I didn't count that one. Two. One. Sorry, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Breaking news! Child finds 6,539 bats caused epidemic in local town, experts say. Imagine being 12 with religious parents and starting to play Burning Abyss. Uh, well, I mean, okay, so Dante is the divine comedy and is technically biblical fan fiction. But at the same time, all of the, um, oh, I accidentally hit the space bar again. But at the same time, all of the, like, monsters are demons. So it's very hard to sell it. Like, you're you're using the demons as material, as Xyz material to make Dante. It's like, that doesn't sound right. It's a pretty hard sell. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, you discard one of the demons so that you can overlay Beatrice on top of Dante. Does that mean they're fornicating? See, that's exactly how how uh, how parents that uh, want n want nothing to do with it would say. Like, I can come up with the excuses immediately. I think I hit the space bar on that one. Why does Gamersups have an I hate anime tab? Uh, because some people hate anime. For some reason. Which is, you know, fine, but... I don't know. Maybe they just want to be like, I don't want to put, you know, big anime titties in front of my friends and family's faces that don't understand it. I want to look normal in my real, li uh, in my real life. And I completely get that. People like that exist, I guess. I mean, you can't be degen all the time. My mom was anti-Pokemon for a bit, but okay with Yu-Gi-Oh. That doesn't make sense. The main mechanic is summoning and their spell cards. That doesn't make sense. It's literally just the thing of, which one am I annoyed with more? It, it, Parents that don't do their research piss me off and to no end. 
do your research, especially if you have a computer. And like my family, we grew up like I could I don't remember a time when I was a kid that we didn't have a computer with internet access. And I don't know. You know, somebody could have researched anime and understood, "Oh, okay, there there are ratings to this. Okay, these are ones safe for kids that are in America." I understand. Okay, that I I get it. So there's there's a bit of a difference in terms of culture between Japanese and American culture, what they're comfortable with showing kids and what Americans are comfortable with showing kids. Uh, but these are ones that we can show our uh, our kid and he can still partake in this thing that he likes. Like, I don't understand why you can't get to that point after maybe like 15, 20 minutes of research. It's really not hard. Some people in are ignorant in their ways and refuse to change their worldview. I guess. I think I got away with it because my mom loved horses, so she loved Ponytail Rapidash. That's funny. How do you keep the counter for Zubat encounters? Like, do you press a key for every Zubat encounter? Correct. As an LGS employee, please try and contain your card, pr your anime cringe in public. I really hate confronting people about lewd playmats slash sleeves. Please, yeah. Like, oh my god. Can uh, Please put away your, your uh, naked evil twin, Lilla, Orica. Thank you. Like, oh my god. It's really not that difficult. The names of these sa flavors are something else. I know, right? Don't you want to drink a nice, good, uh, a nice glass of titty milk? <laughs> the th <laughs> I don't know why I did the eyebrow raise. I just did. <laughs> it just came naturally. Uh, sometimes the degeneracy just comes out without you thinking about it. We like to call these people natural shit posters. What do you mean I can't use my half-naked Tifa playmat? <laughs> the Rock would do a promo for Titty Milk. He'd call it the the People's Milk or something. He would be like, I'm going to dip the People's Strudel inside the People's Milk. And it's going to feel so good. <laughs> the Rock can't get enough. Of, of the people's milk. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Grandpa's ashes and it's interesting. That one makes me laugh every time I hear about it. Can you hit us with the people's eyebrow? There you go. Another day, same cave, lol. Good, good afternoon, Meatball. Hello, Tay Man. When I played Yu-Gi-Oh, I had a friend to make ancient Mew custom Pokeball sleeves. I got glared at, but I was happy. Oh, that's kind of neat. I do think it's funny, like using the other uh, one of the other big TCGs accessories when you're playing a different TCG, just to like trigger people that are you know anal about that kind of thing. I saw a vid video of a fedora guy carrying an anime body pillow and Helsinki, or Helsinki, Helsinki. I don't know why I uh, I just had a dys dyslexia moment there, uh, and I think th uh, the secondhand embarrassment removed ten years out of my life. That's funny. What do you mean day? I'm pretty sure the concept of time has been long lost in the darkness. I agree. Steve, he, uh, Steven, he's emotional damage flavor. Emotional damage. I love, I love it. It's so funny. I'm not interested in playing the TCG, but I want to collect the cool Charizard and Gengar cards because they're my favorite. You know, there's text on those cards. They do things. 
Did you know Charizard's a good deck right now? Oh. Uh, what Gamer Sup's flavor tastes like Baja Blast again? Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Uh, first competitive deck you played, mine was Insectors. I was very liked at my locals. I could imagine. At least you weren't playing Dino Rabbit. Um, for me, it was Drytron. I'm very new to this. Uh, not very new. I mean, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for over three years at this point. But that was like the first new set that came out while I was like actually actively trying to learn how to play the game. The deck that I started with was Barrier Statue Stun. Mostly because I had the Barrier Statues inside of maximum gold and i was like okay i have these all i have to do is like buy a bunch of like solemns and you know trap cards and that was how i learned the basic interactions and basic rules of Yu-Gi-Oh. which i understand it's irritating to play against but when you're somebody that's just learning i think that's acceptable because you're learning how the mechanics all work and you're kind of getting to uh like put your uh, you're kind of dipping your toe into the deep end and seeing how it works before you like go ham and try to learn how combos work wait those flavor names are real i thought they were from that cruelty squad video no they really do like shit posting it's wonderful i wouldn't have it any other way Yu-Gi-Oh and dragon ball fans have one thing in common they can't read very true but yeah so when I first started playing Drytron, though, the first week I brought it to Locals, I got third, and the second week I brought it to Locals, I won, so... I can definitely say that was on the back of that deck being way too goddamn unfair, and me already seeing, like, combo potential and being like, oh, if I add this together... It was like doing addition in terms of... Uh, and doing, like, ratios, which I'm good at math, so being able to take those cards and do, like, the ratios thing... Because what I would do is I would do... I would play one... Drytron Fafnir, which was the, sh the field spell. I would play two Drytron Nova because I didn't want to brick on Nova because it's a hard once per turn. So I wanted to play one field spell that searches the Nova and then I add the Nova so that I don't draw like two of them. But if I uh, open both Fafnir and Nova, I can use Fafnir to get Meteonis uh, in case like my Zeta gets Ashed or something. Um, it, it was like, it, it was a really cool time to... Uh, to kind of figure out how to do it. It was cool. Okay, now I am convinced to buy. Well, there you go. There are uh, if you if you do want recommended flavors, I do I do say the guacamole uh, the guacamole what the fuck guacamole gamer fart and the uh, and the brand risk ones are two of my favorites. I tried uh, I had one of the samples of the mango meta, which you can get uh, you can get some samples if you don't want to commit immediately. But uh, I tried the mango meta one yesterday uh, on stream and it was really good. I also, uh, I've tried the, uh, the watermelon ice. I don't know if they still have that one. The container I have of it is still kind of, is kind of old. Uh, I got it a, a while back, but it's, it's kind of been sitting in my cupboard because I've been doing other flavors, but it's also good. I like that one as well, but there, there are a couple of them. I haven't played since high school, so 16 years, but I played Ojama King back in the day based there is one piece of modern advice I always give to someone. There are no bodies in the water. What? It's an SCP reference. I don't know what that is. It's a shame I don't drink energy drinks. Would like to uh, try some of these flavors. Rygan, then you're in luck because they also have non-caffeinated versions. Same price, same flavor, just no caffeine. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. I don't understand this. You should listen to the song Welcome to the Internet. I have. I thought it was funny. Uh, we have, what, 42 more encounters until we hit quadruple sixes? Can we land the the, zap, the Zubat on, on quadruple sixes? How long have you been looking for Zubat? 
a while. Too long. So the first day was stream number four. I got about 1,500 encounters of just Zubat. Yesterday, we got the counter to 5450. And that was the only thing we did for 12 hours. I am still hunting for it. So this is my third day. I'm a very, very sad boy. Folks, also, if you have not liked the stream, uh, go ahead and scroll down and double check if you, to see if you've given it a like. If not, make sure to hit it. Tab over if you haven't already. Uh, I very much appreciate it. It helps show off the stream to more people that are subscribed and perhaps to even some non-subscribers, which would be really cool. You're making up for the starter luck. I'm making up for the starter luck. Not only that, and the uh, the back-to-back -back Geodude and Unknown that we got on stream, I think, three. It was either three or four. I think all that's. I think all that was actually four. Yeah, it was four. Hello, I'm back from shopping. Welcome back, uh, Jonielle. Schmeatball. That's me, the Schmeatball. How's it going, James? You're going to reset the counter to zero for the Slowpokes and Slowpoke well? Yes. It was four. Okay. Again, I I am I'm still at the expectation of as long as I get the shiny Zubat in less than eight thousand one hundred ninety-two Zubat encounters, I am a happy boy. If we go over, that means I'm getting unlucky, and I'm not a happy boy. <laughs> I'm still upset uh, how my all-time favorite soda flavor was just a limited-time movie production. Oof. Cranberry and red currant. I don't know what that is. It's like, I don't know where you're also from, so I don't know if that was like a regional thing or, or if that was something in the U.S. I don't know. Schmeatball is a shilling meatball. True. That is very true. I'm good. At, I'm good at the shilling. How does the Charizard deck work? Uh, I'd maybe try out TCG if I can use the deck of a Pokemon I really like. Um. I would suggest looking it up on YouTube. There's other creators in the Pokemon TCG space that can, like, show off deck profiles. There's almost there's also a site called Limitless TCG that shows top decks of, uh, like, recent premiere events. Charizard has topped. But I definitely... I think that um, Roaring Moon might have taken the mantle as, like, the best dark deck just because um, it's it's been topping recently. So I don't know. Uh, any shinies in this cave yet? Uh, we got a duplicate sh shiny Geodude. So, technically, yes. How did people do shiny hunting without speed up? Must have been hell. I don't know. There's a Pokemon TCG game for mobile. Don't download it on mobile. Download it on, on PC, please. The mobile version will literally fry your phone. Like, your phone will get ridiculously hot. It will burn through the battery like mad. Um, just use it on PC. And folks, I just realized the timer has gone below 55 hours. My goal is to at least keep it um, keep it net neutral by the end of the stream. I would love to see it still at 55 hours. If not, if we can push it to 60. The only reason I want that time to be higher than, uh, than when we started is because I want to make sure we have plenty enough time to beat gold, silver, and crystal. Because again, if we can get this one video out... I can say that I'm doing these streams at the beginning of the video and the people that are not getting notifications for the streams will know that they can tune in and then it'll be like a cycle and it will start, uh, we will basically be guaranteed to finish it, but we got to get through gold, silver, crystal first. So if we can keep that timer as high as physically possible, I would very much appreciate it. And again, you can increase that timer by every dollar from a super chat, increases it by a minute. Every membership you either buy for yourself or gift adds five minutes to the, to the timer. And uh, exclamation point gamer subs again gets you 10% off any order over there. And if you get any of the drinks or instant ramen there, I will add every dollar that you spend over there into one minute for each dollar. Yo, Endo. 
Thank you so much for the two buckaroonies. Let me go ahead and add that to the timer. Facts, I only stumbled on stream two by chance. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, the, people get alerts for the videos, but I don't understand why they don't get alerts for the um, for the streams. Like, I don't know what YouTube is thinking or what YouTube's algorithm is. Maybe it's just they don't have a history of watching streams on YouTube and therefore don't push streams to people. But I always see, like, on my, on my top left, because I, uh, or not top left, but on my left hand, like, uh, toolbar when I'm on YouTube, I always see the creators that are live streaming on the top. Another phone bites the dust, not for me, though. What, the, the Pokemon TCG um, live thing that we were just talking about? Yeah, that does kill your phone pretty easily. Also, Endo, thank you for your super chat virginity. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Absolutely. If folks, I collect super chat virginities for a living, and it helps the timer. It's just a funny joke. You need to click all when subbing. Well, when you hit the uh, when you hit the bell icon for notifications, you do have to change it from. Um, you have to change it to all. Yeah. Meatball's Meatball Fund? Very true. Uh, thank you for the five... Uh, thank you for the ten real ZBD. Um, ooh, let me go over here. Doing my part to help, I very much appreciate it, guys. I don't know if we've had any uh, Gamer Sups orders. Let me go ahead and give it a check. No, we have not had any orders yet today. But when we do, I will make sure to add that to the timer. Accidentally forgot to include a message. Whoopsie. I can read chat. It's fine. Also with the name Meatball, I want to see you get a Manscaped sponsorship. I believe I had one like a long time ago, but like nobody like picked up any of this stuff and they didn't want to pick me up for a second, uh, second opportunity because they were like, oh, we're just losing money with him. So Ripperonis. It's okay though. I gotta get my paycheck first, then I wanna try the drinks. The drinks are good, and uh, I always, uh, I've been saying that they are really good for like a soda replacement, just cutting out sugary sodas. And um, if you still want like an, a, like also sugary energy drinks if you want the caffeine. But since there's non caffeinated version as well, uh, you can still get like your, you know, an actual tasty drink that doesn't have caffeine, that doesn't have the sugar in it. So, what requirements do you need for brand merch with Gamer Subs? Uh, I would I would love to see a chaotic meatball shaker. Um, it's just I have to. Uh, there just has to be a certain amount of products sold with my code being used. That's basically it. I don't. I, I still have to. I have to relook over the contract if I can disclose what the exact number is and if I can reveal what what the uh, the progress has been so far. But um, I haven't done that. I'll t I'll do that tomorrow. 367 likes. Oh, shoot. We are a th uh, over a third of the way to uh, hitting the 1,000 like goal that I have today. Well, if you guys... Can we push it to 400 real quick? There's 200, uh, 281 people here. And uh, in case you haven't checked, just scroll down, tab over. I'd very much appreciate it. Sorry if it's annoying, but uh, it's it's the YouTuber call to action thing. I apologize. It's just It's just how this platform works. Oh, we passed the devil number. I just realized that. Maybe we will get it on 6969. You know what? I would be happy with that. That would be funny. I imagine your fan, fan base are mainly high school to post a uh, grad age, so the oldest fans would be interested in Manscaped. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, I know the demographics on my channel... There, there's more. Uh, there, there's actually a higher percentage of uh, 25 to like 36 than there are uh, 18 to 25. So I think you're actually kind of wrong about that demo, which is kind of funny. Uh, I would absolutely get gamer subs if they have a normal sugar version. None of the uh, sugar substitutions have ever made me feel good. Now that I can definitely understand.
We are making it past 10k. What do you mean we're making it past 10k? Oh, the with the tie with the uh, the amount of encounters. I hope not. That's fair, Demo. I get it. I get it. I'm willing to give stuff a shot once if I like am looking for something in the niche that the the, the like the brand deal is with. Like again, when when I did want, uh, I got some like face products from a from a brand that my buddy Ruxin was sponsored by, and I've been trying it, and I'm uh, I'm gonna see until I'm done with like the cycle of it. Like once I'm done with all of the uh, the products that I ended up getting, whether or not um, it actually did improve like my the look of my face, like clearing up the uh, breakouts and like blackheads and all that stuff. Assuming if it does the the job that I need it to do, um, I might continue with it. Otherwise, I'll probably just uh, keep searching for something that hopefully ends up making me look a little bit better. You're gonna get the shiny at exactly eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. That'd be hilarious. I'd be like, oh, the we the count has finally hit. It's time to give him his shiny. Have you ever gotten a keeps sponsor one time? Yes. But I also have. I'm not losing hair, so I I kind of. Uh, <laughs> it's not that it was disingenuous, but like I've I've had like friends that have tried using it and it works, but at the same time, like. I probably don't need to be the one peddling it because I have I have my hair. Uh, have you played any Digimon World DS games? Uh, no, I have not. I have not engaged in the Digimon uh, space of games or shows or movies or anything. I was going to say, I don't think you're a keeps pitcher. I did it once. I'll try anything once. I mean, sometimes twice, depending on if my first go around was uh, just a fluke. But if it doesn't work out after the second time, I'm probably not going to do it again. Factor? I don't. Th I've had a lot of friends sponsored by Factor, but I don't think I've ever done one with them. I don't remember. I have to go. Good luck on the weed bat. Thank you, doggos. And everybody has a different name for the bat. Let's just all come together and call it the pickle bat. It's the pickle bat. It's the color of a pickle. And it's like it's like pickleball, but it's a pickle bat. Like if Moist Pitch keeps on a hard sponsor, people would laugh because he won that genetic lotto. True. I was gonna say yesterday you look like you're taking yourself, uh, you're taking better care of yourself. I'm assuming you meant to say, but I assumed to just age. But the skincare is working. Well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I'm trying my best. I think I, I did have a lot. I, I had like a big old like multiple things on my face started breaking out at the same time, which is what made me break out that kit that I had gotten several months ago. And I was just like, all right, fine. If this ends up working, then I will continue with this. But. Um, before I was just doing my normal skincare routine. I've been using like Cetaphil as like my main uh, face mo uh, wash and moisturizer for like, and I usually do it like twice, um, twice a day. The programmer is the only difference I see in dev team. For what? X, P, W, and X, and Y have three of the same producers. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place, but I don't see differences in dev team. Um, there is a video that Sylph Spectre did about the, um, about why Pokemon changed, uh, between Gens 5 and 6, and, uh, I think it explains it pretty well, but, yeah, the Gear Project had Game Freak's primary team on it, as opposed to Pokemon, which had their, uh, had their secondary team on it. Brandon Stacy, thank you for the $20 e dues. Let me go ahead and add that to the timer. I really do appreciate it. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. That means that's some super chat virginity. Pickle bat. Cheers to that. Ooh. 
I really do think I'm getting chapped lips. I, I might need to uh, do that. I might need to get to some lip balm tomorrow. How's the stream been going today? Well, we haven't made any progress, but we haven't run into an extra shiny Geodude today, like we, uh, unlike we did yesterday, so it's not bad. Technically, the rat has HP Dragon, exactly. The one that we're not using has HP Dragon. Oh man, if Slowpoke, Slow King can get HP Dragon, that'd be great. Unless it already gets an Ice move. I don't remember. We know HP of Geodude 2. No, it doesn't matter though. I'm not using it because it's not a legal encounter. Slow King can learn Blizzard. That works. Good enough. I know it's 70% accurate, but it does the job. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was right. You found another orange with arms before the the pickle bat. It is the pickle bat. It is not anything else. It is the pickle bat. Still holding out for the shiny Dunsparce. It's not happening. It's not happening. Blizzard, Icy, Wind, and Ice Punch in Gen 2. Ice Punch, probably your best. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which we actually can get soon, so that'll be cool. Because you know Ice Beam is only in Crystal. Exactly. That's why we changed Lantern around. We were originally going to go for Lantern in this game. But uh, considering the fact that Mareep isn't in Crystal, it actually makes more sense to move Lantern to uh, to Crystal. Because that at least gives us an electric type to work with. The Unripe Banana Bat. That's, that's kind of funny. So Lantern for Crystal. That is one of the goals, yes. You know, I'm like taking my time. I'm like, is that not the same color? It is not. It is not green and purple. You dork. Why are you still here? <laughs> run away from the Zubat. Okay. And that's when my brain finally registers to run away. Sixty-seven twenty-four. Avocado bat. I'm sticking with Pickle Bat. We've got cars for 90% off. I love me some Big Shot. Watermelon Bat. Actually, it is kind of close to Watermelon Colors, isn't it? Dill bat? That's funny. If fart was a color bat, not as good. I'm going to pause this real quick. I want to wipe down this uh, D-pad a little bit more. I remember a Family Jewels metal cover of this. It had Alpha Rad doing the lyrics. Yeah, that was funny. I know that Alpha Rad has a bit of a, of a uh, passion for music stuff, which is cool whenever he gets the chance to do that. What's the played time at? Well, let's take a gander real quick. Oh, that feels much better. 467.09. that count? No. There we go. Still struggling with the bat. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. We're almost a third of the way through the stream, and we still don't have the bat. Speaking of which, uh, my goal for today is 1,000 likes and keeping the timer at 55 hours. If you have not been able to drop a like yet, definitely scroll down or to a tab over. Double check, triple check even. Make sure that you are liked to the stream. And if you have the ability to financially help back this series... You can do so through increasing the timer by Super Chat for every dollar is one minute. Through memberships, every membership is five minutes. And then buying anything on Gamersups.gg using the code ChaoticMeat, which you can find using exclamation point Gamersups. Any of the drinks and, and or um, the instant ramen, any of that stuff counts towards the timer. For every dollar that you spend, we'll add a minute. 
And if you're curious as to the stuff that you can get for your contributions, uh, feel free to check on using exclamation point incentives. You can see the little graph I have there. I want the waifu shit, but Loki don't like Mizkif slash dust their click, but for meat, I gotta. That's fair. I think he said he's gonna get Pineco. Pineco and Ho Oh. Hey, Meatball, got any deck recommendations for Duel Link Sky Striker? I'm more casual, but still need to get to silver PV PvP to unlock Mokuba. If you want a budget good deck and use your dream tickets wisely, you can build Tenyi. But if you want to build for longevity right now, you might want to try pulling for Sky Striker. Evil Hero deck. I'm just going to stop that sentence there because that's already not meta. <laughs> Daily Show with the Hundo Bomb. Three. I will add your time after to see if it's three, two, one. Let's see. Two. Come on. One. Is it is it on zero? Oh, it's not on zero. Sanal also with the gifted membership. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and add 105 minutes to the timer. That's a lot. Um, that is not the calculator. That is the snipping tool. I think an hour and 45. No? One hour 45? Yeah, one hour 45. Oh, I did my math wrong then. Yes. Uh, what is the timer at now? 55.02. So it should go up. That was an hour and 30 minutes. Is that correct? No. I need another 15. I can't count. There we go. I think that's correct. Again, the downside of doing this manually, because there is no app to be able to count uh, Super Chats. I saw Poke Aim AMD, uh, uh, MD. We, were, we raided him uh, last night. Why is the controller not working again? We raided him last night, and he's doing a, a subathon using the same timer I am. And... His uh, his just doesn't accept super chats, so I'm just like, or uh, yeah, oopsie. I'm guessing the si shiny Zubat is too stubborn. I'm guessing too, probably. Let me reposition the cord underneath the keyboard. Can you controller? Thank you. Geratum light Fort Knox. <laughs> sure. Also, Sanal, let me go ahead and add the two minutes to the timer real quick. Thank you again for your generosity. All right. Oh, I was 15 minutes behind. Oh, geez. Yeah, if you're trying to catch up, put it on like 1.75 or two times speed or something. Can't be stubborn. Natures don't exist in Gen 2. That's very true. 
Imagine the shiny Zubat just hear you stomping around. We'll just have a re It's again a repeat of Rattata. It's like the Dupes Claws Pokemon are like, I'm not going to you because you're shoving me in a box. I don't care. You will go into the box one way or another. Please. What song is this? I have no idea. I just put on all of Toxic X Eternity's uploads. Uh, this is I Am Impact from Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, which is an actually pretty good N64 game. I'm surprised that they would have a song in it that uh, that has like vocals. I miss Exotics. Feels bad smoking exotic, uh, exotic without him here. Feel uh, I feel that. Sounds like JoJo's. True. That is true. It does kind of. It is kind of similar. I'm so glad abilities didn't exist in Gen 2. Earthquake hitting Magnemite is just so satisfying. Earthquake hitting Gengar is satisfying. Heading to work now. Don't find the shiny while I'm driving. I feel like the game is going to do that just to be a weenie. Um, Joe's Joe's sounds like this. That's that's what someone just said. Sounds like JoJo's. Earthquake still hits Magnemite. It doesn't have Levitate. I thought one of its abilities was Levitate. Is it just Magnezone then? So I know Magnezone has it. Or no. No, it's Sturdy. What am I talking about? That's why I'm like, oh, I can't kill it with the ground type move. It stays alive with only one HP, but you still can't kill it with the ground type move. Uh, did I miss something? I think I just missed something. Uh, by the way, what's your favorite shiny meatball? I have said it before, uh, but it is probably Iron Thorns. Um, again, just Mecha Godzilla that's silver. But it's a Mecha Tyranitar, which is cool as fuck, which is why I like it. Why am I getting so many pings? What do you want? What do you want? Pause the game again real quick. Is this important business? Or is it just people being like, oh, you should join this uh, this stream. Oh, you should uh, watch this video. Like, I get it. I'm doing the same thing. But my lord, how many, how many things? Oh, there might be one. Okay, sorry. There was a one thing. So that's uh, it's a good thing I checked. This is the Tarzan the world theme from Kingdom Hearts. That is correct. Also, Iron Valiant all the way. I feel that. Iron Valiant is a pretty sick one. Did you hear that Pirate Software has all of the OST from his game available royalty-free for streaming slash YouTube? I don't know what that is. Like, who uh, who Pirate Software has all of the OST from his game? What game? I wish Slitherwing was Bug Dragon. Bug Dragon Slitherwing would be sick. Do we have any Bug Dragons? I don't think we do. My friend got a shiny during our grind with our new team members, so now we have a shiny in the box at the moment that's based. We do not. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. I had to have, like, a quick mind scan over the entire national decks and be like, do we have one of those? No. Pirate Software is a former World of Warcraft dev uh, slash his dad made, helped made OG World of Warcraft and a streamer. Oh, that's pretty cool. I find it funny that during a Kingdom Hearts orchestra, they played the beginning of this theme, but immediately moved on to Halloween Town. 
I don't know. I'm not like the biggest Kingdom Hearts guy. I've played one. That's the only one I've played. <laughs> Dunsparce in our in our hearts is Bug Dragon. It should be Bug Dragon. It does not look like a normal type. You'd probably you'd have probably hit Flygon as a false positive. No, I know that Flygon isn't a bug type. I know it's Dragon Ground. They can't use Tarzan after the Kingdom Hearts one for for some weird reason, huh? So they only played enough for fair use. And then immediately moved on to the next song. Very funny. At first, I thought Marowak was Ground Ghost when I was little. It should have been. Another ghost type that should have been in the game. There is only one line. There was an opportunity for three. They could have made Vulpix, Ninetales, Fire Ghost. They could have made Cubone, Marowak, Ground Ghost. Oh no, the music in the world is still by the composer. They just did it for a funny bit. Oh, okay. He's based off a child, uh, a Japanese folklore critter named Tsuchinoko. Oh yeah, that is true. I didn't realize that Dunsparce and Danger Suchinoko look so similar, just not in color. Have we gotten any Geodudes? We got one yesterday. Please, not another one. Any tips on how to make Spinda good? Don't. The Danger Dunsparce. That would be a good alt art. That would be cool. Like, if somebody did an Orica with, like, the art edited to be uh, be Dunsparce instead of the normal Danger Suchinoko, that'd be dope. Uh, yeah, catch a Flutter main in uh, Scarlet Violet and uh, name it Spinda. That's how you make it good. Disney can't use Tarzan at all right now, hence them getting rid of the Tarzan treehouse at the park and no Tarzan cards at Morkana. What's the uh, what's the deal with the uh, the copyright on that? They just don't own Tarzan? Who the hell owns Tarzan, then? Mo Disney has money. I'm surprised they don't just own it themselves already. Considering, like, how old of an IP that is associated with them. Tarzan was a real book first. I guess that makes sense. Like, Grimm's Brothers shit they stole? Oh. Do you watch Stand and Deliver? I've been I've been streaming for the past four hours, so no. I will watch tomorrow. I'm catching up on all my wrestling tomorrow during my day off. The jungle owns Tarzan. Very true. Can I please have my Zubat? Like I will only accept the fact that it's taken this long. If the encounter for Shiny Zubat happens on exactly 6969, if that happens, I at least get to make a funny joke in my video. Alright, no spoilers for you. Thanks. I've been staying away from Twitter the whole stream just to make sure that I don't accidentally, you know... Screw myself over. Mmm, funny joke. Mmm, banana. <laughs> I hate the stupid puppet Yoda. It's too funny. <sighs> uh. I'm going to head out. We'll be driving home. All right, take care, Sinal. <laughs>
32. What are you putting 32 in there? In the script, if you get it like 24 off, be like, so I got Zubat in 69.45, so I got 24 extra encounters to make it right. That's fair. I've had a top chat this whole... We literally mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. I don't know how long you've been around, but that... <laughs> I'm sorry. 32 is when te uh, Spinda gets Teeter Dance. Oh, I thought you were like, you're going to get it in 32 more Zubat encounters. I'm like, really? That's an oddly specific number. But okay. Disney still owns their design of Winnie the Pooh, but not the character. Yes, that's correct. You can't depict him wearing, like, red pants or whatever, red overalls. I don't remember what the, uh, what the exact outfit is. Shit, I was on fan funding chat this whole time. Based. Picklebat in 47 encounters. Picklebat in 159 encounters. Nice, glad I can catch a stream of yours. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, TSS. How are you doing? He has to be depicted uh, depicted with his design from Steamboat Willie and earlier. Correct. That is that is the correct thing for uh, Mickey Mouse. You're almost at 7,000? Yeah. I came here yesterday at 3K and thought it was getting bad. My condolences. Again, the chances of a shiny appearing is 1 in 8,192. As long as I get the Zubat in less than 8,192 encounters of Zubat, I will be okay with it. But if it goes over, I will be angry. You do not want to see the angry meatball. No, you want to see the happy meatball. The slightly chaotic meatball that says dumb shit on stream all the time. You know? It'd be funny. If you had to name the Gen 10 games, what would you name them? Mm. Uh, Pokemon Piss and Pokemon Shit. <laughs> Mostly because the games have... The games have been rough for the past decade. Scarlet Violet feels alright. Legends Arceus was a good fresh change of pace. Just, uh, please, for the love of God. Can I have a game that looks good? That plays well? That doesn't, like, make people angry? Pokemon Cease and Pokemon Desist. That, that would that would be pretty meta. Above odds, Shiny turns Chaotic Meatball into Psychotic Meatball. Same with Shiny Dunsparce. Yeah. Again, if I get Shiny Dunsparce, but we're, we're not going to get it. I'm not even going to say if. Again, we're just not going to get it. It's just not going to happen. Wonderful names, Demo. Pokemon Lack and Pokemon Luster. True. True. It's not if, it's when. Hopefully. Or what? what's what's when? What's when? Not if. Oh, when you get Shiny Dunspar, it's not going to happen. It just, it just physically can't. Rygan, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Please. Manifest it, coward. I'm trying. I said that it would appear in 159 encounters 17 encounters ago. I needed it within 142 encounters. Please. Please tell us you're not going to subject yourself to the torture that is Alola for this series. Well, are they mainline Pokemon games? Yay. I sure as hell hope you don't get shiny sparse. Thanks. I made a promise to hunt shiny to Dunsparce if you do. Thank God. Somebody that says, get the thing that you want. Pokemon beige and Pokemon lavender. What a pairing.
<laughs> well, we still have eight hours to potentially manifest the shiny Zubat. All I'm asking for is the shiny Zubat, please. 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 Pokemon 420 and Pokemon 69. Haha. -ha. Jokes. Honestly, I love the pacing of Fire and Leaf Green. No stupid hand holding at the beginning. Just puts you straight out into the open. I agree. I like that. I like less hand holdy games. If you need help, look up a walkthrough on the internet. Then again, it is weird that once the internet came around, games started being a lot more handholdy. And I feel like that's the because before the internet that was a thing, they didn't want the games to be handholdy so they can sell supplemental uh, strategy guides. Nowadays, they can't do that, so they're just like, all right, put it in the game and make it uh, appeal to the lowest common denominator as possible. It's all marketing. Can I get two Dunsparces in a row again? Or was that is there a Pokemon in between that? How many Pokemon do you expect to use in Gen 2? Hopefully only six in their, in their evolutionary lines. But I guess, um, so three with Chikorita's line, three with Geodude's line, so six. There was a, there was a Mew in between, sorry to tell you, gotcha. So that's six. Unknown is seven. Slowpoke Slowking is eight, nine. Ho-Oh is 10 and Pinecoat Fortress is 10, 11, 12. Will Lugia be used for silver? Probably. I think it's based to hunt for the shiny legendary, so why not? Is 20% level increase too much for a locker just right? I'm looking to make it fire and leaf green harder. Um, I don't think the level really matters if you keep on their same level. Unless you're doing original level caps with a 20% boost, in which case, I don't know, I would go like 15. 20% seems a little much. Lugia should be used for XD. Well, guess what? You get it in the last freaking battle of the game. Do you plan on running Silver and Crystal without starters so you can make HGSS a bit easier? No. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because HGSS, any of the three starters can be shiny. And I don't want to be pissed off looking at a shiny that I already have. Because if that happens, I'm going to throw a fit. So I'd rather hunt for a shiny like Hoot Hoot. Or... Centra. They need to use Shadow Lugia more. Well, I think the reason they don't is because Junichi Masuda doesn't like the Coliseum and XD games. I, 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 I remember distinctly there being an interview about him being asked about them, and he just, like, he was kind of disgusted at somebody bringing them up, and I'm like, ah, he doesn't like those. Even because they're probably because they're probably considered better than what he made. Hey Meatball, do you like? I'm not falling for this. Really, I didn't know that. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm like 99% sure I've seen this. Oh, it was a nice one. 
Thanks, Jonyo. I thought it was gonna be a poo poo one. Masuda with GC games is like Miyamoto with DKC. That's fair. Yeah. GS games are considered pretty bad. I mean, they are better than most mainline games. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they made the first Pokemon games that managed to break out of the gym battle, um, like, rep repetition that the series had already been doing by for, like, three generations. And when somebody did it, uh, like, when a team did it and did it really well, it was just like, oh... Well, I guess we're not going to step up our game for the next three gen. <laughs> they just did it. They just kept doing badges for three more generations until Sun and Moon, where it's like, oh boy, we're doing trials now. This is our new idea. They're just badges, but they're not badges. <laughs> it's the same shit. Uh, fit. <laughs> Fan reception good, but reviews and re replayability was low. Replayability is still decent on him. I just, uh, I, I should replay them a bit more. Trials were glorified fetch quests. True. I would kill for Coliseum XD remakes. I don't want them remaking it. Just port them. Stop wasting time on remakes. Just, just make the older games available on the new consoles. Just, uh, you know, stop with the abandoned wear. Stop with the... You know, uh, games costing too much goddamn money on the secondhand market. I just want ports. Bring the ports to the game system. To, like, Brim. That would be very nice. I did like Sun and Moon's respectable difficulty at times. How actually beat my ass in Mali City? That's fair. I don't know. I think Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon are better if you want a more difficult experience. Plus, the story isn't as in your face. It still is pretty in your face, but it's almost... It's slightly less egregious. Or even a modern third game in the region set after XD. Well, I don't think Genius Sonority is in business anymore, are they? I don't know. They go under like Alpha Dream did for the Mario and Luigi games. There's no incentive to reinvent the wheel aside from Legends. I don't know why they decided to reinvent the wheel. Maybe they were they were just like, okay, we are getting a little bit too much backlash for this to be comfortable. I don't know. Or they just wanted to design something different. Which, you know, if the if Game Freak wanted to do that with the gear project. I don't know why they just didn't design different games around Pokemon, but went for different genres. Tried to appeal to different, uh, like, gamers and different genre-based uh, like genre -based audiences. Because being the, big, the highest grossing media franchise on the planet, you'd expect them to be like, okay, if we can appeal to everybody by making a whole bunch of different games, then we'll dominate. And they would. Like, Pokemon Conquest. The, the um, like, that like a strategy RPG similar to a Fire Emblem should have taken off. But then again, they did release Pokemon Conquest before Fire Emblem got popular in the West. Whoopsie. Not to mention that one was um, a crossover with a uh, with Nobunaga's Ambition, which, like, who's heard of that franchise? Like, I, I, I did. I knew about it. But most of you probably didn't. Pokemon Conquest never released in most EU countries. That's ridiculous. Imagine missing out on, like, the best Pokemon spinoff. Nobunga? Nobunga. Big Gabonga! That's what it is. It's, uh, it's Big Gabonga. Folks, look up Goblin Rider Big Gabonga and put your thoughts in the chat. Just real quick. It'd be funny. There's there's like 50,000 Nobunaga games in SNES and PS1. I know. I know. Even the new Pokemon Snap was great. I, again, I haven't played any of the, the Snap games. It's just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. I like strategy RPGs. I like turn-based RPGs. I like platformers. I like, 
I like 3D platformers as well, which is kind of like uh, kind of why I liked the Poke Park games because there was like an actual 3D element. I also like beat 'em ups, which is why I like the the Pokemon Rumble series. I really liked Pokemon Rumble Blast. I beat Pokemon Rumble Blast like five times when I was a kid. That was that was a fun game. RBY original and best. Uh, don't fight me, bro. No, they weren't. That's just nostalgic goggles. You know, those are a bitch to, wor to wear. You can take them off, right? Snap is just a Pokemon FPS. Good point. Does that count? I think so. I got a shiny Chikorita. Congratulations. Played the first Pokemon Rumble. I had a good time with it. The first Pokemon Rumble is nowhere near the quality of the second one. The second one's great. Like, there's an actual progression. There's an actual story. Like, it's... It's like the only good Pokemon Rumble. Plus, they have uh, all 649 Pokemon up through Generation 5 in it. As opposed to just the Kanto and Sinnoh Pokemon. Unlike uh, the original Rumble. Which is really cool. Is this Bloody Tears? No, it is Vampire Killer. It is the first level of the first game. It was multiplayer? It was multiplayer. Do, uh, though RBY has my favorite OST in the franchise. Uh, mm, I mean, I guess if I consider, like, the Fire Red Leaf Green versions where they had more sound channels. You ever hear the champion theme from Fire Red Leaf Green? You're like, oh. Oh, this was that what that was supposed to sound like? Hmm. I like that a lot. Gen 5 remakes would be weird since it was split into black, white, black 2, white 2. I feel like uh, remakes wouldn't butcher the games, but again, just port the damn games to the new system. They're gonna sell. Make a, If you want a physical retail presence for Pokemon, put a collection, gener like put Generation Collection Kanto. Pokemon Generation Collection Johto. Include bo uh, both the base and the remade versions on one cart. $70 per generation. You can get every Pokemon game Gens 1 through 5 for $350 plus tax. And you know what? That's way fucking cheaper than buying them individually on the secondhand market. Because Pokemon Emerald, by itself, <laughs> already is like... Uh, over double, or not over double, but um, over half of that total. Only a handful of GB games sounded as good as Pokemon. Um, that's true. I don't believe they could even make black and white remakes as good as the OG games, so better just to re-release to a new system. Exactly. I slam Oros, but they still cared. Oros was great. I liked them. I don't know what there was to slam them about. What was to slam about that game? Now I'm going to Shiny Hunt Tepig. Very fun. And it would sell Pokemon Home so people could trade between their games. Oh, if they made all of those Gen 1 through 5 ports, including the remakes, compatible with Home. Oh. Oh. Me likey. Can I please line up with the column I want to be in? Yo, Sadal, thank you for the gifty. Let me add that five minutes to the chat arena or to the uh, the time arena. Okay. 
Back to game. Okay, making all old games home compatible might bring, bring problems because then no guard Fisher Machamp becomes legal in Gens 3 4. Cool. Based. Wait. No guard is, this, is its hidden ability, right? So the hidden ability wouldn't work. It wouldn't be in, in those games because it's not coded to be able to transfer like that. You haven't played a Pokemon game if you think Pokemon games are bad. In the general scheme of video gaming, yes. Pokemon games are above standard, above, uh, like, above most things. I think they do a pretty damn good job of being polished products in comparison to a lot of other games. However, in comparison to each other, there is a pretty drastic difference. No guard is a regular ability. Well, then that's based. I want to use fi I want to use no guard fissure uh, Machamp in Gens three four. Let me do that. Let me wreck the game. It would be funny. As they say, no one hates Pokemon more than Pokemon fans, and they won't play other franchises. <laughs> Gotta go to work. Good luck. All right, take care, cards. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. What's your favorite video game OST? Probably the original Mega Man X, for sure. Like, literally every track in that in that OST is good. There's literally not a bad song in that. It's like almost a double album length. Like, it's a two-CD album if you're, you're thinking about it. Maybe even one if you keep the tracks below, like, five minutes. Which I guess because they're video game loops, you would. So yeah. <laughs> Why won't you give me the Zubat? Look, can I get it within the next 57 encounters? It would be funny. It would be funny. Ever played a Persona game? I've seen Persona games. I haven't played any except for the first one for like an hour and a half on the PlayStation Classic, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just like, this is too cryptic. I like, and I didn't want to have to look up a walkthrough immediately, so I put it down. That's how I feel with a lot of old games. I pick them up and I'm like, all right, what do I do? All right, where's the walkthrough? <laughs> That's basically me. What level will Shiny Slowpoke evolve? It doesn't uh, level by, uh, or doesn't evolve by level up into Slowking. Uh, it level, it, it, it's a trade evo. We want Slowking. The issue with 3D graphics are that, are that eventually they will be dated, but really good pixel graphics will still be really good years later. Exactly. I agree. It's almost like, I mean, I understand why. Like, 3D became a thing in terms of, like, perspectives of games. But I also think that 2D games also belong uh, alongside 3D games. And when we kind of swung all the way 3D in the PS1 and PS2 generations, I don't remember exactly what uh, number generations. I think those were the fourth and fifth, fifth console generations. Um, it was just, they swung too much. Like, the only good 2D games that came out of, like, the PS1 generation were, like... Or, out of the fourth console generation were, like... <sighs> Kirby 64. Mega Man X4 and 5. Mega Man 8. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Mischief Makers. Like, are those the only good, like, five good 2D platformers? Like, in, in the fourth generation of consoles. Yeah. Yeah, they were. 
Metroid went 3D. Well, Metroid went 3D on the GameCube. I'm, ta I'm talking about the fourth generation of cons uh, fourth console generation. Metroid had games on the 64. No, it did not. It did not have a single game. The only one was Super Smash Brothers, and that wasn't a Metroid game. It just had Samus in it. What are the odds again? One in one eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. Yeah, Samus was only on the 64 in Super Smash Bros. Exactly. Oh shit, Paper Mario's next month? That is true. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door remake is coming out next year. I will be looking forward to that. SSBM is 2D debunked. What's been debunked? I'm talking 2D platformers, like games on the NES, SNES. Like, 2D fighters were still a thing during that time. I mean, of course, they almost got taken over by 3D fighters, which almost killed the, the fighting games scene uh, until Street Fighter 4. But... I don't know. But no, I literally can only f name five good games that are that are like 2D platformers from the fourth console generation. And three of them are fucking Mega Man games. Fighters stuck in 2D still. What are you talking about? Tekken, dude. Tekken 3 was on the PS1. That was a 3D fighter. <laughs> That was their Power Stone. Power Stone was the, uh... I, I technically think the Dreamcast was part of the fifth generation... The fifth console generation. It just came out way earlier. But Power Stone was, was on there and it was a good 3D fighter. But no, I definitely do think that, that that's like fifth generation. Yeah, Tekken is still, uh... Still a uh, 3D fighter for sure. Um... But yeah, no, it really is Kirby 64, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Mega Man X4 and X5, and Mega Man 8. Those are like the only console 2D games that were good during the fourth console generation. They're really... I cannot come up with like any others. Like, I don't think I'm wrong. Then the fifth console generation barely had any. Klonoa? Oh yeah, Klonoa, uh, Door to Phantom Isle, and uh, Klonoa 2... We're both on uh, we're both on PS One as well. Okay, so that's seven. Two point five D, but so is Kirby Kirby sixty four. Like if we're if we can't put in two point five D games that we have even fucking less. <laughs> Rayman. The original Rayman, yeah, yeah, that was a pretty decent one, yeah. I was gonna say Klonoa PS two or PS one. Um. What's the fifth? Dreamcast, GameCube, PS2, Xbox. Fourth was Saturn, N64, PS1. Um, was that it? I think there was still only like three big big boys at the time. Oh right, Dreamcast, yeah. Dreamcast gave us Sonic with Chaos. G the GameCube perfected it. Eh, I think a lot of people actually really don't like the Sonic Adventure DX port. A lot of people really like the, the Dreamcast one more, which is very funny. Xbox's fifth console generation, or fifth generation console. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, it's uh, that, that's Dreamcast, GameCube, PS2, Xbox. That's fifth gen. Fourth gen is Saturn, N64, PS1. I heard the OG is better, but I grew up with DX. That's fair. Did that count? That did. Okay, I just gotta skip the next one. Yeah, there's documentation on how uh, much the DX port fucked with the animations and models from Sonic Adventure. I know. So much, in fact, that there's an entire website. That I didn't realize. 
for those free Game Gear games. True, there were free Game Gear games on there. It's crazy that they didn't just put the Master System versions, which are way better. Like, I'm sorry, I cannot play Sonic 1 and 2 on the Game Gear. If I'm not playing the Master System versions, I'm not playing them at all. I just want that extra field of view. I'm sorry. Tails has six tails on the GameCube. You know, you could say that it's supposed to be motion blur, but they really fucked it up. Tomb Raider? That was 3D. We're talking about good 2D games. Put a Geodude in the first place? I don't feel like it. Mischief Makers? I, I mentioned Mischief Makers. The first five were, were Kirby 64, Mega Man X4 and X5, Mega Man 8, and Mischief Makers, and then Klonoa 1 and 2, and then Rayman. So that's 8. We're up to 8. Can we get to 10 good 2D platformers? Or no. No, we're, we're, we would be at 9 because I forgot Castlevania Symphony of the Night in there too. So that's 9. like one more there's got to be one more good 2d platform like uh, platformer in that in the fourth son uh, in the fourth console generation there's got to be something on saturn that i'm forgetting about like is Clockwork Knight technically a good 2D platformer? Bro, Prince of Persia? I've never played the Prince of Persia games. I don't know. Saturn had no Sonic games. Bro, Undertale isn't a platformer and it came out in 2015. We are talking about the fourth generation of consoles from the 90s. What about Sonic Jam? Sonic Jam is a compilation of Genesis games, which are the third generation of consoles. I always liked Ob uh, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey for PS1. Oh yeah, that was a that was a 2D platformer, wasn't it? So that's 10. Earthworm Jim, Earthworm Jim was third generation of consoles. We already mentioned Rayman. Crash Bandicoot is 3D. Come on, I need the Zubat in like the next 15 encounters just so I can be funny. Please. Please let me be funny. Please give me the low-hanging fruit game. Isn't Gengar a trade evolution in Gen 2? Gengar has always been a trade evolution. You should try... Pr Why do you keep typing Price of Persia? It's Prince. Put the N in there. Cor <laughs> Proofread your sentence before sending message, Demo. Or I will continue to make fun of you. You can go back in time, but the NPCs change on your actions. That's kind of cool, though. Spyro the Dragon was, uh, was Gen 3. Never. My N is broken. You literally just put it in. You should, you should have committed to the bit. See, now I'm making fun of your ability to post because you didn't say ever my N is broke. Would you like Link Cable to be an actual item in new games like in Legends Arceus? Yes. I happen to have one that evolved by leveling up. I played on phone, then you were playing a modified version of the game. Which means you downloaded it illegally online. Folks, we have a pirate. Mods, crush his skull. He's confirmed it. Crush his skull. 
demo. Would you download a car? Absolutely not. I can't drive it if I don't if I download it. What's up? I left for a bit. Never mind. I download a car. God damn it. Oh, come on. I would and then I'd 3D print it. If you had a big enough 3D printer for a car, there is a problem. Come on. Come on, we got four more encounters. Come on. Come on, get we just need it in three more. We just need a we just need we just need the Zubat in two more encounters. Come on. Next Zubat has to be shiny. Come on. Come on, game. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. Damn it. What's your favorite color? Um, I used to be a big old red guy. I liked, I loved the color red. Uh, I had like a Power Ranger helmet collection of a bunch of Red Ranger helmets. Uh, but I, ever since I kind of branded my channel around the colors of blue and green, they've definitely grown on me much more. I think it's always because I thought that red was the color of a leader and I always wanted to like be the leader of groups whenever I was in like group projects when I was in school because everybody else I thought was stupid and didn't know what the hell they were doing uh, so I, I I would just take charge of everything um, but ever since I started you know trying to chill out a little bit more ever since I got out of school I've definitely become more of a blue guy, blue guy. Uh, did you sell, sell the helmets yeah I just didn't have a good place for them I kind of, I, I, I've been really wanting to, um, like, make a good set for, uh, for, like, videos so I could appear more, like, on stream, so that I could appear more in videos and have it, like, look professional and cool. Uh, right now, it kind of looks boring, like, I have these two shelves, and that's, that's the only things I have on screen, because I don't really have much else, uh, laying around that would, like, look neat. So what Pokemon games are you missing from your collection? I I literally don't have anything missing. It's just a lot of them are cartridges only uh, because, like, I don't want to spend the money on boxes. Uh, but I, I do have literally everything from my first uh, franchise Nuzlocke. So I was like, okay, I have to buy all these if I want to do everything. So... Early AVGN by, uh, vibes, you should get some flag or a tapestry. Um, I don't know what a tapestry is. And I don't really... I don't really have any flags that I would want. What am I going to put on a flag? Tapestry is like a poster. I don't like posters. Honestly, I just... The only thing I want on my walls are shelves of video games. Those are what I like. I like the occasional plushies. There's a couple of plushies on top of my shelves. But aside from that, I don't really need much else. I'm a bit of a minimalist outside of my, my game collection. One of those wall rugs hippies on that look trippy Etsy has Pokemon ones. See, I just don't really care. Like, I think rows upon rows of games looks cool. And that's about it. Yeah, literally, like, uh, if I can add games to my collection, I will. And everywhere else, I'm like, literally the rest of my house is barren. Like, it has some couches, uh, a smaller TV in the living room. Everything else in the house is barren except for this room. Because I just, I don't really buy anything else. I've got, like, four shelves, two here, i got two over here, next to the TV. And that's it. That 
is 6,992. Why am I getting pinged for again? How late are we going today? Well, as per usual, the VOD limit for YouTube is 11 hours, 55 minutes, and we are 4 hours, 38 minutes in, so whatever the difference is, is how long we're going. Fave plushies? I I don't have many. I just have my uh, my Luxray and my Hisuian Samurott up there. I just got a couple Pokemon ones laying around. I got a Lucario. got an Ampharos. I got a few. Are you looking forward to every day to stream to, for almost 12 hours? I'm doing three days on, one day off so that I can pace myself. But yeah, I, I do. I have been looking forward to these. I've been actually enjoying myself a lot uh, working on this. It's been fun hanging out with y'all. It's been uh, a hell of a time trying to ensure that I get uh, uh, that I can finish uh, at least gold, silver, crystal. I do want to do this video at some point. You could get some decorative jars. What is the use of those decorative jars? I can decorate a, my my office with video games though. If I do that, the video games have a purpose and they look cool on a shelf. I can't use a jar. I mean, I can, but I don't think you really want to, like, do that. I think we kind of learned that from Reddit. No, Babu, no. 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 Are you going to be watching WrestleMania at all this weekend? Uh, I'll be catching up on Stand and Deliver in Night 1 tomorrow, and then I'll watch Night 2. Tomorrow's my day off. It's over 7,000. Yay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am shocked that this is uh, giving me so much pause. Then again, Rattata did the same thing and there were no other duplicates. Oh yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to figure out how to move my Twitch emotes over from Twitch to YouTube and just use them here instead. What song is this? I don't know. I, I can't see right now. This is the last one for the team for gold. No. I think people still think I'm using Rattata. I'm not using Rattata. I'm not using Zubat. They are do it being done for dupes claws so that I can go th get the thing that I actually want. <laughs> uh. You're grinding, man. Love the content. Thank you. I very much appreciate it, Andrew. Can you use the Rattata and Zubat later in another game as an encounter? I'm... Mm, I probably I'll probably move them over if people get upset they can go fuck themselves <laughs> I don't know why I stayed on that Geodude for five seconds I'm like what am I doing again is my brain really that bad nowadays depressing
Save yourself the time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, you can transfer Zubat to Heart Gold for a future team. Well, that's the thing. These these Pokemon can only go to Gen 6 at the earliest? Because of Pokemon Bank? Boom. Either Gen 2 or Gen 6 Plus. Well, yeah, but I, I would prefer to be able to use Rattata and, like, Leaf Green. Crobat to Ultra Sun wouldn't be bad. That's true. I don't remember how early you can get it in Ultra Sun. How are you going to do Leader Shiny Starter Locked Gens? Later, st uh, shiny starter locked friends. Uh, I don't know yet. I will figure it out when I get there. My brain is fried. I just got out of class and my brain is fried. So I'm just chilling. Well, I hope you're enjoying your chill time, Shadow Rain. That's uh, that's not shiny. Masuda? Why are people bringing up Masuda method? I I can't transfer Pokemon from other games in. This, the challenge is like self-enclosed. I can't just bring in things to make things easier. Like, if I bring out in an outside force, it's like, I may as well just be cheating in the, the shinies, because I'm just bring, cheating in the enablers, and I'm like, I, I'd rather not. No for the shiny starter? Well, I don't know how I would Masuda method with the same language. I don't even know what this Masuda method is. Folks, I don't shiny hunt. I don't remember what the Masuda method is. Eggs? I know they're related to eggs. My ex just randomly showed up at my job with my daughter. Now I'm all messed up. That I would imagine that that would fuck you up a little bit. Sorry about that. Breeding two different language Pokemon? Well, then that's something we can't do. Okay, I've never shiny hunted before these streams. Let's I'll say it like that, super thin hippo. Um actually you're shiny hunting right now. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I thought it was breeding with a shiny ditto. Uh that's what I was thinking. I don't I don't recall. Do that, not shiny. Too bad not shiny. Zubat not shiny. Uh, have I played? Uh, you you missed more most of the title. Um, Wily and Lights Rockboard. That's Paradise. Yes, I have. It's not that fun. There's a reason they didn't bring that one over to the U.S. How much longer do you think it'll be to get this next shiny? I don't know. I, d I, c I can't tell you. Like the, the the chances are the chances. Uh, whenever we get one, we get one. Shiny JP dittos are just something people commonly hack slash dupe to give out to so other others can Masuda easier. I see. I 
I thought the Masuda method was getting Masuda to play the ga your game for you. Kids don't have time these days, so I, Junichi Masuda, have decided to volunteer to play through these kids' games for them. And that's why I didn't put the Battle Frontier in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because if I did, I'd be tearing my hair out, trying to do it myself, because these battles are really hard. Who designed these? Is there such a thing as a breedability scale? That sounds far too horny. And I don't like it. Right, let me see if I can wipe off this uh, D-pad a little bit more. Did I click the space bar for this one? I don't think I did. There we go. The Oros Battle Mazon, you mean? Just copy and paste it over from the X and Y. Didn't Markiplier do that? I don't know. Who's your fourth member? I'm going after Slowpoke. It's a duplicate Geodude, if you mean what's in my party right now. Doobie doo. We are a hair above a thousand encounters below odds. Come on. We'll get there, surely. Again, if a third Geodude pops up, I will have a little bit of a panic attack. I will be a little saddened. I will pee my pants just a little. I will uh, be slightly uh, majorly angry. I will, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. What will you do when you get to the game with Shiny Lock Starters? How many times am I going to get asked this? I don't know. I'm not there yet. Zubat, you are draining the hell out of my energy. Like, everything has moved reasonably fast. So I swear, if you end up being a Nitto Queen situation where I have to do this for 35,000 encounters, I swear on this planet that I will never use you and you will stay in the box for all eternity. And I will never ever use it, you will be punished by sitting in a box, alone, desolate, isolated from the other boxes of Pokemon. You will stay there until you die. How many steps have you taken so far? I don't know. This, does this game look like it has the Poketch to you? All I know is that it's trying to give me hell. Zubat will be gay baby jailed for an eternity. Exactly. Shoutouts to Simple Flips. Chad is not having a brain when asking Cha questions. I think it's because it's always different people, and they're always rotating in and out, and I might just be getting irritated at people who have no idea why I would be irritated at them. And then they just leave, and then the, the process keeps growing. And the core people are like, why are all these people asking the same goddamn questions? And they're all just repeatedly leaving, because it's, it's just a rotation of people over and over again asking the same question, coming in uh, for the first time. 
uh, getting thrown off that I I'm annoyed and then leaving, and then the process keeps repeating itself. Do you do you feel like you need a break? My day off is tomorrow. I will have my break. What's with all the Friday Night Funkin' music? Uh, I have his uploads going in order as the background music, and I think he just did a lot of Friday Night Funkin' covers a while back. Uh, every part of shiny hunting is purgatory, including the chat. There's your FAQ. Very true. If we uh, if we see you out in the wild with a sunburn, does that mean I encountered a full odds shiny chaotic meatball? No, because I burn in like 15 minutes. I'm like a vampire. <sighs> Too bad you didn't have a shiny charm. Well, there is no shiny charm in this game. Not to mention, you know, you can't get it before beating the game most of the time. Andre Holter, thank you so much for getting yourself a uh, membership. Trying to click something here. Why is it not working? Uh, do -do -do -do. Timer. Uh, I believe that's one of the. Is that one of the higher, um, higher memberships actually? Because right, I believe my base membership is called Meatball Rookie. I have to take a look real quick. I don't remember. Tier two. Thank you. So that's ten minutes. Thank you for the tier two membership. I gotta add more to this um, to this playlist because it's almost it's almost done. All right, I paused the game, so no problem. Don't mind me, I'm going to add these real quick, and then we will jump right back in. I wonder if it's possible to listen to this entire channel's discography of video game metal covers in 12 hours. That's something we're going to figure out today. Why are you doing this? Has anyone asked you this? Yes. I'm doing this because I'm crazy. I'm chaotic. I'm a meatball. Oh, I'm while adding um adding these to the queue of the playlist. I uh I just remembered that I I, I sold my buddy Jack on the idea of doing a ba of a, a cover of the Temtem Tamer Battle theme because I was like, oh, this seems like it's gonna blow up, dude. You should try doing a cover of uh, from this uh uh this soundtrack. So that it uh, so that in case the game blows up, it helps your channel, and then uh, that didn't work. Should have waited for Power World, Sean. Should have waited for Power World. Almost done, chat. What? Why are you pausing? Thank you. Is it pausing because YouTube's having conniption, adding like 
180 things to a to a queue probably all right good enough back to game hey meatball do you come here often what I don't know if that's supposed if it's gonna lead into a cum joke, but I'm like ninety nine percent expecting it. It's a pickup line. Why are you trying that on me? Why are you doing that? That's weird. Don't do that. I was trying to be funny. Well, learn to post. One day you will learn to post, and it will be funny. But until then, it's not funny. 441 likes. Chat. We might actually be on pace to hit our 1,000 like goal today. If you all could uh, perhaps scroll down, give a double, maybe even a triple check to make sure you've liked the video. Tab over if you're just listening in. Uh, we are at 442 likes right now. Let's see if this wave real quick can hit us over 500. If we hit over 500 by, uh, by the next hour, we will be halfway there and we will be on pace to hit 1,000 by the end of the stream. I want to beat the old record on the, uh, on the third stream of this which was 800 likes uh, at the very least. But if we can break it into the four digits, that would be awesome. And very much appreciated. What if you get the bat on exactly 8,192 checks? I will not be disappointed because that's within odds. Like I said, I will only be angry if we go above 8,192. We have not gone, gone above that, but we are getting close. We're getting a little bit close. It's starting to feel a little too real. The man is playing Pokemon on a Saturday night. Do you, th you think he's looking for a date? Very true. We are, we are here. We are, we're ready to grind. I, get, I can use my 30s for a date, and for right now, I'm grinding. Both metaphorically and literally. You'll get the Zubat on your 16,834th in Kalsner. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't speak at the end there. Catch Pokemon. Not yet. I swear, if they used that as a marketing ploy, like as a, as a PSA in the 90s, like the late 90s, like a year after Pokemon came out, that would have hit hard. That would have been funny as fuck. Are you doing nicknames? No. He's not looking for a date. He's looking for... I already have two oranges. I don't want any more oranges. I just want the Zubat. Just give me the Zubat, please. If you get six shiny Geodude, you could trade a crush, a tr crush, you could trade a crush, a shiny Geodude line. What? My, my brain must not be working. I don't understand what you're saying. You're saying like crush down the Geodudes like because they're rocks? I'm so confused. Mega Flygon should be Dragon Bug. I agree. 
<laughs> I want pictures of Spider-Man meme, but with shiny Zubat. Very true. Didn't press up. Thank you. We don't have bats. We have weird pink rattlesnakes. I swear to God, if I see a weird pink rattlesnake, I will drink water. We'll be back a little later tonight. All right, take care, Sins. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you later. If you are using them for dupes claws, does that mean they can't be used in other games because they were used in dupes claws? They were not used to attack in battle, therefore they have not been used. They have been captured, so they are technically still up for grabs to be used in other games. Get shinies now to get girls later. Shiny grinding to help dating in the future. Ugh. I don't have time to think about it. Crush as in... Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. You think I talk to real people? I'm on the internet. I'm terminally online. What are you talking about? <laughs> Excuse me. Which gym leader would you give a wholesome hug to? A wholesome hug. Eh, I don't know. I don't really, they're digital characters. I don't really care. Whatever gen it was, Vibrava not being hit super effective by fire moves confused me. Well, either way, it's not going to be hit by super effective fire moves if it's Bug Dragon. It would just be neutral. I used Ember, not Tinder. True! You talk to real people on the internet. Now, they're, they're all fake people. People on the internet are all fake people. I'm a fake person. AI has truly taken over. Dead internet theory? What do you mean dead internet theory? That like, oh, is that the one where like 90% of users online are not actually real people, but actually like sophisticated AIs that are supposed to make people think that there's uh, that many people engaging around the internet? That's funny. If so, then advertisers are getting fucked over by real people like me. Oh wait, no, I'm a fake person. Sorry, I'm 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 a fake person. I don't exist. What new type of spin-offs could you uh, would you like to see? Uh, I think a Warriors game could work. A Warriors Pokemon game would be kind of banging. Fake people, you say? <laughs> Gemini Home Entertainment theme. Hey, at least I know what that is. Like. I, I at least like the, uh, I, I like me some analog horror. Gemini Home Entertainment, Local 58, that stuff. Fun. I ain't fake, I'm a real one. That's what they all want you to believe. The bots could engage a little more, um, a little more with my art. Fair enough. Hack and slash, but with Pokemon in the setting of the Kalos War sounds nice. That sounds like it'd be a little too graphic for what the uh, age age base that they want to go for is, but would be kind of based. I wish they'd make a Poke a, a game based on Pokemon Reburst. No, that's a bad idea. Mm, excuse me. Mine was Mandela Catalog, but uh, then the drama with Alex Kister and the proof of the several people that they that were victims of his actions. I don't know what the accusations were. All I know is that there was some shit happening with him, and I was like, mm, uh oh.
I tend to duck my head and cover whenever I, I see stuff like that because I just don't want to know about it most of the time. But if it was something bad, then, like, feel free to tell me. I don't think we're ever going to get a Pokemon game that takes place during the Kalos War. I agree. This song sounds familiar. That's because it's the Battle Frontier Brain theme from Pokemon Platinum, but in a metal cover. I thought y'all were talking about warriors as in the series about cats in the forest that I loved dearly as a kid. No, we're talking about Dynasty Warriors. It was bad. Don't think I could fit it all in a YouTube stream chat. That's fair. You can put it in my Discord if you're bored. Ew, furries. Furries? Where? Warriors brings back memories, man. I read those books in middle school. And wh whatever you guys talk about, it's not Dynasty Warriors, that's for sure. Orchid Raid. I don't have everything planned out, but I, I, I'm really not sure. I mean, we're kind of... We're just kind of going as we go. And you'll find out more and more as I uh, finish these videos more and more. You know, I think the, uh, I think the uh, anticipation of seeing it finish instead of, you know, being like, oh, what are you going to use? It's like, well, then that would just take all of the, uh, the interest out of the video for you, wouldn't it? But also, I just don't have an answer for you because I don't know. I'm just coming. I'm just coming up with a bullshit answer to give you, just so that it, it it's it's more than I don't know, but uh, it also kind of makes sense, right? I try my best. Still waiting on the funny bat to show up. I want I want the funny bat. I want the funny bat show up. I am literally a thousand fifty one encounters away from odds. There is no way that this has happened, and I'm only counting the bats. Like, sure, we did get a, a duplicate Geo dude, but come on. A thousand fifty encounters away. If Type Moon's Fate franchise can do a Dynasty Warriors game, Pokemon sure as hell can. Well, I don't know. I mean... We did get Hyrule Warriors, but I also think that Zelda's aimed more towards uh, older, like, teenagers and like, just an older audience than Pokemon is. Pokemon is literally Embryo's first RPG, so I can't really expect them to aim much higher than that age demographic. What are your thoughts on the Japanese exclusive main Pokemon game, Green? It's the same thing. There's not really many differences. The only dis difference is that it's harder because I don't understand the language as easily as English. In fact, I don't really understand it very much at all. But other than that, it's cool that there is a green version. It's a nice little fun fact to know. Well, I gotta go. Need to get ready to hang out with the homies. Well, take care, Icy. Just remember, it's always... Um, it's always good etiquette to kiss your homies on the cheeks when you say hello, so make sure to do that. <laughs> Did that count? I don't know. Did that one count, chat? Will you do a shiny Nuzlocke on Pokemon Green someday? I probably won't touch Pokemon Green, if I'm being completely honest. Majora's Mask gave me nightmares. Oof. 
hey, I was able to play Pokemon games with very, very small understanding of English language. I didn't know what Flamethrower meant, but I knew it was a strong move, for example. I played through both Pokemon Black and Black 2 in Japanese for my first playthrough before the English copies came out. I played through both of them as well, but I don't know. Maybe. I think it's just more, uh, it's just a better viewing experience if the game is in English and not in broken English, like some of the Pokemon Green English patches are. 468 likes, folks. Can we get that up to 500 likes real quick? Scroll down, double check, maybe even triple check. Tab over if you're li just listening in. We are very close to 500 likes. I'd like to get to 1,000 tonight, but uh, if we can get halfway there, we'll be on pace for the end of the stream, and I would very much appreciate that. Uh, you missed hitting space. Oh, that's pretty That's pretty important. You kind of have to hit the space bar to count the Pokemon. I counter your claim, Meatball, and raise you Pokemon Conquest, a Nobunaga's ambition-styled game. Well, it's not like the people were attacking each other. The Pokemon were attacking each other. Like, are you saying that there, like, there are going to be armies of Pokemon and generals commanding, like, small pockets of Pokemon at the same time rather than one at a time? I guess that would work as a Warriors game. I guess if there's, like, an aspect where you switch between your main Pokemon and your, uh your different like army trainers or whatever that'd be cool conquest was a nice strategy game i did like it it was the thing that kind of got me to uh bridge over to fire emblem what's your favorite type of pokemon uh, i think i said this before but uh grass or not grass uh dark grass is probably a second place can i get shiny zubat can i get shiny zubat please Arceus game being a tower defense game? What? Arceus game being a tower defense game would be hilarious. Legends Arceus is not a tower defense. It's If if you're trying to put it under a genre, I'd almost consider it a story-based collectathon. What's your favorite Pokemon? Tied with uh, Tyranitar and Hydreigon. Those, those two are tied. What is your favorite egg group? Field. Don't ask why. Subscribe if you want. It isn't, but imagine if it was. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if it would be that good. Why field? Based. There's the difference between two people. Not going to lie for me, I'm going to have to say uh, Garganical as my favorite. That's not a bad option. That's a pretty decent one. It's cool. I'm just going to let the Y field simmer in case anybody else realizes what I meant by that. He's a giant salt rock, and that's absolutely amazing. He's just he's just a giant salt rock guy. Nice. Thank you. What would happen if all water type Pokemon went extinct? Uh Firefighters would need to be employed all over the Pokemon world. The reestablishment of water treatment plants would have to happen. I don't know. Favorite fairy type? Gardevoir. God, I sound sus. I would comment more, but I'm kind of uh, just having you as background noise. Fair enough. Naughty Meatball trying to taint this pure shiny hunting stream with copy pasta memes. I'm sorry. It's funny. Bruh, are you just eating slash sleeping and streaming now? 
No, I'm still getting stuff done. I, I wake up like two to three, I, well, usually about three hours before I start streaming. I, I do my work that I need to do in the morning, either errands or uh, just catching up on like business stuff. Uh, then I will stream for 12 hours, and then I will have a come down hour that gets me away from my um, my computer screens and gets me ready for bed. And yeah, that's it. And then I have my one day off every uh, every four days. I'm three days on, one day off. The team star raids are a good start on what a Warriors title could be like. It's a very, like, I would say that that's a pre-alpha build. But yeah, theoretically. I'm ba I'm back. Still no luck on. I prefer the term pickle bat, but no, no, I haven't. I'm a thousand thirteen in Subat encounters away from hitting odds. I'm going to lose my mind. This is Maybe I'm a Lion from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, yeah, soon. Hey, Meatball. I need a new chair as mine is perpetually trying to kill me. What's the style of chair you're using? It looks comfortable. I don't know. I bought it from a local furniture store, and I thought it was comfy when I sat on it. And it's been comfy for several years. Did you mean eight? I might have counted the tallies wrong. Uh, but if you want a chair recommendation, the person that I got the recliner idea from, uh, my buddy Dan, he edits for a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh channels, uh, he recommended the specifically a Lazy Boy recliner. So, if you want a recommendation, he did that, and I, I, I got this based on that, but uh, he says it's comfortable, he still uses it, so there you go. Things are not get, uh, being good. Good grief, still hunting Zubat? Yes, I heard that Lazy Boys last longer? Probably. I mean, this recliner is still in great shape, despite the fact that how long I've been using it. It's actually kind of astonishing. Like, I think I've been using it for like two years at this point. Like, I tried a gamer chair, and it just sucked. Uh, like, all, like, a bunch of other creators use those, and when I was sitting on it, I'm like, this sucks. Why would anybody use this? So I'm glad that I, I shifted to the recliner brain. It's uh it's been working very well. It's both comfortable and it gets people talking because they're like, Are you in a goddamn recliner? I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Of course. Comfort just it, it goes above all else, especially when you're doing you're doing like twelve hour streams like this. You gotta you gotta make sure that your bum is able to withstand twelve hours of sitting down without hurting your tailbone and you have to make sure you're in good posture and this uh because you're in a good sitting position and you've got like lumbar support you got upper back support you got a good place to put your shoulders it's like really nice did i count this one is it a proper recliner or a swivel that looks like a recliner it's got like an uh, yeah it, it reclines but it's also on like it can rotate like i guess I mean, it's against the wall right now. The foot part is against the wall. But it can rotate, but it's also a recliner. So I guess it's a swivel recliner. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. But it is a recliner. How long did I have to look at that to say, figure out how... It's not green. Run away. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I, d I don't understand how I zone out so easily like that. Like, I understand that I'm trying to, uh, to like, 
un ensure that I'm, like, not running away from a shiny Pokemon. But at the same time, I think my brain is just, like, sort of shutting the fuck down. <laughs> and I'm like, please work. I just, I just need you to work a little bit more. Found one. Cheers. We'll probably order when I get paid. Hell yeah, Toshimara. I hope you enjoy that. What's been the fastest hunt so far? Uh, unironically. Actually, I think it's unironically. Uh, the starter, which was like two and a half hours and uh, like 1,100 resets. Actually, it wasn't even two and a half. It was two hours, 15 minutes. Uh, somebody made a tally of how long each hunt took so far. So that, that was the first one, and it was only two hours, 15 minutes, which is crazy. Oh, we are at 7,200. I overlooked the, um, uh, we're, we're officially less than a thousand encounters away from odds, which is hell. I am on, on earth, but I am in hell. I'm on earth, but I'm in hell. I'm on earth, but I'm in hell. Welcome to Zubat Hell. Oh, well, does, does Hell have vampires? Because this is pretty fitting. This music slaps. I agree. It's because it's a metal cover of Chill Penguin from Mega Man X. Which is, you know, my favorite video game soundtrack. So, of course it's a banger. What Pokemon do you hope gets a new form in Legend ZA? Like I said, Mega Charizard Z, Mega Mewtwo Z. I want to see it just so that people can get pissed off on Twitter. It'll be really funny. Uh, we're already above odds, surely, as you're only counting Pickle Bats and not, uh, but encountering Rocky Boys too. That is correct. However, I also captured a duplicate shiny Geo dude, uh, so I'm only counting Zubats, just just for my sanity. Because if I counted anything else, I would probably be pissed off by this point. Which gen has the best music, and why is it Gen 2? It's not Gen 2. The best music belongs to the entirety of Generation 5. Again, another point scored for Gen 5. Both, uh, well, I, I prefer the, um, the original Black and White's Gym Leader battle theme. I think that um, the Elite Four theme is something to die for. Um, Alder's theme is pretty good. N's battle theme is fantastic. Getsus's is really imposing. Iris's and Black 2, White 2 are fantastic. Um, the regular trainer battle is pretty, uh, like, springy, but not, like, overly um, dramatic. The wild Pokemon theme is cool. There's also the variation on the, uh, the double battle grass, which is cool. The attention to detail on that. The low HP music is the only annoying thing about the whole thing. I just want the damn track to keep playing. But aside from that, it's cool that they even took the low HP thing and made its own, like, song with it. Like, its own piece of soundtrack. Because it used to be that the soundtrack would continue playing and you just got the beeps. But it was they kind of just made it like an experience. It was almost like the Sonic Drowning music. Like, it was the closest thing Pokemon will ever get to the Sonic Drowning music, and that's probably why I'm annoyed at it, because I like the Sonic music, but I also hate the Sonic Drowning music, but it's also, like, a point of tension. So, they kind of, they both do the same shit to me. It's very funny. I used to believe that Gen 4 was the goat of all goats, but now that I've passed my nostalgia glasses, I think Gen 5 is about as perfect uh, from Pokemon to music. Yeah, I agree. Uh, also, Hugh's battle theme from Black 2, White 2 is just like a bop. Like, damn. Um, the rival battle theme in the first one as well against Charon and Bianca, I believe, is different. The uh, Yeah, it is. I'm just remembering it now. No, yeah, I like this one. Uh, are you over odds on Zubat? The 7217 is how many Zubats I've encountered. Uh, but thank you for your two buckaroonies. I shall add it to the timer. And folks, 
My goal today is to keep the timer over 55 hours, if not get it up to 60, because again, we are trying to get done with the gold, silver, crystal video. If we can at least do that with the timer currently, uh, as long as we can get that video out and say that we're doing this in the video itself where more people will see it, we won't have too much of a problem in terms of, uh, you know, keeping the timer continuing. But because I had to do it at the end of the red, blue, yellow video, mostly because I, you know, I didn't really have any hyped up uh, for the, or any hype driven from, for this actual series other than like a community post, which maybe like 2,000 people saw. So, which is like 1% of the current subscriber base. But you, you can add to the timer. The timer it will is added to by uh, for every dollar you super chat. It adds one minute. For every membership you get for yourself or gift, they are five minutes each. For the base membership. Uh, for the other tier, two tiers, uh, it's one minute for every dollar that you spend on it. But I don't remember which one is which because usually it's just the first one. Uh, and then uh, also using exclamation point gamer subs as I am now a gamer subs affiliate you can use that and you can get 10% off of your order if you end up ordering anything off of there whether it be the drink mix or the instant ramen uh, everything else uh, I think I get a little bit of uh, um, a much lesser cut on but with the uh, with those other two items I do get a decent size cut so because of that I am uh, offering it to be every dollar that you spend over there gives one minute to the timer anyway thank you for listening to my ted diatribe instead of a ted talk i uh, also i do like how black and white uh lets the new pokemon shine by not flooding the routes with old pokemon i agree i think it was cool that they did like a soft reboot and then in the second game, they gave you your options back. I think that that was like a really sick way of doing it. Because um, I played, because again, I played through both black black and white, black two, white two, in Japanese first before English. So I had to learn a brand new set of Pokemon without, uh, like without really knowing anything. And it was very difficult. You know what else was difficult? Finding where the HMs were in that game. I don't even remember where you get, like, strength. Where the fuck do you get strength in that game? Like, I remember Surf and Fly are given to you while you're, like, going along on your journey. I think Bianca gives you Fly heading onto Route 6 out of, um... Is it Route 6? You're heading out of Driftvale City? I believe that's where she gives it to you. Did you play Radical Red? No. Also, why so many damn question marks? Pretty sure every HM is given to you. I think you can dodge Strength by accident. I don't remember where Strength is given to you. Random NPC in an optional house. Exactly. I had a feeling. Because I never found that. And, like, people did not find it for days. And because I, I had gotten the game like two or three days after the release date, because I guess they shipped early because it was over it was an overseas order, but they managed to get it to me like a day or two I think after the Japanese release date. It will actually no, it was one day after because I got it on a Saturday, and it released on a Friday, so the fact that I got the game that quickly uh, was kind of crazy in that in that fact. So uh, basically, in my first like couple days of the game like people really didn't know what the hell was going on with it so like nobody knew where strength was for a good amount of time I think it took like a few weeks before people were like oh it's here and it was an easily widespread thing to look up dupes allowed or not no uh, this is this is uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the first season of my franchise Nuzlocke but if you were curious uh, I'm not allowed to use repeat Pokemon throughout the entire series, the entire franchise, every game. Uh, but 
I am I am doing uh, dupes uh, dupes claws, so I can if I encounter a Pokemon and then I re-encounter a shiny variant of it um, in a different area, I can re-roll that encounter, which is what I did here. I ran into a shiny, uh, G a second shiny Geodude. I had initially grabbed one on North Route 46, or not North uh, North of Route 29, the Route 46 area at night um, that is accessible before the first gym, and I got uh, I got Geodude there. So now I'm using Dark Cave to get Zubat, because if I get Zubat here, I can Dupes Claws my way into Slowpoke in Slowpoke Well. It's the, uh, it's the Pickle Bat. I will not call it anything else. It's the Pickle Bat. Uh, the most long shiny hunt on the marathon so far. I think that Rattata is still slightly over, but we're getting close. And I think it's exclusively because Geodude showed up shiny first. If we had gotten the um, the Zubat first, I think we would have been in good shape. Using dupes to get a dupe. What do you mean using dupes to get a dupe? Did I... Can I get the fucking Zubat? Like, oh my god. Like, the the weight on this is kind of getting a little annoying. Timer's looking good, though. Um, I really want to see that... Uh, I want to get the timer above uh, 60 hours by the end of today. Again, because if we if I can finish gold, silver, crystal with the timer being at like if we could at least keep the timers lasting through gold, silver, crystal, I get the gold, silver, crystal video up. I say that I'm doing these streams to continue the series at the beginning of the video. Then more people see it because they didn't see it at the end of the uh, the red, blue, yellow video, which is why I think only about 300 people are here, which is still a lot. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about that. But out of a viewer base of 200,000 subscribers, the fact that only 300 people are seeing it is uh, a little disheartening, I guess. Uh, so that I just think that people are not seeing this because they're getting recommended only the videos. But if I uh, if I shout it out at the beginning of the Gold Silver Crystal video, from there it should just self perpetuate. Those viewers go to help, you know, fund the timer for Ruby Sapphire, for for Emerald, for Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, if I end up doing Coliseum XD, I still don't know. Uh, then for uh, Diamond Pro Platinum, for Heart Cold Silver, for Black White, etc. It's just, it, it keeps, it keeps going. It just keeps going. And hopefully that will work out. Because you're using the dupe Geodude to get a shiny Zubat. I'm not using the dupe Geodude. I wanted the Geodude on my team. Uh, although I did get a second Geodude by accident. Which I guess, yes. Technically I'm using dupes claws. But I wanted Geodude. I didn't want Rattata. I don't want Zubat. I'm doing this as a means to an end. Sometimes the YouTube homepage shows me the previous Donathon vi uh, like VODs instead of the live. That's so weird. YouTube is not... Maybe it's maybe it's just because some people don't watch live streams on YouTube very often. So if they're so if they don't recommend you live streams, but they'll recommend you the VODs just fine. I don't know why. Like that doesn't make sense. Bat yet? Nope. We wouldn't be here if we got the bat. You going to ignore the free Gyarados? No, because I already got one in Pokemon Yellow. D Raise your hand. How many of you guys didn't watch the Red, Blue, Yellow video before jumping into these streams? Press 1 if you didn't watch it. Press 2 if you did.
Three for not finishing. Understandable. Two, but memory sucks. That's understandable. Sorry, but Jen without the actual shiny colors doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? If I transferred those into Gen 2, they would be shiny. That counts. Two, but forgot. Fair. Three. Intriguing. Hello there, plushy man. How are you doing? I tried to watch twice, but fell asleep. Oh, great. Great vote of confidence there. Thanks, Fowler. Sure, but you can't see them in Gen 1. I had a mod that I used to show a shiny indicator that it was shiny. I I used... There were only three Pokemon used in yellow. One of them was Gyarados. How did you not remember? I don't know. What is that mod, by the way? It's just a shiny indicator mod that was done by uh, at Nora in the future on Twitter. It had sparkles by the name. Correct. What is that mod? By oh, wait. I already have read that. I'm just... I have short-term memory loss, by the way. I was watching it, but I fell asleep because I was really ill. I must have missed that bit. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just... I like making fun of people. It's funny. And to be fair, I was watching it late at night. Fair enough. You know who else has dementia? You know, you know who else has dementia? Why do my dementia hasn't affected me as a person? By me. Why my dementia hasn't affected me as a person? By me. <laughs> it's my favorite schlatt bit. It's just repeating slides with different transitions over and over again. Just saying, why my dementia hasn't affected me as a person? By me. And it just starts that, uh, that uh, weird concept album that was like supposed to be an embodiment in ter uh, of music that is as if it's the progression of dementia for a person. It's very weird. Free shinies in Gen 5 for Dratini, Gibble, and Haxor is easy. Cac W, true. Can I please get the stupid shiny Zubat in the... I, I don't know what word I was going with there. That's what I call a closed mouth scream. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Any more dupes since the Geodude? No? I hope it doesn't happen again. If it happens again, I might just have a... Like, I just might... I just might just... I don't know what I'm going to do if it happens again. Back to Costco. Hot dogs. See you in a few hours. Take care, Tayman. Hey, Meatball, what do you think about the Stellar type? I don't know. They added another type? Huh. God, they really will put anything into DLC, huh? A 
It's only for Terra? Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter because I don't allow terrastalization in my Nuzlocke. Wait. Imagine if your shiny luck lands on the Dunsparce. How many people how many people are gonna mention that idea? A, I don't want it. B, it is a one in eight hundred and nineteen thousand two hundred chance. Do you guys understand how goddamn astronomically low that is? Do you? Do you? Press 1 if you understand how astronomically fucking low that is. Please. Dude, if I were you, I would just cheat. Well, if I do it on stream, then nobody can deny my acumen as the best Nuzlocker in the United States. Yeah, that's right. I'm going for the United States title. Peachal has the world title. I know I can't beat him for it. We'll just modify a WWE United States Champion, and we'll make it the Nuzlocke, uh, the best Nuzlocker United States Champion. One, but it would be funny. That is true. It would be funny, in hindsight. I'd be annoyed as fuck at the, in the moment, because I would be like, now I have to go hunt Zubat somewhere else, because I'm not leaving without my dupes claws. Flygon is in the U.S. Yeah, admittedly, he does do harder games than me. But that's because he likes pulling out calculators. If I have to pull out a calculator, I want to pull out a gun instead in Minecraft. Okay, is it just me, or do these Zubat look greener the longest, uh, longer this goes on? Um, it, not, I haven't had that happen with the Zubats, but I have been seeing the Geodudes, and they keep looking redder. And I keep thinking, no, not again. Were you getting a gun in Minecraft? I'll make it out of redstone. And gunpowder. And death. Well, this is a fitting song for right now. I think the Geodudes are starting to look red because you're starting to see red. True! Shiny Dunsparce in... What? 0.0122% encounter. Not my name? Did you just shiny bait me? If you just shiny baited me, you're you're banned. Folks, we're gonna review the footage. If you shiny baited me, you're banned. That's one of the main rules here. It's time to review the footage. What does banning even do? Gets them out of my goddamn sight. Where is it? I missed nothing. Goodbye. Don't shiny bait me, chat, or you'll be permad. No exceptions. No warnings. Permad. Dead.
But what you said right there was a warning. It's a warning to the rest of the chat. Live execution. Is this power abuse? No, because somebody wasted my time making me think that uh, that I might have ran away from a shiny. I'm very com uh, like confident in the fact that I have been paying enough attention to where I have not run away from a shiny. So every time I like have a small panic attack and it just irritates the ever living shit out of me. So if somebody shiny baits me like that, I'm not. A they get banned because I'm not about to let them do that again because, I again, it gives me, like, a big old rush of anticipation and, like, d disappointment that I might have accidentally did it, even though I know I'm paying attention. It's just, like, a self-doubt thing. So... I've come here four days in a row, still looking for a Zubat. We've only been hunting for this for, like, two and a half days. We started on day four. This is day six. The only self-doubts that I have is that mostly because of the short-term memory thing. Sometimes, like, I will zone out for, like, five seconds and I'm wondering if, like, that sort of instance would be a... I just totally blanked for five seconds and didn't pay attention. And then my heart just sinks like, oh, did I really? But then it just gets me pissed off because I know I'm paying enough attention to the game itself. Like, the when I do that weird zone out where I just stop for like a few seconds, I'm looking at the Pokemon that I'm against. Uh, like, that's the one I just ran into. It sometimes just takes a, a second for my brain to process. That's not what you want. It's like, what was I looking for again? <laughs> that's like the short-term memory loss that I'm having. Disassociation. Yes. Which is so... I don't understand it. How I don't understand how my brain just shuts down. It's as if it just stops for a second or two. And then I'm like, huh? Uh, like, I'm not doing it on purpose. It's so weird. I've never had this problem before. It's lagging? Yeah, my brain's lagging. It doesn't have enough RAM. I need to download more RAM into my brain. Was unknown a purposeful hunt? I wouldn't have been in the ruins of Alf if I if it wasn't. Dude, I'll be driving for hours sometimes and I'll just have blanks of driving down the street like holy shit I'm alive still. That's scary. Couldn't imagine doing that. Do you think that Charizard should have kept his purple green shiny color scheme? Yes, absolutely. That's like my favorite Gen 2 shiny palette I've ever seen. Ten K spawn attempts will happen, I command it, hopefully. I mean, I want it to happen below eight thousand one hundred and ninety two, but it seems like it's being a weenie. It's a poopy head. It's a doo doo kaga fart fart poopy butt. <laughs> I'm trying to be as uh, l less vulgar today, and uh, that's my best. That's my best insult. <laughs> they did Charizard dirty with the black shiny. I think it still looks cool, but the purple is. I like purple. Purple is one of my like one of my top colors. Like I like blue, green, and purple. Those are like my three. That's a that's a. The, I did it again. I'm like, is that the Pokemon we're looking for? No. What were we looking for again? Shiny Zubat. Is that a Zubat? No. Then run away. Okay. That's about that's about how long it takes for my brain to fucking realize it. Uh. I love, I love how I can just it, it instantly just verbalize my brain patterns to people so that they understand. Oh, he's just fucking stupid. I get it. 
Oh, shit. I didn't know if that one counted. I think it did. What will come first? Shiny Zubat or a box full of shiny Geodudes? Find out next time. Hopefully not. I just wanted to find out this time. Can we stop with the... Uh, what, what are they called? Cliffhangers. That's it. I can't believe I forgot that word for a second there. You can't go to Ruins of Alpha before Gym 1, right? No, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, that time it counted, so clearly the last time counted as well. Has there been any extra Geodudes? You tell me. One eternity later. Yeah, that's basically it. If you can recall, which shiny did you think took you the longest to find? Well, considering that I've never hunted previous to this game, or previous to this challenge, the, um, the pincer. The, the, the blue pincer. Not the blue pincer, but like the pincer in blue version was the, uh, was the longest hunt. And hopefully I don't have to deal with as long of a hunt on stream. Because you guys are going to be like, this fucking sucks. I'm going to be like, this fucking sucks. YouTube's going to be like, this fucking sucks. And we're all going to be mad. <laughs> so much later that the old raider... Uh, wait, no, what's the new raider uh, narrator sound like? So much later that the old raider... I can't say narrator. I keep saying raider. So much later that the old narrator died and we had to hire a new one. I think that was that was somewhat what it sounds like. At least I remember it sounding something like that. Do you have a failsafe to not skip shinies? Like, um... I have a rewind button. I don't know how long it works, though. Like, how much I can rewind. Chat, Matt, thank you so much for the 10 euros. Euros? Pounds? I, again, I still don't know what fucking symbol that is. I have to, like, copy it. That's that. That's pounds. That one's pounds. It looks like an E, which is why I keep thinking it looks like euros. Don't blame me. All right, that is another 12 minutes on the timer. Thank you very much for your generosity. I really do appreciate it. Boom. What do we want? Okay. Pound Euro. Damn, they are so similar. All right. Sorry, I got I got another Discord notification. My cat keeps opening my door and jumping on my face. Oof. Happy to support. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Pounds is like euros, but a little fruity, and I like that. That's funny. Uh, what's unknown's hidden power type? Exclamation point HP. That's a Geodude. Run away. What?
<laughs> we are 840 encounters away from odds on just Zubat. We're not counting Geodudes. We're not counting Dunsparces. We're just counting Zubats. If I don't get it in the next 739 encounter or 839, 838 encounters, I think. Yeah. Then I'm going to be very angry. According to the law of statistics, Pokemon go, uh, go, wait, what? Gold, Pokemon gold goes to jail if you don't, uh, get it by odds. Makes sense. I agree. This is too happy of a song for me right now. <laughs> At this point, I'm fe I'm even feeling anxious. Every next Zubat could be the one, or the next fucking Geo dude. In which case, I will have I will just die. I will just spontaneously combust live on stream my my brain is dying I saw regular old Dunsparce there and nearly had a heart attack because I thought it was a shiny Geo dude uh, again you 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 guys keep saying Dunsparce I it's not even a factor bam non-factor Stone Cold Steve Austin says it's non-factor but I can't, I can't do a Stone Cold Steve Austin impression to save my life. I, I think my, my brain automatically tries to make me not be allowed to do a, a Southern Drawl. Because I think Southern Drawls make you sound like you have cool, like room temperature IQ or low. Actually, no. You have refrigerator IQ. That's what, that's what Southern Drawls make you sound like you have. And that's coming from somebody that lives in Florida. In before this run abruptly becomes an all shiny Geodude challenge run. That'd be funny. That would be quite funny, actually. Uh, that's not shiny. Why are you sitting here, Sean? Keep hunting. Keep clicking through the... No, I didn't need to click it again. Okay, that one wasn't shiny, though. Can you stay on the line that you can at least walk four tiles on? You are not pressing up. You are not pressing down. You are pressing left. You are pressing right. That is all you are pressing. Don't go anywhere else, you stupid trainer. Ugh. Give me the shiny Zubat. Chat, Matt, I would do the Vince impression, but considering all of the allegations against him, I don't even want to entertain it. Sorry. This shiny Zubat is living on the edge of tomorrow. It certainly is. I'm getting tired and can't focus on more than one thing at a time. Uh, now, I hope you appreciate me choosing to focus my last brain cell on your agony. <laughs> this Dunsparce appears more regularly. Shut up. Shut up, it's not going to happen. One in 819,200. One in 819,200. Do you understand how minuscule that is? Do you understand that that is just not going to happen? You have a better time trying to get struck by lightning in a lightning storm than you would getting that stupid shiny Pokemon. It's not going to happen. Everybody that's saying that it's going to happen, hoping it's going to happen, you guys are wrong. It's not going to happen. Statistically, I'm just going to get a third fucking shiny Geodude. It's going to suck, I'm going to be annoyed, and we're going to keep going.
what's the ETA for this game? It all depends on my luck. Or if I get pissed off and decide to keep, go ahead and, like, use less Pokemon than I uh, anticipate or that I need. Why do y'all want him to get a shiny Dunsparce? Exactly. We haven't even managed Dun uh, Zubat. How would we manage Dunsparce? That's what I'm saying. Now you jinxed it. It's not, go it's not gonna be fucking Dunsparce. Exactly. It's 39 times more likely to get a shiny Zubat over a shiny Dunsparce. Exactly. Exactly. What if it will be 7777? It's not as funny as 6969. But I guess I would take it. Again, as long as it's below 8192. And it's it's starting to scare me that it's getting a little too close for comfort, which is why I'm like, please just just give it to me so that I don't get angry when we go if we go over odds. I don't want to go over odds. I don't want to say when we go over odds. If the slim possibility of going over odds happens, I just the, the earlier you give me the shiny Zubat cave the earlier that I'm not going to be pissed off. And, you know, I can breathe a sigh of relief. The stress can leave my head, my heart. Everything will be okay. All you have to do is give me the shiny Zubat. Oh, fuck you. Gen 2 Zubat shiny lock. So many people made the same joke about Rattata, and I'm like, it's not freaking shiny locked. And then when I did it, uh, when I got the shiny, I'm like, okay, it's not shiny locked. These people aren't just trying to troll me. I I don't know. Like, I don't know. I know it's wrong. I know what people are saying is wrong, and they're just trying to annoy me and get a rise out of me. But now I know. I'm like, nope, not falling for it. Robin Jones, you got very, very close to me thinking that you were, uh, you were shiny baiting. Don't do it. For the love of God, people, people just don't put the name, like the nickname of the Pokemon or the Pokemon in general in caps because it's going to make me think that I ran away from the shiny. And if you do that, I'm going to get very mad at you and I'm going to be very likely to ban you. So don't do it. You need the shiny charm. I don't need jack shit. Sorry, not intentional. It's fine. Chat, see, I was a little bit more nice this time. I actually warned the person before I banned them outright. And again, the last time, literally, the person said that they were doing it, that they they were doing it on purpose. So, that person deserved to be smited into hell. Was the one guy who said he was in your guitar class yesterday really someone you, who knows you? Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, like I was actually surprised because I, I had forgotten about the, this person. And then I saw the picture and immediately I was like, oh, yep, I remember this person It's immediately. I knew I, I am good with names usually, but uh, it has been a few years. But as long as I like see the picture of the person, that's usually enough to be uh, to spark my brain and be like, oh, yep, I know now. Sorry, my, not my intention. It's okay. The last person that did it, it was their intention. And that's why they got banned. Posture check. My posture is fine. Thank you. Thanks for letting us know, Indigo Blue. Christ alive. Hydration check with some gamer sups. Absolutely. <coughs> oh, that was the wrong pipe. Oh. Ow. Ow. That's one cup down. One more cup to go. Now, this one actually stayed completely ice cold. Then again, it is a metal bottle. That's kind of why I was drinking from it second, but I didn't want to have to get up to get another drink, which is why I had both. I already did. I, 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 Tuyo, I just said, my posture is fine. I am perfectly sitting in the chair 
as well as I can with lumbar support. My uh, Nothing is hurting. Nothing is weird. It's all nice. Come on, Zubat. I, you, you, can, you can redeem this whole thing. All you have to do is give me your shiny brethren. All you have to do. Not your shiny Geodude brethren. Fuck him. I don't want another one of him. He can go kill, uh, kill other Geodudes by punching them. That was close. <laughs> Caught myself on that one. Uh. Anyone ever forget to breathe from your nose sometimes? No? Meatball, is 400 notifications on Discord too many? One notification on Discord is too many. That's why I'm constantly like pausing to to check them because I want to make sure I'm up to date with what I'm up uh, with, with what things I have uh, you know in my immediate sphere are going on if it's anything business related or if it's just pings for content. I don't understand what what do you guys talk about manual breathing? It just happens. Like, if you have to think to breathe, then God help you whenever you actually have to do anything else. I keep everything muted except for important things, because if I see a notification, I have to drop what I'm doing and check it. Exactly. But at the same time, a lot of, you know, sometimes I do, I should drop what I'm doing and check it, because it's important. Other times it's not, but I'd rather keep them all on that I, like, the ones that are important enough for me to, uh, to check. That's a Zubat that's not shiny. That's a Zubat that's not shiny. Any more dupes? No, Jesse. Thank God. No dupes. Please, no more dupes. Just give me the shiny Zubat. Please. Please. You don't manually breathe until you think about breathing, then you can't not breathe manually breathe until you forget how to manually breathe. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not thinking about it. I'm I'm just doing it normally and gaining back like breath while bef like between talking. It just happens. Just like blinking. If you have to think to blink, like if you're thinking about it, then there's a problem. Just, I, I, I don't understand what you guys, why are you getting mad at him? It's not real. Stop gaslighting me. Do you, do you understand what your, yeah, what your autonomous nervous system fucking does? Holy shit. Literally, children! Can you feel your toes touching each other? No? I actually have significant space between my toes for some reason. Why did I just give you that visualization? That's the closest thing you're ever gonna see to your, my feet in your life. What's the plan if you get Dunsparce instead? Go to Route 32 during the night. Repel trick level 8 Zubats at night. Hopefully get it over Wooper. If not, move on to Union Cave. Move on to literally every single location that has Zubat. Because it, as long... <laughs> Like, do you guys want want to have to keep the timer going longer? I don't think so. I think you would rather that we finish this as fast as possible and get the gold, silver, crystal out, video out for uh, 
as soon as possible and then start Ruby Sapphire Emerald. We really want that Zubat, right? Yes. Well, I want the Zubat for Dupes Claws, but I'm not planning on using it. Uh, not a mod or anything, but I'm guessing no questions in chat that begin with a, can you fit a, correct. Uh, because most of the answers are going to be, I don't know, I haven't tried, and I don't plan on doing so. Just take that as, as your vanilla answer for all of it. Why not hunting in Slowpoke well, Kappa? I thought you were asking that unironically. And I was going to be I was going to be mad and I was going to be mean. I'm controlling myself. Again, I'm gonna keep my temper down until the small possibility that we hit 8,192 encounters of Zubat before we get a shiny. I don't think we will. I think we'll get the shiny beforehand, you know. Everything will be okay. Can you fit a seventh Pokemon in your backpack? I don't know. I haven't tried, and I don't plan on doing it. I'm a skedaddle. Good luck. Take care, Flem. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed your time. If Which Pokemon do you think would be tastiest if cooked? A well-fed Miltank. Steak. I have steak in my fridge that's defrosted. I'm going to eat that after stream. I'm going to have a nice steak dinner. It's going to be great. I have something to look forward to. See, that, that Geodude almost looked red. But it's normal. It's normal color. I have to, like, look over here, look at a blue. And then I'm like, okay, nope, that's regular. You've ever played old school RuneScape? I have not. I've had a couple people come in here and ask me that. But uh, that is uh, that's just not something I, I grew up with. Hey, Meatball, can you shiny hunt for an orange GameCube? I know orange GameCubes exist, but I'm trying to think of what you possibly could be referring to. I have one for sale, but it's region locked. I already have my GameCube. I don't need another one. It's a Japan exclusive. Oh. Howdy, hey, Meatball. Hello, uh, Rob Dick Ninja. How are you? Where was that female swim? Uh, where did that female swimmer hide her Pokeballs when she was? I, I need to stop reading that right then and there. What retro consoles do you have? I have quite a few on this. Anything that's been out over here? I think you can see a little bit of it, but most of the other half that's not showing is uh, is filled up. That's a Geodude. Shiny in four minutes, that's a prediction. Maybe. Not a huge fan of the Spice Game, for, uh, ga game Freak? Uh, GameCube. God, I've got... You know, Pokemon on the brain because I'm just totally needing this Zubat, please. If you get Zubat and Dunsparce uh, and, uh, and not Dunsparce, then it's rigged. You are dumb. How many times have I said how minuscule of a chance 819, that one in 819,200 is in comparison? You've been here like the entire time. I've done this rant like three times, but you are continuing to say this. No. Do 
Diva, I don't know what you meant to put in that question. Did you mean teeth? In which case, yes, I am a normal human being. Have you had any more shiny dupes today? No. I brush my hair every night before going to bed. That just seems pointless. <laughs> then again, I toss and turn a lot, so my hair always like wakes up in the weirdest of shapes. It's very funny sometimes. Like I'll wake up, I'll look in the mirror, I'm like... You look like a stupid idiot. Just imagine if he gets a Dunsparce instead of Zubat. Oh boy, you know, I am going to make such an annoying montage of these for this video. It's not even funny. I'm going to make it so goddamn annoying so you guys understand how annoying it is. Imagine if he gets Dunsparce instead of Z Zubat. I don't want it. I don't want to imagine it. Stop. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. No, you don't, Tuio. You don't want that because I'm going to be stubborn and I'm going to hunt Zubat elsewhere. Do you want to have to keep the timer up longer? No. No, you don't. Can I be part of that montage even though I'm not asking about it? No. It would be really funny if during that clip you got the shiny Dunsparce. Admittedly, that would be funny, but... Back from a three-hour nap? Did I miss anything? No. Can I just have shiny Zubat, please? Can I have it a shiny Zubat, please? Can I have it a shiny Zubat, please? All I want is the shiny Zubat, please. Hey, boss. Can I have some of the shiny Zubat, please? just not happening <laughs> the more I sit here the more I see the boulders the bats and the fake bee tails on a Dunsparce but none of them are the shinies of that what made you think about this self-torture masochism boredom doing something that on the internet that nobody else has done I'm losing my hand. My, I was about to say I'm losing my hands, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not losing my hands. Thank God, I wouldn't be able to do this if I lost my hands. <laughs> Meatball really said, "What if I lock myself in a Skinner box for 12 hours a day, every day? That will probably be really good for me mentally." Hey, I'm taking a day off every fourth day. It's okay. I actually had a really good day off. This between like the first three and the second three streams, and that feels like plenty enough time for me to like, you know, decompress, come back at it for three days, then take another day off, come back for three days. You know, it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. Ugh. It's getting a little real a little too real. If you find a shiny Zubat, is there gonna be any safeguards? The safeguard is uh called throw a ball at it and hope to god it works. This is beyond uh, it's not beyond anything. It's still below odds. It's okay. Everything is fine. Nothing is bad. Even prisoners gets one hour of sunlight. 
I got a window right here. It's fine. I got sunlight. I got sunlight for the entire day. It's wonderful. Just where I want it. Not touching me. Still got enough balls? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I'm fine. You don't look so? Well, you don't say. You look de you are you hydrated? I just drank a full cup. Yes. Please scream really loud when you get the shiny so I wake up to witness it. Sure. I'll make sure to kill everyone in the uh, five mile radius with ears. And for legal reasons, this is a joke about audio being loud. Thank you. My poor AirPods. More like your poor ears. <laughs> LeBron James or Michael Jordan goat. How many people have come in here talking about basketball? I know those those are names in basketball. Aside from that, those are like the o that's the only thing I know about these people. Which like no shame if you like basketball. I like I like my own stuff too. But I am a I am a professional wrestling enthusiast and that is the only sport that I watch. It is a sport. It is sports entertainment. It may be scripted. That does not make it not a sport. It's like a sports theater. Messi or Ronaldo? I don't even know what's... Is that supposed to be another sports thing? I don't know which one that is then. Yeah, sports with lore. Exactly. Soccer? Oh. I'm American, I don't pay attention to soccer. Even more so than the other sports. Donkey Kong or Bowser? Now this I can get behind. Donkey Kong. Easily. He rock wait though no, that's the knuckles theme. I was I was thinking of going into the DK rap and I started going for unknown from me from Sonic Adventure. I think my brain is permanently scarred. Soccer is as fake as wrestling nowadays. Excuse me. Wrestling is not fake. It's predetermined, scripted, acted. It's not fake. You think getting hit with chairs, falling off of ladders, and, you know, taking those bumps are not real? You think they're doing that with wires? Well, then you might just be on some, some good stuff. If so, you should call me and give me a hookup because I could really use some. For legal reasons, again, this is a joke. I really need to stop saying things that require that sentence afterwards. I'm trying to be funny, but it's not... It's going to land me in some hot water eventually. <laughs> Terry Bogard or Ken Masters? Terry, obviously. I'm an SNK... Uh, I'm a sucker for SNK. I like... I mean, I like Capcom, but I'm sorry. I like me some King of Fighters. I like me some Fatal Fury... I like it a lot more than Street Fighter. Lamau demo.
We've broken 7,500. Oh boy. Shakespeare or Wario? Well, they didn't make a game called Shakespeare's Woods now, did they? Street Fighter Slander, I'm out of here. I didn't say it was a bad game. I just said that I prefer King of Fighters and Fatal Fury more. Why would someone want to watch a scripted sport? Yeah. Why would somebody want to watch a scripted television show that has storytelling? Like, any show on television. People that don't get wrestling refuse to understand wrestling, and they will always have that that pre, uh, you know, that um, pretense that it is fake and therefore not as important as other uh, like uh, pieces of fiction. But they just they they won't get it because they are already they've already made their mind up about hating uh, or about like uh, not hating it but not understanding it. Thank you, Right Grump. See, that's 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 a good answer. I'm not into wrestling, but it's a valid narrative medium and a creative one at that. That's basically all all that non-wrestling fans I would I would appreciate most non-wrestling fans understood that. Tom Brady or Dan Marino? I don't know who the second guy is, and I know the first guy well, isn't he like the 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 the, 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 the Scientology uh, actor guy. I thought we were talking about sports. Tom Brady is a football legend from Philly. You're thinking of Tom Cruise. Oh, okay. I again, I don't I don't pay attention to sports. How is one so tapped out of sports? I just have zero interest. I think that the internet, like the way I use the internet has cultivated in such a way that it just blocks everything that isn't wrestling out of my feeds on any social media I use. And therefore, I know nothing about it. Tacos or pizza? I can't eat eat either because I'm on keto. Not even Super Bowl? Usually I only realize that because I go into the store and they have these like big old like displays of like sodas that say this Super Bowl and I'm like, oh, I guess that is that time of year again. And that's about the extent of which I know about the Super Bowl. John Cena or Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Um, or as we colloquially call him here, Dwayne Geodude Johnson. Um, I, I am a Mr. Cena man. Keto tacos or keto pizzas? I don't know. I don't cook. The only things I put on my plate daily are roast beef and pepper jack cheese with some ranch. And that's what I'm losing weight on. And it's working. Oh, actually, Braille Skateboarding CEO, who is YouTube's biggest stakeholder in number, is now the head of Scientology in California as of today. I saw a video on it today. Huh. I don't know if he's enjoying himself. I count this one, I don't know. What run are we on? What do you mean, what run are we on? Like, are you thinking that I lost? At all, but it could be like I wiped. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine wiping. Unless you're. Ex <laughs> Imagine wiping anything but your own asshole. 
That was, that was, that was terrible. When you wiped, you don't... I'm getting one guide right now. Can't you KO them all with Bailey for Staddy XP? I want to KO nothing but level 2 Pidgeys for Staddy XP. Once I have maxed out everything but special attack, or just special in general. I don't remember what I want to do from there. Oh. Huh. There is a level cap, yeah. Do you wipe before sleep? I just, why is this being asked of me? What the fuck happened to the internet? I will echo Demo's sentiments, and I will end the conversation here. Y'all are out of fucking line right now. Like, I'm so confused. The real question, NWO or Wolfpack? Well, considering this, the fact that Sting joined Wolfpack, that automatically makes it number two there. Because the fact that Sting ever joined any form of the NWO is absolute, like absolutely stupid and should have never happened. But, you know, that's that whole company was doomed to fail because of Hogan being involved. What's the plan for Coliseum and XD? Seems like those would take forever. We're still not sure. I feel like we might just be cutting them because of that. Like, they are too unreasonable. Even though they would be good games to do. Again, I I, I don't know. WCW died at Starcade 97. Agreed. Like, A, a not fast count being considered a fast count when, uh, like, new signee Bret Hart comes down and says, no, he's not getting screwed. And I'm like... That was a normal fast count. <laughs> like, even watching it back, I'm like, man, they... Hogan really wanted to just not lose. I'm like, that man cannot put the good of a company over himself ever. I will never fucking respect Hulk Hogan. I don't care how much money he made. I don't care what he did in the business. Like, he used some very racist remarks. And... He could, he was too selfish to ever put a company above himself in terms of wrestling to better the industry. Be, like, you're going to make more money by bettering the industry, by keeping people engaged. You're not going to make money by staying on top the whole time, but oh, but like, I thought that the title was just a prop. Like, do you think that that's a real championship? Like, I, oh my God. The real tragedy is going to be when you get a second Zubat and Slowpoke well with much less attempts. Yeah. Demo? What? What do you mean? They're not hilarious. Well, the ones that are racist are not hilarious at all. Uh, hilarious at all. I don't know even the context of any of the other ones. So, that's pretty sus of you to say, good sir. You are cheating on your wife. Balls deep going on rants. Dude is fired. Dude is fried.
I'm sorry I don't know the context of this. All I all I know is that there was an S tape of Hogan that resulted in him getting blackballed by the WWE because it, it had racist remarks. And I I don't condone that. I I I'm like when you have friends of all like a bunch of different nationalities, you do not condone any of that. Like even even from my own family. Like my my grandpa uh, I was talking about uh, uh, a friend of mine who was Japanese, and he called her a slur, like the fur uh, immediately. And I was just like, I, I immediately just stopped talking about uh, uh, one uh, about my friend there because I knew that he was just going to be disrespectful. Because I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. So. Oh, he said shit about his daughter while... Oh. Alright, I don't really want to know anymore. I'm sorry. Sonic or Shadow? Shadow. I like... I like the black and red combo. I'm sorry. But I'm just going for collar. I like that. I don't approve, but I find the situation itself hilarious. I don't understand why you think it's funny. I just don't see it. Knuckles is cool. Here I come. Rougher than Knuckles. The best of them. Tougher than Knuckles. God, that's a great song. It's Knuckles from Knuckles to Knuckles. Isn't it a silver gunner? Uh, silver? No, it's. Isn't that a silver gunner thing, or is that somewhere else? I don't remember. Do you watch the Pokemon anime? Not currently. Personally, I really want to see a Pokemon region based on Shikoku. Is that like a province or a prefecture? I'm not very familiar with the uh, the layout of Japan, to be completely honest. Dash die? No, they just retired him. Chaotic, do you remember Eddie Guerrero, who passed away on an overdose? He didn't pass away because of an overdose. He um, he passed away because of acute heart failure, which um, was kind of accelerated and brought on by uh, his abuse of drugs over the years but when he was when he passed away it wasn't because he was on drugs just to correct that uh, was the last fight against Rey Mysterio st stage because both bled during the fight yes getting uh, uh, bleeding in wrestling or getting color is pretty normal uh, it's agreed upon and usually only used in like special circumstances uh, just to make like the heighten the uh, intensity of a match um, and that's that's just a thing um, which you guys might be wondering well how do they bleed intentionally well they hide uh, razor blades in their wrist tape and uh, when the cameras aren't on them they cut themselves open and uh and that's how they get the color. I just said so, Tuyo. Wow, it's some real dedication right there. A little bit. Yeah. Th that, 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 that's, that's the kind of, kind of stuff that makes me want to say to people why wrestling isn't fake. It may be pre predetermined, but th those people those people go insane with the amount of physicality they will go into in that ring and make it look as good as possible. I think that, that is why. Not a huge fan of wrestling, but my dad really liked Razor Ramon. Opinions? Razor Ramon was one of the most important wrestlers of the 1990s. Uh, when he jumped over to WCW under his real name, Scott Hall, he was the one of the first three... He was the first guy that uh, started bringing rumblings of like this WWF invasion. 
that ended up uh, because of lawsuits. They had to make sure that they established that he was working for WCW, but uh, him alongside Kevin Nash and Hulk Hogan ended up forming the uh, the NWO, which was probably the biggest faction in pro wrestling history and uh, helped usher in the biggest boom period of wrestling. Like, it, it helped start it, but uh, it was kind of carried even higher up uh, by the likes of Steve Austin, The Rock, uh, and just the Attitude Era in general. I met Jerry Flynn once. You mean Jerry Lynn? Sidewall hoops in South America, India in India. What? Huh? No Jerry Flynn. Oh, well, I know that there was a Jerry Lynn and a Jerry Flynn. I just wanted to make sure that you were, uh, <laughs> that there was the distinguishment. Okay. I know that Jerry Flynn was a much less, like, uh, successful wrestler overall, but. Diva, I'm trying to understand what you are saying. In the hell? Maybe the theory's right. Maybe the internet isn't filled by all real humans. This Whatever they're saying feels like AI generated. But they also got, and people shouldn't cut themselves. Which is related to the blading and getting color in a wrestling match, which me, makes me think... That something there, that there's something here, like... I'm very confused. I met Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels once. <laughs> the fact that you called... No, that, that is the mix of two people. Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold Steve Austin are two separate people. Is the choppiness just on my end? Am I dropping frames? Haven't dropped a single frame since I started streaming. I'm so confused. I'm I'm fucking lost. I'm just I'm utterly confused. <laughs> it's definitely one person. He did his special move, the sweet chin stunner. God damn it. You're just fucking with me now. I get it. Ugh. Auto choppiness is on YouTube's end. Typically, viewers need to refresh and should fix. Ah. Hey, Mr. Meatball Man. I'm back and drunk. What did you think is going to be the most memorable match of this WrestleMania? And what will be the outcome? The most memorable moment will be Cody Rhodes finally holding up the WWE Championship and... Finally, an AEW wrestler will have won the, the world championship and he can go back and say, I walked away with this title. It's mine. AEW forever. <laughs> I'm kidding. No one meme this WrestleMania. Will Cody too sweet? Uh, well, you know, I think it would be f really cool if the Bucks and Omega were allowed to show up in the crowd and they panned to them and they showed them as uh, AEW executive vice presidents and friends of Cody Rhodes. But I doubt they would. Some bullet club for live shit. I mean, I think Tama Tonga is going to WWE. But, uh, I don't know. Like, I believe it was already confirmed that Tama Tonga signed a contract with them, but I don't remember. 
Geez, are you going to get the full odds or near close? I don't know. I mean, as long as it stays below um, 8,192 by the time I get it, I will be fine with it. Who do you think would win in a TLC match? Jake the Snake Roberts or Buzz Lightyear? What the fuck? What is this WWE 2K ass fantasy booking nonsense? Uh, but to give my real answer, Jake the Snake Roberts, of course. You know, he can just simply intimidate Buzz with the uh, with the snake instead of getting hit by a laser. If he if he was gonna shoot the laser, he just blocks it with with the snake. You know, that's how that works. What's a TLC match? Uh, tables, ladders, and chairs. Thank you, Tuio. Even even you got to the point where you're like, okay, I'm I'm getting I'm getting kind of tired of this. Tablets, ladles, and chins. What the fuck? My thousand pound life wrestling. Oh no! Not don't remind me of the TLC channel. No. The learning channel. The learning channel. Yes. Is that the end of the playlist? Did I have to add more shit to it? It doesn't seem like it. How much do I have left? Oh, I have like forty more videos in the playlist. Good. Have you found any shinier today? No. I'm assuming that auto-corrected from shinies. We're, sev we're almost seven hours into the hunt today, and I have yet to get it. Have we only really had like 2,000, a, a little over 2,000 encounters in seven hours? That feels kind of bad. Am I just not focusing as much as I did yesterday? Now I feel kind of bad. Because we got we, we went from 1,500 to 5,450 yesterday. Which is almost 4,000 encounters. That's 3,950 encounters. Am I just, like, zoning out? I don't know. I don't know. Half of the tag teams this year have been out of the loop. AEW been better. True. Rock bottom to Roman Reigns. I don't think it happens this weekend. I think that, well, either, I don't know if the turn will happen after WrestleMania, if The Rock will be the deciding factor as, as to Cody Rhodes winning the title, or if it'll just be the Cody, uh, the Cody verse of like Austin, Cena, you know, Jay, Sammy, Kevin, and all of them like, uh, you know, evening the odds. But we will see. Looking forward to tomorrow. For Silver, are you planning on going Cinequil or Totodile? Totodile for, uh, for Silver. Is Big Show still in the WWE? No, he is in AEW. Fun fact. When I was flying out to YCS 250 in Los Angeles last year, it was the same weekend as WrestleMania. And, um... I was on the same plane as the Big Show because he was flying out there as well, which is very funny. If the seat next to him in first class wasn't taken, I would have taken it. And I uh, I just would have sat, sat there and not bothered him one bit. It would have been very funny. They make him pay for two seats? No, he, he was sitting in first class, so he actually fit, oddly enough. Which is crazy. Like, that man's huge in real life. But, um, he fit. Did you book two seats? I'm not that big. He got a booth? No, they, there was like two seats to a row. But the, the seats were like one and a half times wide. Because they were, um... It was like two seats took up the space of three. Uh, like, for the rest of the plane. Uh, I don't know who that is, Zuger, but congratulations, or sorry that happened. Uh, whichever one applied, I don't know. Oh, this is one of my favorite covers. This is from Raiden 5. It's the first stage called Unknown Pollution. Hella, hella good one. Uh, Ace Shig. I think that's how you pronounce that. Thank you for the 
gifted or not gifted you actually just uh you know grabbed yourself a membership thank you so much i appreciate it i'm a massive jerry rice face fan well, not jerry rice face excuse me well that's cool then uh you know i i might not understand but uh you know if it was like somebody in one of the uh you know interests i have uh and i got to meet somebody that was big in that then i would be uh and I would probably be in the same position. So that's cool. Rice face. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why my my uh, my mouth decided to say face instead of fan. But <laughs> I think it's funnier. You look like a Jerry Rice face. It's just that sounds like a that sounds like a whatever sport this is. NFL player. That sounds like a football slur. There we go. I just I just came up with an <laughs> I just came up with a football slur Jerry Rice face. <laughs> oh. oh shit. Oh. <laughs> it was an accident too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I amuse myself very easily, chat. I take that as a compliment. That could be a fan name. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Are you going to stream all Pokemon cha games during this challenge? Well, as long as the timer's still going, yes. Speaking of which, my goal again, chat, is to keep this timer over 55 hours, if not get it up to 60 by the end of the stream. We still have five hours left of the stream, so if you guys are willing to help out keep the uh, timer up, you can do so by either super chatting. Every dollar that you super chat will add a minute to the timer. Every membership that you grab for yourself, or if you gift to other viewers of the channel, will add five minutes per membership. And of course, exclamation point gamer subs, as I am now a gamer subs affiliate. If you end up purchasing any drinks, uh, any drink mix, or any instant ramen off of that site using code chaotic meat at my link that again you can find with exclamation point gamer subs. Uh, you will get both the 10% off, and for every dollar that you spend there, you will get uh, one minute added on to the timer. The only wrestler I like is Cena, but uh, because uh, because of what he does outside the ring. That's fair. You would have a little bit less of an opinion of him if you knew what what he's done in the business, in uh, just like reportedly of how he's acted backstage, just uh, while he was in his prime. But it was mostly because he was trying to defend his top spot, and that that's just been the nature of wrestling: is that people kind of turn into backstabbing assholes when they're doing that because they want to keep at the top because that's where they're making the most money, and uh, money will turn anybody if it's enough yo is that literally an Arby's that's based I was I was informed of this potential earlier chat it's it's fine. I know it was going to be a uh, there was going to literally be an Arby's here. Wrestlers that have gone actor are the best uh, best parts to me. Is that parts? I don't know. I can't see under the fucking heart. I know little of wrestling, but I have a soft spot for Andre the Giant. That is uh, understandable. You know, people like Princess Bride. The best path to me. Okay, that makes sense. I've heard some people say uh, Arby's is really bad. So, I've heard some of those opinions, but I also have heard some people that absolutely love it. Uh, one a fellow creator here on YouTube, I believe, Hard Leg Gaming, is like one of the few people that I know that does enjoy Arby's. Um, I've only had it like one time. It was fine. But that's just because I don't live near any. Arby's office computer based. 
Well, if it's an, on an Arby's office computer, can you subscribe to this channel so that I can say I'm subscribed to by Arby's? Thanks. I really hope you do Coliseum. I really like the double battle feature. It makes it feel like a game that's a lot harder in a way. Well, the only problem there is that, like, Espeon and Umbreon can't be shiny. And even if they were, I would have to get both of them shiny at the same time. Which, I would be here for, like, years resetting that. I'm literally sitting a block away from an Arby's right now. That's funny. Done. Based. Thank you. What about Del Taco? We don't talk about Del Taco. Insider tip. Uh, potato cakes are making a comeback this summer. Hell yeah. I don't know what those are, but hell yeah. <laughs> Again, I've only ever been to an Arby's one time, and because I'm doing uh, keto, it doesn't, uh, it's not something that I uh, would be eating right now anyway. Oh, which, what is more possible? Shiny Dunsparce or the double shiny Umbreon and Espeon? Shiny Dunsparce. By a lot. Because instead of multiplying one in, uh, one over a hundred times one over, uh, 8,192, you're instead multiplying um, 1 in 8,192 times 1 in 8,192, which is a lot fucking lower. <laughs> Taco Bell needs to bring back my damn nacho fries. Did they get rid of them or something? The one I know at least the one that's close to me still has them. The Bueno? The Bueno? What the heck is the Bueno? Uh, here has a new manager every six months, and they pop on Facebook to tell everyone they're going to do better, but never do. Intriguing. Oh, gotcha, Zach. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize, because... Um, I don't know. I mean, I may have had a little bit of Taco Bell during my brief stint off of keto for, uh, you know, after Christmas, but I didn't realize it was a seasonal item. I just thought they were pretty decent. It's a good thing I jumped back on the train before they went out, uh, before they uh, stopped being stocked, because now I, I don't have to worry about not eating them because I don't want to eat them because they're gonna, they're, they're made to kill me. The manager of the Wendy's I used to work at always posts worst clothes, uh, worst clothes ever. And every time I have to resist the urge to say there's always tomorrow. That's funny. No, I definitely think that working uh, in like the food service industry has to be one of the roughest jobs ever because everybody treats you like shit. You make no money, yet you have one of the most stressful jobs of all time. Like, I, I do not understand it. But I, uh, but at the same time, it's like, well, if we if we pay those people better, then all of the prices of everything are going to rise. It's the same thing as the argument to raise minimum wage. If we if we have the sign, uh, if we, there's a the ability to sign that into law that oh we're going to make federal minimum wage twenty dollars, the corporations do, will not care and they will refuse to let you have a living wage and they will raise the prices of everything. That like every of one of those companies that has like important products, they're going to be like nope. And it's a, it's a bit ridiculous. I don't know what the solution is. I really don't. I just know that, you know, the minimum wage one isn't going to work because that's just going to cause an inflation of prices because the companies are like, okay, cool, you raise the minimum wage, we're going to raise our, uh, you know, raise our prices to me match that so we keep our same profit margin. Yeah, so, yeah, Sergio, it's like you just... the. Unless they restrict them, but they have too much money to, like, uh, be restricted. 
It's it's just a system that works for them, which sucks. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, down with capitalism. We are in late-stage capitalism, folks. Another thing that... Uh, I won't get into it, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely, for sure. We are definitely in uh, late-stage capitalism. Are you still searching for Zubat? Yes. We're close to odds. Surely it has to happen soon. We should return to bartering. That's gonna... Mm. I hate the first thought that came through my mind. I'm not even going to say it. That was sarcasm because it's obvious. Oh, but I didn't get it because I've had plenty of people ask me that question legitimately. That's a, that's not shiny. Watch you get so close to odds and get another shiny Ge Geodude. I will... I will poo. Speaking of bartering, how much money for you to play Fossil Fighters? Five hundred dollars. No, it's not going to be on stream, chat. Like, I'm just, like, in general, I'm just going to poo. Fossil Fighters was widely marketed. Thanks, chat GBT, for letting me know that it was a widely marketed video game. I don't even know if D.Va is a, is like a, an AI. They've just said some wacky shit, which has made me think they are. <laughs> I only saw someone do a playthrough. You know, that's the first human line that they've said. Holy shit. They are real. Would it make sense to go to Slowpoke Cave and try there, or is Slowpoke needed in this run? That's why we're doing Zubat, so we can dupes claws our way into Slowpoke. <laughs> you thought chat was full of AI? No, I thought this one individual uh, user was was potentially an AI, because like everything that they had said previously sounded like it could have been. And because of that, I was just like, uh, I, I do not understand what you're saying, I'm sorry. They were speaking English, it's just the words, the words didn't make sense together. <laughs> Bro really wants Slowpoke. That's true. I do. I do really want Slowpoke. Marcel Rosso. That, that's Euros. That one's Euros. Thank you so much for the 50 Euros. I love your shiny hunt streams and all of your videos. There hasn't been a single video I've missed in the last 12 months. Keep up your work and your mental. Thank you so much, Marcel. I really appreciate that. Euros to USD. Let me, let me, uh... I forgot how equal these were. It's 54 minutes, so it's you get you get a little bit more than 50. So there you go. Boom. Did it update? It said it would update in a few seconds. Chat, did it update? Or is the app starting to have a conniption too? Yes. Yes, it did. Okay. That's the first time it said that specifically to me, so I was I was afraid for a second that it was starting to have a used to be um Two, uh, two euro to one dollar a decade ago. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, because I remember it being like nearly the same, if not like really close to the the uh, 
Canadian dollar? Even maybe I think the Canadian dollar was worth more than the euro at the time. But thank you again, Marcel, uh, for, for the 50. And uh, your super chat virginity. I did not pop off about that. I appreciate it. You doing slow, pro, slow bro or slow king? Uh, slow king. But chat, my goal today is to keep the chat or keep the um, the timer net neutral, which is around 55 hours. We still got about f uh, four hours, 37 minutes of stream or so. So, if we can keep that above 55 by the end, I would very much appreciate it. Where in the, when can you get King's Rock? Uh, I don't remember, but somebody said that it was, like, around halfway through Johto, like, after Morty. And I was like, okay, that Slowpoke can be holding it. So I can, I should just be catching them over and over again to try to find a King's Rock. Wait. Wait, if that that's the case, then I don't even need to use Slowpoke. I can just trade immediately evolve it into slow king and still save slow poke for later it's that am i not am i not incorrect cheating what do you mean cheating if wild slow pokes have like a 5% chance of holding a king's rock then I'm going to do that and not use Slowpoke in battle, thereby saving it for a later game and only using Slow King. Slowpoke is early in Sun and Moon. Could be useful then. That's true. Makes sense to me. Uh, I don't know if Slow King has level up moves, though. Well, considering that we have Ice Punch and Goldenrod and Surf coming up in uh, Ecrotique before Morty, I don't really see it becoming a problem. It does have moves. All good. Perfect. Makes Slowbro viable too. Exactly. See, chat? It's all in there. Just has to be pulled out by the right people. Held by Wild Slowpoke and Wild Poliwhirl. 2% chance. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, that is not shiny. Oh my god, Marcel, thank you for the additional 10 euros. I really appreciate it. Let me add those two. I'll do this one as 11 minutes because it's 1085 and it's, the difference is fine. This is Command and Conquer, isn't it? Let me check. Yeah, this is Red Alert 2. That's not surprising. That, that riff definitely sounded Command and Conquer-esque. Slowpoke only has a 2% chance to hold in GSC. I'm currently farming for a Metal Coat on Magnemite and almost 200 encounters hit. Well, considering I'm shiny hunting, I don't really foresee 200 encounters in being much of a problem. Is the Zubat for another Shiny Claws? Correct. It's for Shiny Claws for Slowpoke. Use Slowbro on Leaf Green. That is probably one of the options uh, that I was thinking about using it. I was also thinking about potentially holding it for um, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It, it, honestly, it's there's so many water types in Kanto that it doesn't matter which ones I hold as long as I hold like two ha half decent ones. As long as it's not like Dugong and Golduck. I'm pretty much set for water types in every single uh, Kanto game. I'm going to grab five more Zubat encounters, and I'm going to use the restroom afterwards if we don't find the uh, the shiny before those. If we do find the shiny before the, uh, the 7700, I will catch that. Then I will use the restroom. Three. Two. Golduck is good. Golduck is 
painfully mediocre in comparison to the other good Kanto water types. I fell asleep watching three hours ago and you have still not gotten the Zubat. That's correct. We are so close to odds, it's not even funny. Like, we are... Uh, we are, like, less than 500 away from odds. Like, that's crazy to me. Alright, I'm going to go use the restroom. I'm going to save the game real quick in, in case something bad happens. Here we go. 500 hours of in-game time, by the way. I will be back shortly. Don't go anywhere. It would appreciate. I would also appreciate it if you uh, gave this video a like while you're waiting.
I have returned. Sorry about the wait, chat. Let's try to get this done. We've got about four and a half hours left. So let's uh, let's see if we can get it done. Make sure, I have this window active. I'm hoping that maybe stepping away uh, refreshed our luck, get our mind back into it. And hopefully within the next 489 encounters, 589 encounters, no, 489 encounters, we can get our shiny Zubat. Come on, lucky number seven. I would have also fun it, find it funny if it was exactly 7,777 encounters. But again, I will be fine as long as we get it under odds. Be rather disappointed if it doesn't happen. I heard if you leave the cave and re-enter it, you have a 8,192 chance of finding a shiny. That's interesting. That doesn't increase it at all. Way. No. No. No, I don't want those. Please stop. Stop at the Geo Dude. No. Stop. No. How many hours have you spent over the last three days looking for Zubat? Close to 30, probably. So it's even longer than the, uh, the, the Rattata. But even then, like, we did get a duplicate shiny. So it's not like nothing happened. Like, it's not like one didn't appear in the last 30 hours. It was just the wrong one. I predict you're going to get one in the next 100. Uh, the, in the next 100 shinies. Oh, thank you. I'd rather get it in the next one shiny. Unless you mean next 100 encounters, in which case, that I also hope for. How about now? No, that's a Geo dude. Encounters, yes, sorry. Okay. I was about to say, uh, no thanks. I do not want it within a hundred Chinese. I do not want a hundred Chinese Geo dudes. Thank you. Why are you making clicks in the chat, Diva? Maybe 7,777 is your lucky number? I would hope so. Like, again, I just I just want it below 8,192. It would be statistically... It would statistically make sense. One 8,192 Zubats would be shiny. So, we're just... Uh, we're just... We're just gonna get it. We're just gonna get it. This isn't really a hunt for shiny Zubat. This is a lookout to see if it's not a shiny Dunsparce. It's not going to be a shiny Dunsparce, I swear. Again, 1 in 819,200. It's not going to be that. And he will... Uh, if CM got the 1% Dunsparce, I think he would break a lot of hunters. And he will be branded forever as a hacker man. That's true. I probably would be. 
Hell, they probably already branded me as that, getting Geodude and Unknown in the same stream. Uh, you reset that counter after that second Geodude. I did not. I'm only counting Zubats. So shiny Geodudes will not affect the counter. Is it me, or after the break, we see more Zubats? Uh, the break is over, Nerdy. Um, somebody want to wanna tell them that uh, they are a decent way behind to put up, up, up on, like, two times speed until they catch up? There was a second shiny boulder? Yes. As Well, the first duplicate, the second shiny total. The second shiny uh, Geodude total. Starmie and Lapras are the best Kanto water types. I would have to agree with that. I think uh, Vaporeon's probably a close third, though. It's pretty bulky. Why do you need a Zubat? Uh, Dupes Claws. So that, uh, because the only two encounters available in... Um, Slowpoke well are Zubat and Slowpoke. Cloyster is g good in Gens 4 through 9. That's fair. I mean, I guess Skill Link helps it a bit. I was role-playing a counter. Oh, I'm sorry, Diva. I did, well, funny, but, I mean, not really, but I guess I get it. I got two 5% in my first phase of the co-op while training, Mankey and Shroomish. Two five percents of what? Shinies or two five percents in terms of just getting encounters? This is a near automata song, right? Yeah, this is City Ruins. God, it's been a long time since I I've heard a song from this game. It's just, uh, it immediately gave me the, the feels. I was like, oh, oh my god, I remember this song. One of my favorites from this this game, too. I, how many of you guys have played through Nier Automata? One of, gotta be one of the best action RPGs I've ever played in my life. Like, I got it back uh, in 2017, and I played through it, and I was just blown away by how good that game was. I played it all at my grandparents, of course, because uh, I don't think my parents would have let me play that game, but uh, it's just, yeah. Older Nears are better? Mm, I don't know about that. I think that um, I found it very frustrating, honestly. That's fair. I played it on, like, I, whatever normal difficulty was. Um, but I did it 100%, and I, I really enjoyed it. Have you phased? What do you mean, have I phased? Not in the hard game sense, but in the annoying combat sense. I never thought, found the combat annoying. I always found it fun. I really enjoyed the combat in that game. One of the best platinum trophies I ever got. Uh, I didn't do it on PS4, but I did do it on uh, I did do it on Steam. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I finally catch up. Still no bat. Still no bat. 
Ah, uh, phase means getting a shiny that isn't your target. Oh. I've gotten one. I've gotten one extra shiny Geodude that I didn't need. Have I played, uh, Oni? No. I heard the PC port wasn't good. That's why I played it on PS4. The PS, uh, the PC port worked perfectly fine for me. I don't know. I, I always saw, like, reviews of the PC port not working with people, but I, maybe I just had the perfect system for it because, uh... It worked fine for me at the time. I don't remember what the specs were on my previous computer, but uh, it worked. It was funny. Uh, one of the girls I was talking to in high school, she actually mentioned the original Nier as one of the games that she was really into. And she was the one who told me that Nier Automata was uh, like they, they were making it. And I kind of followed the development of it. And then when it came out, I was just like, all right, let me give this a shot. And I'm, I'm glad I did. She actually introduced me to a lot of really cool games. Uh, that, The World Ends With You. Um, honestly, I had known about Kingdom Hearts, but I didn't play it until she recommended it to me. And I was like, all right, let me give this a shot. And uh, I picked up like the story. So I think it was the story so far at that point had just like released. Um and it was ever it was ba it's basically everything but Kingdom Hearts three, and I, I'd only gotten through the first one. I, I ended up putting it down for other games, but I did at least play through the first one. I enjoyed my time with it, but I definitely think I should try out the newer ones to see if, you know, if they're better. Have you played a uh, Trails game, like Trails of the Sky? Uh, I haven't played them myself, but I heard they're pretty good. One game that I really wanted to play at some point was Rodea the Sky Soldier. I just still haven't gotten around to it. Uh, I believe that the Wii U version was, like, really bad, but it also came with the Wii disc. Uh, but I, I just still haven't played it yet. God damn it, 2EO. You, 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 the same anticipation hit because it said shiny now. I, I didn't see one on my screen, and I'm like... Did I run away from one? And no, it was that you were just trying to get the shiny to appear then. Um, but please don't do that in caps. Thank you. I guess that freaked me out again. We didn't get it at uh, 7,777, unfortunately. That's fine. Time for 8,888. No, absolutely not. If it's not less than 8,192, I'm going to be freaking pissed. I'm only counting the Zubats for this reason, because it should be one in 8,192 Zubats. Eight thousand one hundred ninety-three would just be a troll, and it would at least be funny, and I wouldn't be pissed off for very long. But it would be—it would definitely be funny. Plugging his numbers into a calculator at seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven, only a sixty-one point three zero three percent chance of finding a shiny. Still, that's uh, that's unfortunate. That's like more than a coin flip that I've lost. Come on, stop with the Geo dudes. Please. Thank you. It's not a shiny one, but at least it's not a Geo dude. Can't stay awake anymore. Hope you get uh get it soon. Good luck. Thank you so much, Nerdy. Hopefully we will get there. Seven's a lucky number. I thought adding another one wouldn't hurt uh, maybe increase his chances. 
Yeah. Well, if it's seven, uh, 77,777, then no. Absolutely not. That one counted, I think. This is Dancing Mad? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, we're getting close to 7,800. Is this the whole song? Yes. Will there be a celebration when you reach 8K? There will be no celebration until I hit the shiny Zubat. Excuse me. Oh my god. Seventy-seven ninety-five. Come on. Seventy-seven ninety-six. How many Pokemon fan games have you played and which ones? I don't know. I don't know the exact number, but I've played a good few of them. I think that's the second uh, second or third time I've seen you type that, Kyo. I don't... What is that? I don't even know how to begin to try to pronounce that. Gesundite? Is it supposed to be Kasu... I thought it was spelled like Kazuntite. Like K-A-Z-O-O-N-T-I-T-E. Oh, it's German. Because I've always heard people say Kazuntite. I guess it's a bastardization of the German version. But it was a cough. Either way, thank you. I appreciate it. 7,800. Not even that bad? What's not that bad? Like, is it not a bad bastardization? That's kind of funny, if so. There's a lot of slang that originates as a bastardization of a word from another language. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Shiny hunting a Chikorita outbreak in Violet. Bet you that's a lot easier than soft resetting for it in gold. <laughs> oh, we're still going? I thought you'd be watching WrestleMania by now. I decided to start at my normal time today, and I just was going to figure I'd watch both, both nights tomorrow. Completely fine with me. I'm not bothered by missing it. I'm, I'm avoiding spoilers. So... Good night. Oh, you're taking off Neo Flame. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed your stay. We'll see you later at some point, I hope. What will happen first? Pickle Bat or falling asleep? Well, I hope for the Pickle Bat. I'd be very disappointed if I ended this stream without it. 
That would mean two full streams looking for this thing and still not getting it. I mean, at least last stream, we did run into a spare shiny Geodude. We haven't even run into anything today. Full odds, yes, full odds. Find a random shiny like another Geodude, do you get to use it? No. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the first season of the franchise Nuzlocke, but I'm not allowed to use repeat Pokemon across the entire franchise. So, using a repeat shiny would kind of defeat the purpose. Masuda method hunting a Fuecoco and Violet. That sounds like a decent shiny. I'm not even going to engage. But theoretically, if uh, CM would find a shiny Dunsparce, he could uh, not species clause for safe Slowpoke. So if that happens, I, I don't know. I don't want to continue wasting time. Like I would rather like try to search for it on Route 32 at night because I can repel trick for level eights. But I, I'm also fighting to get it before I find a Wooper, which if I found a Wooper, then. Again, I would have to then go into Union Cave and hope I get it over Onyx and Sandshrew. Like, this is the most reliable place for me to ensure that this is um, Species Claws for Slowpoke. Probably run into the same Zubat 7,000 times. People were making the same joke about Rattata. It's... It's not. I. It's, it's a video game, but funny, though. Seventy-eight thirty-nine. We are getting awfully close. We are getting awfully close to less than two hundred fifty below odds. Can I stay in the same? There we. There we go. Just want to stay in the same row. Four tiles across. So we are. No, we're three hundred fifty encounters away. I can't do math. I just got it now, actually, though, to be fair, I've been looking for a good three to four hours now. Oh, for the for the Chikorita? Hey, I still got mine in less time, even if I had it on speed up, so... What can I... <laughs> I guess I did a, I did it easier than uh, than the... Um, shiny... Out, or the, uh, the mass outbreak. So, that... <laughs> good for me! But I had speed up, so I can't really uh, I can't really say it would have been better if I'm doing it like vanilla speed. Shiny hunting noob here. Is there actually a way to increase shiny rates in silver slash gold? Um, I'm also a shiny noob, so I'm I'm not like the person to go to about this. I wasn't here for it. How fast was your Chikorita? Uh, two hours, fifteen minutes, about eleven hundred encounters. So, not bad.
Nice, that's good. Yeah, it w wasn't bad, but, you know, the game is trying to uh, even out the odds here. Uh, I was already doing that with Rattata, but having a hard enough time uh, at doing it again. Shiny Zubat at 230,611 counters. Holy moly. Barring any cheat slash glitches, no. Shiny odds are pretty rough in Gen 2. Yeah. Send Bill Cosby back to jail. Oh god, if this is somebody, the same guy banavating, I'm going to lose my shit. I will tolerate this individual for a little bit. Assuming they are not, like, an asshole. But then again, their username is Bill Cosby, so I shouldn't do that. Bye-bye. Wait, I thought that was the IRL Bill Cosby. That would be even worse. Oh, come on, Zubat, please. I know I have four more hours of the stream left, but I don't want to put up two thumbnails in a row that's just the Zubat. Like, please, let me at least keep the slowpoke on the thumbnail so it can stay different. Music is a banger. Hell yeah. I'm glad at least it's uh, resonating with you guys in the background. Yeah, man. Dancing Mad's still going. No, it's not. Did I not mark that Zubat? I don't know. Oh well, better to be lower than higher, because that means I will get pissed off later instead of thinking that I didn't mark it. That's blue. That's blue. I'm not pressing up. I think I'm getting more pissed off at me not pressing up yet going up. That's blue. That's also blue. That's also blue. That's also blue. Come on, Zubat. All you have to do is give me what I want, and we'll be all done. Uh, yes, yes, and that is, that is what it is. My first random shiny was a shiny Gligar in gold. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. Ziva, what is this tangent? It is completely unrelated to the conversation it, uh, that we're trying, uh, that, that we're having, and it's just flooding the chat and making other people not want to speak because they're like, just, just let them speak until they're done. But I, I will, I, I don't know. Seventy-eight, seventy-eight was not it. wasn't the ran ran Roo version i don't i don't know all i know is that i that's the, the title of the video was the song that you were saying i'm going to bed can you say good night to me please good night dino lion If you can guarantee Slowpoke in the well by surfing and you don't plan on using Slowpoke before evolving, why not just go for 100% Slowpoke after you get Surf? I want it before I get Surf because I want to get the Slowking like, as early as possible. If I can get Slowking before Whitney, which I can because 2% held item King's Rock, I'm going to do that. Let's do that. That's not what I want. No. 
No. First shiny was back in 2002 was a shiny Diglett in Diglett's Cave after beating the Elite Four for the first time. I almost killed it as the only shiny I had seen and was Red Gyarados and had no idea. Oh, that's funny. The only difference is a blue nose, so... It's like, why is... How are you going to get the King's Rock? Luck? Cheat? It's a 2% uh, held item from uh, Slowpokes. I'm just going to continue capturing Slowpokes while I'm encountering for the Shiny. And whenever we get it, we'll just start running away from them. Until uh, we get the Shiny one. And then we can evolve it immediately. Are you go going to get something to eat to see if it attracts the Shiny Zubat? We will see. Hopefully you get something good, Aster. What's the likelihood of Meatball not only getting the shiny Slowpoke, but it also holds the 2% King's Rock? Uh, ridiculous. Ridiculously low. Considering the fact that it's also a 15% uh, uh, there and 85% for Zubat. God, am I really going to try that? Am I really going to try my luck doing that? I mean, we may as well just finish the Zubat grind. Because we're clearly close to getting it. But at the same time, it's like... Do we really want to, uh, do we rough the storm and hope to God we can get past Morty until we can get Surf and then just hunt Slowpoke from that point? Or do we, um, do we tolerate it and just go for it first? Because, like, this work is only being done if I'm getting that before getting Surf. In which case, I, I feel like then we're just wasting time. But at the same time, I am uh, transferring shinies that I'm not using up into the next game. Uh, and then being allowed to use them when I access an area that they're encounterable. So I guess it's fine. It's not really wasting time because we would just do this later anyway. But still. It's so bad, but Crystal Kaizo had hair across in the bug catching contest where I found shiny Beedrill. Ooh. Ow. Hang in there, Meatball. Pickle Bat is just around the corner. Thank you, Brandon. I'm going to go ahead and add those 10 minutes to the timer. Again, thank you for your generosity. Chat, we're about a half hour uh, below 55 hours. Uh, I was hoping to keep the, the timer net neutral today, uh, which would be including keeping it at uh, 55 hours by the end of the stream. Uh, we're streaming for exactly four more hours to the minute. Uh, so if we can get it up to 40 or to 5930 and then we could just let it ride till 55, that would be fantastic. Uh, the way you can contribute to the timer is by through Super Chats, like uh, Brandon Stacy just did. Uh, for every dollar that you contribute, you can add one minute to the timer. Same thing with uh, memberships. If you get one for yourself, that's five minutes. If you gift multiple, uh, it's five minutes per. You can gift one, you can gift five, you can gift however many. Each one is going to be five minutes to the timer. And then the last thing you can do is use exclamation point gamersups, as I'm, I've been an affiliate there uh, with them for the last couple days. Uh, since not yesterday, but the day before. So for the last two days, um, you can get 10% off all of the uh, various things on the site there with using my code chaotic meat. Again, using exclamation point gamersups. And if you do that and you get any of like the drink mix or the instant ramen, specifically those two things, um, for every dollar that you spend, I will add a minute to the timer. The question, the graphic at the end of the verse video said $1 equals 2.5 minutes. When did that change? When a couple of other creators said that is too goddamn little. Uh, so that was, uh, so we, we changed it. Yeah. The first day was 2.5 minutes. The second day made it two minutes because I couldn't add half a minute to the timer um, when I was doing it originally. So I was like, okay, let me just do two minutes. 
And then the third day after uh, after the two minute day, they were like, "It's going up too much, dude. You need to you need to let it just be one dollar is one minute." I'm like, "Okay, I guess that's fair." I didn't want to be like I, I didn't want to be like greedy towards the viewers and all, but at the same time, I guess that's that's fair. But I don't know. I mean, considering the fact that, like, subathons over on Twitch, usually, like, a $5 sub only adds one minute. Like, I feel like I'm I'm def I'm still kind of putting myself uh, lower than usually most of them. But uh, I feel like it's more than fair. I'm only trying to get enough to keep, like, the lights on and to make sure that I can uh, eventually, you know, pay my editor for something as large as this and keep the series going and not because of course I'm not getting ad revenue or uh, sponsorship money from other videos right now that I'm kind of foregoing yo Steven Rodriguez thank you for the two buckaroonies and your super chat virginity let's celebrate their first super on a live stream first shiny was Chansey and Crystal you got this that is a crazy cool shiny to get first try that's awesome So thank you for the two buccaronis and for your generosity. I really do appreciate that. All right, let's uh, get back into this. Do you have pickles in the sandwich, Aster? Unfortunately, oh, Back with a sandwich. Let's see if that if it manifests pickle bat. Oh, see, I just had to read the small conversation there, and I got all the context I needed. I do have pickles. Let us summon the pickle bat, please. What was the deleted message? That didn't even have a link. Why did Nightbot do that? Huh? What the hell? There was no... It said, stop posting links. Warning. Oh, is it because you put D.VA and it registered it as a link? That's so freaking hilarious. It registered that as a link. Insane. Absolutely unhinged. Can't even type a person's name. I guess just don't type it with the uh with the dot. Diva, I am going to time you out for one minute. Just as a warning, I'd appreciate it if you keep the topic of what we're doing and just the conversation relatively on topic rather than talking about other things by yourself because it just makes chat awkward. Thank you. What the hell? It got... It did it again? Oh, because... Uh, it's because you didn't you didn't even put a space between no with a period. It's go, it's getting rogue. It's because you didn't put a space between the period of the end of oh no and it's. Ain't that some comedy? It's going rogue, by the way. It's not getting rogue. That did not. There we go. Will you try for a shiny Mew? I don't think there's anywhere I can get a legal shiny Mew. Don't peri put periods without spaces, I guess. That's very true. I just warned you, Diva. I'm going to put you in a five-minute timeout. If you do it again, I will ban you permanently. Please listen to what I have to say. Diva is definitely a bot. I am, I am convinced that this is, like, 
chat GPT like experimentation. Is the BDS P1 shiny locked? Yes. Like, Diva was being normal or, uh, for a, a little bit, but then immediately, like, went into some weird tirade. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? This is compl this is not related to anything that anybody in the chat has said, or I have said. So, I don't know. Uh, if you get another shiny Geodude all off of this grind, will you use it or keep hunting for a Zubat? I can't use it. Uh, a, Dupes Claws, or Species Claws, and B, I'm not allowed to use repeat Pokemon. I already have one in my team. I already have a second, uh, all right, I have a second Geodude that I caught, and I'm just going to box because, of course, it's like a full odds shiny. Why wouldn't I? But still... She, only, she wrote only one ma normal message, and it was only a part of a message. The rest was completely unrelated. There was, like, a, a few minutes in the middle there that uh, that was normal. And then they said, I'm going to go off on my own tirade. And then they started, and I was like, okay, they were serious. Uh, what are you doing? Can you stop, please? And they didn't stop, so we timed them out once. And then they immediately resumed after the minute timeout was over. So it's like... Did that register? Oh, it did. Uh, let me just run into another one. So we time them out again, and if they do it again, we will permanently ban them. Uh, what's what's your favorite alcohol? Obviously, you don't drink it. I do drink occasionally, but I don't have like a favorite. It's just based off of people's recommendations. If I find something that I like, I'll stick with that, but the, I don't usually remember what it is after the day. Just, uh, I'm not really an avid uh, alcohol drinker, uh, just outside of, like, social occasions, so. With that announcement, it looks more like a troll. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting one, one guide again. I always get one guide. I'm going to leave for like five minutes. All right, Tuyo, have fun with whatever you're doing real quick. What's your favorite Geodude? If Geodude I, was a I think a dude, yeah. What? That, that sentence made no sense. Change it up. Maybe shiny Zubat likes shiny Geodude. Maybe. All right, fine. There you go. Look at that, mirror match. One's better, mine. That work, yeah. Hi chat, what's going on tonight? We are still searching for Zubat. We have been in this cave for two days straight. Manifesting that the next Zubat is shiny. Let us see. Nope. Uh, 138 encounters until we hit odds. Until I get pissed off. Come on, game. You don't want to do that to me, right? You don't want to see pissed meatball, right? Absolutely not. Come on. You know you want to give me the Zubat. It's okay. Things are just fine.
Looking forward to the full vid meatball. I'm not usually one for streams, but I've been uh, enjoying dozing to this one. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're at least uh, enjoying it for some sleep material. I hope you do enjoy the full video when it's ready. If it's ready, to be fair. Because, uh, again, we gotta keep we got to keep that timer up. Uh, if we don't keep that timer up through Gold, Silver, Crystal, then I'm not even going to be able to finish a single video off of this, which would suck. Because I won't have enough games to do it. I've had odds almost double what it was supposed to. Really? From like the 61%? Oh, oh. Oh, um, there was somebody that said 61%. This is a different thing. Um, in Platinum, once for Unknown. Gotcha. Okay, jeez. Yikers. Oh, I don't want to play this one. Mostly because uh, the last VOD got hit by someone's cover of a DuckTales song. Uh, and, and it was not even the right one. It was somebody else's. And it registered as a completely different artist's cover. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That's not, and there's, I didn't even find a way to be able to dispute it because there's no way of saying that's not the correct, that's the material identified is not the correct material, but it's on a VOD and it's only, uh, ad sharing. It's not even from like the, the super chats or the, um, or the, or the memberships or any of that stuff. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. So the lesson learned is don't play DuckTales music ever, basically. Hey, Chaotic, I'll be going to bed since you wish someone good night. You might as well wish me good night. May the Zubats not bite. They, sh they should bite me, though. Give me... I want, I want the shiny Zubat to bite me right in the goddamn neck all the way through six inches. Put it in. Give me it, the shiny Zubat. I just want it, please. Oh, my God. At this point, just solo the game with Defense Curl, roll out Geodude. I know I can't do that. No, that's a Geodude. True, Yasun, true! Can I please have the shiny Zubat? That would be really nice. Why did I say we were 100 away? I keep, like, misjudging it. It's not 8,092, it's 8,192. We are... 220 encounters away from odds. You know, that seems realistic. I think we can get it in 220 encounters. People forgetting he ain't allowed to overlevel. Very true. You know what's weirder? Okay, you got a Geodude in the middle, but with those chances, you should have found at least two, statistically speaking. Well... Statistically speaking, I should have found, like, three shiny Rattatas in the time it took me to find one. Because it was over, t I think it was close to 25,000 encounters before I found one in an area, in an area where it, it showed up, like, 100% of the time. And it was literally, there are no other encounters there during the day. It was only, it was only Rattata. It was wild. On. Can we do it in less than 8,000? That would be really cool. Please. That is a normal Zubat. I got 20 more before 8,000. Come on. Can you show up? 19. Come on. Also, folks, if you enjoy my suffering, 
please like the stream so that other people see it. Maybe it gets promoted to other subscribers that may only usually see the videos but haven't been seeing the streams since they started. Maybe it gets promoted to non-subscribers who like shiny hunting. I don't know. But if you enjoy my suffering, please do. It does help. Thank you. I knocked out at around 6,600, woke up and it's almost 8K. Wild? Yeah, I know. And again, we are only counting Zubats. These are just the Zubat encounters, and we're so close to odds on one Pokemon. Like, that's just crazy to me. No. I'm looking at it. I'm like, is that the Pokemon we want? No. Zubat 8000 will be the shiny. I'm hoping for it. Did he already do silver or no? Silver does not come before gold when they say Pokemon gold and silver, so no. Like, I've never say heard anybody say Pokemon silver and gold, so no. Did Pissrat die? Please no. No, it was a dupes claws encounter. I only heard silver crystal gold. Crystal released after the other two. At least put it in release order. What the fuck? I always heard them I uh, heard people refer to the trilogy of the of the Johto games as GSC. So, I I mean, I don't know. Uh, people are weird. Ad woke me up again, XD. Wall. Come on, five more, four more. Three more. Can I just have the shiny Zubat, please? The worst part is, how do you use RNG Manip? You'd probably be far, far... I don't know what what RNG manipulation does. Like, what am I supposed to manipulate? There's not, like, exact steps. I, I, don't, I don't... People saying, you should just RNG manip. I, I don't... How? How? Send me a step-by-step -step guide on how to fucking do that shit. I don't know. I've been playing Pokemon for 20 years. I still don't know how to do that shit. Uh, because I caught it, Aster. Because I caught it. RNG manips are frame perfect. Well then, like, yeah, that would require, like, emulation for that. Which we're trying to not, you know, use tools that would only be uh, exclusive to that. So, no. That doesn't make any sense, Ludri. Determining your RNG seed. What kind of, like, data is on these games out there that's just, like... Yeah, determine your RNG seed. How? Like, again, like... What? I don't understand. Like, I understand there's, R there's such thing as RNG manipulation in... Um, in like Pokemon speedruns, but that's also why I've never done them myself because I don't know how the fucking shit works. This is your R when you hit your continue or new game, the game generates a random seed. This is your RNG seed. How do I see that? It's basically semi task. You use external tools or timers, hence why I said it would be likely against the spirit because it's a task by then. Yeah, at that point, I may as well just be cheating the shinies in, so no. boob all right gotta step away hope you get the pickle bat soon i hope so as well 
Are you gonna use Crobat at all in this series? At some point, yes. PCs are bad at producing random results, so they are using an algorithm that advances random events periodically, and those algorithms are publicly available. That makes sense. It's just like... I don't know. Who has the time to sit there and figure out all that? Especially for such a hyper-niche specific event. I think Oros or uh, XY would be best for Crobat. Probably, I would assume. <coughs> well, it doesn't matter anymore since we are, since we already figured it out decades ago. What do you mean you figured it out? Like, how did you figure out how to get a specifically a shiny and uh, shiny Zubat in in Dark Cave? Like, how does uh, what what figures that out? I don't get it. I'm willing to bet over half the people who are telling you to RNG manipulate have no idea how to do it themselves. Probably. They're probably just trying to look smart on the internet. I'm willing to admit that I have no fucking clue how that works. I just know of the process, but I'm not going to do it because I really don't know how it works. Yeah, I, I'm, I know of the, like, the process of RNG manipulation is a thing that exists. That is all. Has D.Va come back? No. RNG ma manipping takes all of the challenge out of the game? Yeah. The math that would lead you to knowing when, where, and how was figured out a long time ago. It's not easy, not for me and my old man reflexes, but I've done it before. Like, I, yeah, I don't know what frame, like, I, I, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll look it up tomorrow while I have my day off. If I can figure it out. Sure. Uh, do you watch Lethero? No. I can't do the invisible bow manip in FF12 despite knowing how. RNG manip would end up taking him longer to learn than just continuing what he's doing. Maybe. Well, shiny hunting doesn't really take that much skill, TBH. It's more of just the willingness to grind it out. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... You prefer Zekrom or Reshiram? I, I'm a more of a Zekrom guy. I wouldn't bother with it unless I was doing a series. Well, that's what we're doing here, so... Maybe I should bother with it. And also the mental strength to not run away from your shiny on autopilot. Well, I, I have the... Uh, yeah, I definitely at least have that down. Gonna sleep now. Uh, happy hunt for the next four hours. Thank you, Marcel. Hope you have a good night. <sighs> Come on. Give me the thing. Please. Are you hunting for Dunsparce? No, that would be... Ridiculous. <laughs> Ace is awesome. A guy used it to turn a Gen 1 game in a cartridge that transfers data to make the famous truck move to stre by strength to reveal Mew. How? How do you just put that there? Like, you have to modify the game from an outside source, right? But what if you get 
Dunsparts. I'm not going to get Dunsparts. It's a 1 in 819,200 chance. It's not going to happen. I watched Small Ant SR for Shiny Electro for hours on end and then soft reset on a Shiny. I know. That's because these people get into a, a rhythm for uh, and they are not able to break themselves from it. Me, I, I have enough of like a rhythm to where I can go fast, but I'm not going to run away from the shiny because the shiny is like too apparent. Like there's a bit of a uh, like a, a, a hesitation that I do to just to make sure that that is the normal coloration. And if it is, I run away. If it's not, I, I don't. <laughs> Oh, there's an insane video of a task of arbitrary code execution of yellow, whereby executing code while playing the game, he made it switch between several games and even a video. How? It's a Game Boy Color. Yeah, whatever. What happens if you get another Geodude? I keep going. You can essentially use it to code events into the game using the game itself. Some people just have too much time on their hands. Really? Why? What's the point? Why? Still on the Subat hunts, uh, I see. Yeah. I didn't even realize that Dunsparce was available in this cave. Yes, it is. That's a funny attitude to have while shiny hunting for 12 hours. This doesn't take that much thought. I don't I don't know how coding works. So like especially with a with a video game by playing the video game. How do you code a video game by playing the video game? That just sounds too complicated. Some people have too much time on their hands 54 hours. Well, I imagine that would take a thousands if not tens of thousands of hours to figure out. I would imagine. Like, A, a an exploit that would re be required to, um, to perform Ace. B, the, uh, what actions do what to program a bit of the game that you want to make using that Ace. It just seems like too much. I've seen videos of someone making custom events in RSE. Yeah, that was I'm a Blissey. They made the e-reader cards. They made custom e-reader cards. Which, uh, through arbitrary code execution. Which, I still don't understand what it, How. Like, I understand that how, like, the, car, the cards just work. It's like how the cards just work. Did I count this one? I don't know. It's like how the cards just work, the, the official ones. It's just they figured out how to get it to work. I don't know what, how they got it to work, but it wor if, if the card works, then it works in the game. That's about all I know. It's like, oh, the card is compatible with the game. That's as far as my thought process goes. Basically, overloading the memory values in a game using another cartridge. A lot of the times, they can just find the code string they need and, need, and then backtrack, to it, to, uh, backtrack it to a source game that can do it. Huh. Now, when you know low-level programming, trying to discover that is like solving a puzzle. You already have the pieces. You follow the code clues, and you document the steps. Uh, I mean, I don't have a lick of coding knowledge, so I... <laughs> it's a little bit too complicated for me. I'm a Blissey blows my mind. It's like the Pokemon equivalent to the meaning of life. True. <sighs> it's why the fastest way to speedrun Paper Mario 64 is by running Ace on Ocarina of Time. That's so dumb. Why? I literally made all 151 Pokemon turn into shiny, then traded them to gold with Ace. But those aren't legal Pokemon. You can't get regular wild Pokemon shiny. So they can't go in home, right? But 
but you can trade them to gold. Right. But they still can't go to home. Right. Because they're still technically co uh, considered illegal. Yes, they can. How? What? But you can trade them to gold, right? Yes. That is what you said. But you can't... Surely you can't send illegal Pokemon into Pokemon Bank and then into home. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, but only traded and gift Pokemon and starters and game corner and fishing mons are legal shinies. Right. But it's cool anyway? Okay. So it's useless. Good to know. Unless you could ace your way into getting all of the legitimate shinies, in which case, that's cool. Like, that just helps, like, a, a shiny living dex. Like, I, uh, I guess I would understand that, but just leaving them in gold seems pointless. You can get them marked as legitimate with ace. How do you... But regular wild encounters cannot be shiny. And they're, like, if they're marked as gifts, but are not normally obtainable gifts or, a, like, in-game trades or... or that just doesn't make sense. How? What determines shininess in, shininess in Gen 2? Is it tied to the stats like it is in Gen 4? It's tied to their DV values. I don't understand how it's possible to go over odds. I mean, I understand how. It's just being unlucky. Because, like, the odds are not, like... The game isn't keeping track of 8,192 encounters of each Pokemon, so you're not guaranteed to hit it. I think the, I think the roll just happens every single time you get into a battle, so I'm kind of just doing this as, you know, for fun. With Ace, you can even get a legitimately marked event-exclusive Shiny Mew, which can be traded to home and then to Scarlet and Violet. With Ace, you can craft your train. That just seems... Too complicated. Don't like it. Bank slash home just uses a checksum that doesn't take some things into account. With Ace, you can potentially skip them. Weird. Yeah, it's 1 in 8,192 every time. They don't stack. Exactly. DV, is that Generations 2's IV? Yes. You can literally get the codes on the internet. It's not that bad. But I, I, I don't understand. Sorry, if I don't have, like, a step-by-step -step video guide of something, I'm not going to get it. Uh, if, if you guys want to throw something in my Discord server for after the stream for me to look at, that would be wonderful. Because I just don't know. I just don't get it. Code is, code is useless to someone who doesn't read code, you guys. Now that, that's true. Because I don't know how to read code. I don't have a lick of coding knowledge. That's why when Damo, uh, one of my mods uh, that was in here earlier, offered to help me with like the um, the RNG manipulation for Gen 3, because that's the, that's the set of games he knows best. Um, like I'm literally going to have to be in a call with him to do it, because otherwise I don't, I'm not going to know what the hell I'm doing. You can catch a Pokemon, use Ace to mark it as a legitimate shiny and trade it. Hell, you can even catch shiny Ditto without Ace by manipulating the way the game calculates DVs in Gen 1. Huh. Yo, uh, Sean, how's the stream today? Uh, fine. Just, uh... Uh, getting bogged down by the fact that I have got I'm 95 encounters away from hitting odds on this Zubat and I still don't have it.
Certain Pokemon in Gen 1 can trade to Gen 2 as shiny solely based on DVs, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Your name is Sean? Yes. Do, I, I do like to talk about this stuff because technically I'm still a programming technician. But honestly, the fact that uh, these loopholes and weird things happen is so fun. A machine is as smart as, as who taught it. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I've never had interest in, in the coding things. I've only ever had interest in like... I guess... Uh... I don't know. Maybe it's just that I've had an interest in playing the video games themselves and being a nerd about the history of them. I'm not a hurt. Uh, I don't think I'm too much of a nerd about the technical aspects because that's just... I don't know. I think I'm too dumb for it, really. Not fun, Kevins. What's the odds of finding a shiny? We're getting close to being over odds on this thing. Uh, 1 in 8,192. So we're less than 100 away. Wouldn't the technical aspects be a part of the history of them too? I don't know. Probably. I mean, I, I suppose, but I guess like when you're telling the story of it, Look at, like, a gaming historian video. I think those are pretty good at, like, being digestible about the history of, like, the development of a game, but, like, not being anything to do with the coding of it. Papa, Hefe, and I'm a Blissey have perfect vids about learning RNG manip and ace codes. I don't understand how to read codes, but and I've uh, done a ton of RNG and ace. Yeah, it's really helped with my shiny living decks. Gotcha. I don't know. I just don't know if I... Am I wasting my time? Am I wasting your guys' contributions? Like, I don't know. Just because I don't understand. There's a 10% chance you don't get it for 20k encounters. I better not fucking hit that. If you don't like to nickname Pokemon, why did you do it almost the whole way through this first series? Uh, mostly because people like to yell at me in the comments about it. But then I decided, you know what? I don't give a shit. I, I'm going to do the thing that I want to do, and I don't like nicknames in Pokemon. I think they're stupid. No, I, 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 I'm not watching it right now. I would like to stay remain spoiler-free until the end of the stream. If you do RNG, you remove all unpredictability from the challenges, so it's really not in the spirit. Yeah, exactly. Was 20k not w about what the Rattata was at? Yeah, but we've been... I, I guess maybe... I don't know. I think it's more just the frustration of A, I have a visual now of being at odds, so it's frustrating that I'm getting more unlucky than that. I've also found a shiny, an extra shiny Geodude, which has also hampered my, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, uh, not that it pissed me off at the time, but the fact that it's been so long since the last, uh, last shiny and that being it is like, okay, this is getting to be a little ridiculous. So. <laughs> Hmm. 
And you have a chance of getting a shiny Dunspar. It's frustrating. Shut up. It's not going to happen. Please, bat, please. Yes, please, bat, please. 80 more encounters until odds. What the hell? Would you like to hear a joke? Only if it's good. I hope you have learned to post. But yeah, Joe, uh, that, it was definitely somewhere around the 20 to 25k range for Rattata. Still frustrating, though. Doesn't make it any less frustrating. It's more of a dad joke, if that's okay. Uh, okay. Here's an opinion. I like the colors of Zubat in the GBC games. Then it's color everywhere else. Blue and purple are pretty iconic and cool, but the dark indigo and lavender is such a great palette on it. I guess that's fair. Like this, it's... What's lavender? Is that supposed to... I guess the wings are and the ears are supposed to be purple in the later gens, I guess. But this one is like indigo and lavender, that is true. Calling in the next ten encounters. Nine. Eight. Nine. Six. Seven. Or. Did I just count out of order? Did I just go ten, nine, eight, six, seven? This is six. <laughs> this is five. <laughs> I think my brain's actually as, uh, like, so. Friggin' fried at this point. That's that's funny. <laughs> Four. <sighs> Three. Yeah, I could definitely use that day off tomorrow. Holy shit. Meatball brain meatball brain turned too much. Two. One. And nope. You absolute warrior. I'm trying my best. We're uh, <laughs> getting a little too close for comfort. We're like 63 encounters away from odds. <laughs> After what happened a couple of streams ago, I realized how irritating I've, uh, I've actually been. And am, I'm really sorry about that. My apologies for not recognizing sooner as well. So I wanted to ask first. Well, if the joke is bad, I'm still going to make fun of you. That doesn't change. I'm just praying you've learned to post. Man, but it was worth the number mix-up. Uh, please, please just be in the next 62 encounters. I, I beg to fucking Christ. Like, holy shit. Like, Jesus Christ, his middle name is fu uh, fucking, and he's... Taking a holy shit. Please give me the shiny Zubat. Oh, this is bloody. Uh, this is Bloodlines, not Bloody Tears. It's uh, from Rondo of Blood. I'll get it eventually. It's fine. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Symphony of the Night next or what? The only way this can get better? Um, I think most of the Symphony of the Night songs already happened. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, game. I know you can give it to me. Come on. Come on. 8,139. 
Go on. 53 more encounters. Within 53 encounters. I know you can do it. I know you can do it within 52. Come on. 51. Come on. I ain't backing down. Come on. Give me the goddamn shiny. I don't know how I went down a ledge there, but okay. Yeah, I have, man. Going forward, if anything is corny weird, then I will. I most likely didn't realize that it was. I'm trying. I'm really trying, not trying to be like that anymore. That's fair. But again, I will still make fun of you if your jokes are bad and if you do not have, know how to post. <laughs> that's just a rule for anybody. If you guys don't know how to post, I'm gonna make fun of you. But that. It's, it, it, and it's, it, it's only being done for fun. I'm not doing it maliciously. I'm not trying to be mean. But I do think it's funny when people post things on the internet and they don't think about it before they press the enter button. Are you stopping at odds or are you going to go past it? I'm going to go past it because, like, we're bound to friggin' get it eventually. But, like, are we just wasting our time? Do we just wait until we get Surf and then go for Slowpoke then? Are we just wasting our time? Just to make sure we're as efficient as possible in terms of getting our encounters early so that we can be as safe as possible for two badges? Like, is this even important? Like, have we just wasted two days here? Because if so, I don't want to, like, waste people's contributions and give up on something. Because then we may as well have just not done it. Possible sunk cost fallacy. What? What is the sunk cost fallacy? What? What? What cost? What was the cost? My time? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I hear people say sunk cost fallacy. I'm like, what do you? What does that fucking mean? Because I never remember to look it up, and then I just get pissed off when people say it because I don't know what it means because I keep forgetting to look it up. <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm gambling. But then, I hit my next parlay, and we are so bad. Understandable. Not really. I do not sympathize with that whatsoever. Please do not get a gambling addiction, kids. It's not a waste of time if you start getting sloppy thinking you don't need it. Um, you will regret it if you don't. Uh, if you did need it, right? It doesn't mean anything for anyone who's played OSRS. You are technically as close to a shiny as you were from the very beginning. No, I'm not. Look, I'm almost at odds. If I don't get it soon, then... Well, what the fuck did I do? I'm 31 encounters away from getting it now. Instead of... 8,192 encounters away. That's... I mean, Sunk cost fallacy is just like you've expended so much time and energy into something you feel like you should not leave it, even though it could be beneficial. That's fair. That odds, yet, yeah, uh, yeah, you're not... But you're not guaranteed to get it even when you hit the odds is the point. Sure I am. Look, I'm going to get it in the next 30 encounters. If I don't... Well, no, we're going to. We're going to get it. We're going to get it in the next 29 encounters. Next 29 Zubat encounters, we'll get it. So next 28 Zubat encounters. Next, next 27 Zubat encounters. Next 26 Zubat encounters. We're going to get it, chat. We're gonna get it. Next 25 Zubat encounters. We're going to get the shiny, chat. We're guaranteed to get a shiny when we're counting in individual species uh, for like 8,192 8, increments. Surely we will get it because it's guaranteed. It's 1 in 8,192. 
How could that be wrong? We're at 8,167. We are 25 Pokemon away from being able to get this. Am, am I even doing that right? 25, 87, 92. Yeah, we're 25 away. We're 25 away. It's okay. So we're, we're 24 away. It's fine. We're bound to get in the next 24. I've just had some bad luck. I didn't get it early. I didn't get it late. I got it at the very end. It's okay. We're coming down to the wire. This is great. I'm so excited to be done with this. I'm not going to get another Geodude. If another Geodude pops up, I'm going to freaking lose it. Uh, but we're so close. Look, we're 21 encounters away. This is going to be great. I'm going to feel so good when we catch this shiny Zubat that we're guaranteed to get in 20 encounters. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so great. I am so excited. Woo! <sighs> All right, next 19, baby. We got it in the next 19. We got it in the next 18, baby. Let's go. <laughs> next 17. <laughs> Surely. I understand. I understand how odds work. Next 16. We just got to get it in 16. We're just going to get it in 16. That's okay. That's how odds work. You know, that's how odds work. <laughs> All right, next 15. Next 15. It's okay. It's okay. Next, next 14. Next 14. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, nope, that's a Geodude. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Come on. All right, Geodude. All right, next 13. Next 13 Zubats. Yep. All right, Geodude. Yep. We've encountered plenty of you. I, I, get, get out of my goddamn face, you stone face fuck face. <laughs> that makes sense. No more. We need 12 more. We need 12 more Ge uh, Zubats to get this. All right, 11 more Geodude. Or, that's not a Geodude. That's a Zubat. I'm losing my goddamn mind. We need 10 more Zubats. Come on. Come on. We just need 10 more. 10 more Zubats. 10 more. We are okay. We just need to go through 10 more, and we will get the Zubat. We just need one more, or not one more, nine more. Just one, uh, just, just nine more, just eight more, just eight more Zubats, and then we will hit odds. Uh, we got seven more, and we will hit the one in 8,192 shiny Zubat. We're guaranteed to get it in seven hits. Come on, chat. Let's let's celebrate. We're going to get it in seven hits. We're going to get it in seven more Zubats. Uh, guaranteed six more Zubats. We just have to find them. We just have to get through the next five. And then on the sixth one, it's going to be shiny. We're going to be completely... We're going to swim in riches. We're going to have our dupes class. We're going to go over to Slowpoke well. We're going to be able to finally go after our Slowpoke. It's going to be great. Don't you agree, chat? Don't you agree? I have five more. Just, just four more and then the shiny. Just three more and then the shiny. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. Uh, I, uh, two, two more and then the shiny. Two more and the shiny. All right, one more. One more. I'm so excited. We're going to get it. We're going to get it, chat. One more and then the shiny. Next one's going to be shiny. Next one's going to be shiny. Okay, better not be the Geodude. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, you're fucking with me. All of this effort, and I couldn't get it in odds. And I only counted the encounters of this specific species of Pokemon. My counting was even more strict than other people's counting. I need like two minutes. Give me like two minutes, chat. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take two minutes. I'll come back and we'll be okay. Give me like just two minutes.
You know what? We haven't encountered a shiny in this many encounters. What if we just forgo it, and we use repels to get to Morty? Then if we do that, and we go into Slowpoke well with Surf? If we do that, surely the shiny Slowpoke pops up like immediately, right? Surely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be checked. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, Chad. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, Chad. Everything is going to be fine. Everything's just gonna be just fine. I am just, I am just so, so goddamned motherfucking tired. That stupid, stupid area. I just, I just need, just need to do more stuff. I just need, I just need to go for it. I just need to feel like I did something today. I just need to feel like I, you know, actually did. A goddamn thing today. And today, I'm gonna make sure we're gonna we're gonna deposit our extra geodude, the wasted time. We're gonna grab our our shiny Rattata. We're gonna teach it cut. We're gonna teach it cut. Yeah, we're gonna teach it cut. Once then, we're gonna we're gonna go through Ilex Force. We're gonna we're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the game. Play the game. We're gonna play the game. Everything's okay. I'm gonna grab some. There's no goddamn repels here. Really? There's no repels here. Why? Really? Okay. Well, that's right, Mara Ren, but wait. If we just wait until post Morty, get Surf, and then we get encounter the... I would kill if, like, I would, I would actually, I think I would scream if any of these encounters on Route 32 are shiny. I will... Go insane. Right, we're going to avoid as much grass as possible. I don't want anything here. I just want the slowpoke. I just want the slowpoke later. We're just going to get it after we get surf. And then when we get surf, it'll be okay. Let me grab this just so I don't forget it. I'm just gonna end this poll. I'm gonna pretend like we didn't take the poll. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be just fine. Everything will be a okay. It wouldn't it be funny if we walked through Union Cave and in these encounters we ended up getting the shiny Zubat and we got it here? I would die of laughter I would die of la I would legitimately die of laughter okay Seems like the perfect location for a third shiny Geodude. I would have to agree. Alright. This place has repels. We want those. Uh, what else do we have in our bag? Let's get rid of this X attack. I don't need the white Apricorn. Oh, okay. I'm I'm fine now. I am a okay now. Everything is just dandy. I've already fought the rival. Let us go forward on our adventure. You know, forward the direction we need to go. Forward. You know, we can get cut. That's that's progression. Well, there's a revive. That's beautiful that refunds like three repels isn't there a hidden item here thought there was never mind um 
We're just gonna we're just gonna get this this far fetched. Just gonna just gonna chase it down. Just gonna chase it down. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna get cut from this guy. He's gonna he's gonna give us cut and we're gonna give it to Rattata. Ooh, we have a use for Rattata. You know? It's not gonna be used in battle. It's not gonna be counted as a used Pokemon. Where's the A okay. I guess I skipped over it. I thought Rattata got cut. All right, get him back in the PC, useless fucking rat. Okay. You know what? Everything? What what Pokemon learn cut? God damn it. Uh GSC HM users. Uh Pokemon DB.net. Cut. What learns cut? That isn't my starter. Bellsprout? Yeah, I like Bellsprout. Bellsprout's cool. What's the closest thing I can capture that learns cut? Wow, that's actually really not that many Pokemon in this game that can learn cut. I mean, there's a good few, but like, really? I don't want to go back through Union Cave. <sighs> Starting in Gen 3. I knew it got it. I knew it got cut. But I guess not in this generation. Whoopsie. Okay. Back up we go. Whoopsie daisy. I would have I would have lost my shit if that was a shiny suit. Uh, go back up the road. Oh, it's here. I'll take this. I thought I had to go back to Route 31 for this. I wouldn't have gone all the way up here to get cut. Stay in the ball, you little fuck. Oh my god. If you die to this, you deserve it. <sighs> Everything's fine, chat. I am definitely not close to losing it. Everything is fine, chat. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Real quick, before I forget, let's teach Cut to good old Bellsprout, you know? Now that we have a non-shiny so that we can use it as an HM user, we can now put Cut on our team. Isn't that great? I love using Cut, because you know what that means? You know what it means when we use Cut? Uh, it means we run into this trainer we've successfully dodged like three times. Uh, no, it means that we can move forward. Timer, timer's above 50. It's not above 55. My goal was to go net neutral today. So if you guys are able to help out with the timer, I can, I can, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break uh, kayfabe real quick just so that I can do my whole spiel. You guys remember the, uh, the super chats for every dollar adds a minute to the timer. Every membership adds five. You can either get one for yourself or you can gift some to other viewers. Every of the, every one of those gives five minutes to the timer. 
and exclamation point gamer steps if you end up getting any drinks any of the um any of the noodle or the uh the instant ramen uh either of those uh any of that stuff you can get you can get 10 percent off with my code chaotic meat and uh for every dollar that you spend there you can indeed um get an extra minute on the timer Again, that's for every dollar you spend after that 10% off. Bro, you might want to buy more Pokeballs. I will when I get to Goldenrod. Do we get rid of Mud Slap? I feel like not, right? We can get rid of Growl at least. No, I don't need that. There's an item on the short end. What's the short end? Oh, this part? No. Oh, you mean here? No. Oh, whatever. Now you can get shiny hair across, right? Not one either, there either. Look at that. We made it to Route 34. Boom. Unsubbed because no bat. Boo! 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 Do we need these yet? Can anything we have learn these yet? Geodude can, but Geodude's special is absolute dog ass this is headbutt I don't really see any need to grab another I instance of headbutt alright I'm gonna save here we're gonna check the uh, where is my tab with the stuff there's the tab with the stuff I found it let's go ahead and calculate our uh, day reset thing. Uh, what's our money again? 313. Our password is 849. Let's uh, double save just in case. Damn, you could learn punches from there? Yeah, no, the punches are crazy in Gen 2. No, now, alright, let me, uh, <laughs> let me just uh, not elude you guys to think that I'm, a I'm actually, like, driven crazy right now. Uh, it's I'll break kayfabe for a minute, but um, no, I I am a little peeved that we ended up getting the duplicate Geodude, but really, I should have just kept going forward and gotten Surf. There was really no need to do this. I think I can get past Whitney and Morty without without Slowpoke, or without Slowking. Um, like, there's there's no need to do that. Damn it. That was not the right code. I thought it was 847, it was 849. Oh, we're just gonna do this a few times. We need money. In fact, now that I've dis I've demonstrated the fact that I can do that more than once, uh, let me just give myself infinite copies of um, Return real quick so that we have infinite money. Did you guys know that you can do that, by the way? 
You could just keep resetting on Sunday, keep getting return over and over again, and then just get infinite money by selling them. How much do they sell for? I think either a thousand or fifteen hundred. Did you ever figure out what HP your unknown has? Um, I would normally say exclamation point HP, which uh, they, they did anyway, so there we go. That worked. All right. There we go. Now I have infinite money. I don't know how many of these we need. But now uh, we can we can get uh, stat experience without having to uh, actually waste levels. So let's go ahead and do that. What a cheater! <laughs> Infinite money, but not a shred of piss bat. That's true. Shiny Dunsparce and Dynamax adventures. Are you kidding me? What is the likelihood? That's insane. What happened to getting the Zubat? I um, I kind of got thrown off after I hit odds and didn't get one, but I got a duplicate Geodude. You can use up to 10 of them, but uh, only up to if you have... It's 25,560 or 25,680 stat experience. I don't remember how much exactly. You still planning on getting Pineco? Uh, yes, but only after we hit Ecrotique City. Uh, somebody mentioned that a level uh, that level balls have like a 100% chance of grabbing it, so I don't want to risk explode or I don't want to risk self destruct until we have that in our possession. Golem is happening at what level? As soon as we hit level 25, baby. I I'm not letting anything to chance, especially if I don't have my extra team members. You can do that in uh, in a normal get playthrough, so I may as well. We fighting Whitney now after we do our stat experience, yes. Um, okay. Sell our revive. Uh, we may as well just sell this. Sell this. Uh, sell this. We may as well just get full heals. Um. Oh, they're only 500. I thought they were more than that. Let's get a, as many calciums as we can get away with. Uh, we need more. Oh. Uh, we need more money again. That was a lot of returns. Yeah, you can you can spawn them infinitely by just resetting the timer o the time over and over again. As long as it's still Sunday, as long as you select Sunday on there, you can keep just walking back into the room. They'll keep giving you a copy of uh, of return. So theoretically, we have infinite money, but as just to save time in the stream, uh, I would rather do the do that um, without 
you know, doing the same resetting thing like I would in a, uh, like for the shinies. Uh, this this isn't as fun as the shiny hunting is. That this is just like okay, let's. Uh, this is theoretically possible, but I don't feel like wasting time on it. Back to max money. I don't know how many of these I actually need. Buy like two more. I like one more calcium. All right, can we fit one more in there? And I'll also buy 30 uh, HP ups. Okay, uh, well, shit. Uh, let me grab like two more calciums. I don't know how many it needs. If we establish you can get max money, why don't you give yourself max vitamins? It's faster to just give myself the money in, uh, it, to, and then buy them instead. Okay, we, we were already at full. Capitalism to help refresh in the mental state. Very true. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> Watch all dupes. Shinies will have dragon a hidden power. I didn't check if the the duplicate Geodude had uh, had another hidden power. Did we give up on Zubat? As soon as I hit odds, I hit 8,192 non-shiny Zubats. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give up. I am going to go fight Whit Mitt, Whitney and Morty. I'm going to get access to Surf. When I get access to Surf, we're going to go back to Slowpoke Well, because Slowpoke Well has... Uh, 100% chance of slowpoke while surfing, while only 15% chance of walking around, and I figured we would be wasting time if we do that. There's just a little bit more chance to screw this up by doing this, but uh, I'd rather, you know, I'd, I'd rather just go faster. All right, we don't need any of this shit. Uh, let's just do, uh, make sure we didn't need any of the, uh, the TMs again. Um, well, we already have return. We don't need our, uh, we don't need headbutt. Um, I don't know how many of these we need. I don't feel like coming back here later, so I'll grab three of each. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Oh, it's the vending machines. Oh, uh, the vending machines is actually useful. I believe this is where the trade is. Oh, for the uh, the gold berry. Yeah, I do need to grab myself uh, a drowsy then. Do you think this game is so hard that you need to max your stats to this degree? Genuine question. I've just never one seen someone min max so hard in a children's game. Um, probably not. But I am a wussy, so yes. I could probably stand to update the FAQ. 
But by the end of the stream, I at least want to... Oh, damn it. I did get the fresh water. I was trying to menu as efficiently as possible without grabbing, like, the wrong uh, healing item. All right, how many lemonades did I grab? 39, really? It's real late for me. Good night. Uh, good luck, Meatball. Thank you, Locke. You have a good night. Oh, fun. We're fighting Whitney soonish. Yeah, I gave up on a hunt for a dupes claws Zubat after we had really fucking bad luck. How dare you give yourself the best chance to beat this game without any deaths? Well, I'm... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I... <laughs> I see all of it as fair game. I feel like the other people sometimes don't, but I'm like, okay, so theoretically you can do this an infinite amount of times. Cool, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to just, just put it in the game because I don't feel like doing that. If you can do a an infinite loop, maybe it's just because I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh!, but if you can do a theoretical infinite loop um, and you just say, this is the amount of times I want to do the loop, a, a judge will allow you to just do that and have whatever uh, like life points counters, um, like burn damage, etc. um, for you to do. So when I, when I see that in, um, in like Pokemon, I'm like, okay, I can theoretically do this an infinite amount of times to get infinite money. Okay. Then I'm just going to repeat that loop that many times by using another software to put it in. It makes better content in my opinion. What? Giving myself the best chance to do it without any deaths. If there's going to be any game you could beat with just three mons, it's probably going to be Gen 1. Oh, God damn it! I got the extra... Ah. I only have 68. That's not even the funny number. I was one away from the funny number. There we go. We have funny number. You're what, what do you mean you won't let me telephone loop without actually rolling the D6 every single time? See, I would do that just to go into, uh, to, into time. I would want to go into time and be like, oh, I'm up on life points. I have... 32,800 compared to my opponent's 8,000. What in the blue blazes happened over here? Oh, I activated Telephone 67, 000, uh, 67 times. Uh, oh, bad rolls. Yeah, I rolled a lot of twos and threes. Oh, I feel you. <laughs> I, I feel like nobody in chat understood that except the people that know what uh, Mortronic Telephone is. And they'll be like, oh, that would be... That would be the most funny conversation to hear between a player and a judge ever. Uh, ever. What do you mean you'll do the Gishki loop? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I love... I love Mind Algus. My, Mind Algus, my favorite, my favorite monster. But why is it the funny number? Uh, be... I was going to be vulgar with it, but then I, I remembered, hmm, do I want to get this video limited ads? No, not really. All right, I think we're close to 99 lemonades. Oh, yeah, we accidentally uh, went over on that. That's fine. Um... Okay, we don't need the potions. I just want, like, less uh, items like floating around in my bag it would just be easier to consolidate as much as I can I'm going to deposit the um, the vitamins and probably like two stacks of berries uh, let me get some balls those are not balls let me get some poke balls and great balls and uh... oh wait they don't sell full heals here oh you fuckers I don't know. I may as well. Um, oh, they do sell full heals here. Never mind. It was just at a different clerk. Uh, let's grab that. Um, I wish there were super repels so I would I would be able to stop menuing. Um, but let me just grab this mini. Um, has the bat been caught? No. I gave up because I hit 8,192 non-shiny Zubats. Yay. Uh, what are the game corner prizes in Gen 2? Oh, I need to blow my nose again. Give me like 10 seconds.
Sorry about that. Just had to blow my nose real quick. Uh, so the prizes for the um, game corner are for gold, there's Abra, Ekans, and Dratini. All Gen 1 Mons I don't want to use. Um, Pokemon Crystal has Wobbuffet. I did not remember that. I think we might add Wobbuffet for Crystal. Yeah. Why not we go for Wobbuffet and Crystal? Because we can get five encounters at a time because we can just buy five of them in a row. If we buy five of them in a row, we can churn through them real quick. Yeah, I think we're going to do that for Crystal. Okay, that's good strategy. So we have that. But the only TMs that are available here are Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire Blast, which isn't useful yet. Blizzard will be useful. We can grab that later. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So I guess we just go go into the radio tower and uh, do the quiz. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. I don't know why I remember that specifically. I'm just like, yes, yes, no, yes, no. That's just the order. I don't remember the yes, yes, no, like the, the, uh, the pattern in the Blaine gym, but it's easier to just be able to click faster if you just remember the order. Uh, okay, so we can... Uh, let's go kill Whitney. Uh, how far can I get in here without fighting trainers? We can fight... Oh, we can dodge one. We can dodge two. Shit, we can't dodge that one. That one just popped up. It was just like, boom! Jump scare! <laughs> Snubble jump scare. Headbutt. Alright, let's go for Razor Leaf then, I guess. We'll fight... Oh, uh-oh. Well, actually, no. Razor Leaf is special in this generation. Oh. Why did I miss two 95% accurate moves in a row? You are a poopy head. You're a poopy head. Put unknown up front. Can we dodge you? There's no other trainers. I don't think we can dodge you. We can. Okay. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to do my calculations for my stat experience up to the level cap of level 20. So we will do that real quick. Let me just double save just in case the first one didn't work. I know it probably did, but I'm... Uh, I'm very nervous. All right, so I'm actually going to explain how I do this. I don't really have a good way of showing the visual. Do I have a good way of showing the visual? No, it would be too it would be too many sources. Uh, it would be too many things to add. So I'm going to try to describe this as effectively as I can without showing it just because it's like way too difficult. To try to put everything on screen. Because I have four instances of a calculator and PK Hex open to do this. Um, you know what? Is, any, is this showing anything important? You know what? Actually, it's not. I'm going to be a weenie, and I'm actually going to do this. I already have that. Um. All right, so we're going to put this here. We will do this. We add this.
add a second calculator. I think I have just enough width to do this. Actually, I might know that uh, I have to put this one under the other one. There we go. I'll move this over just a little bit so that there's enough room for all four of them. We'll add another window capture. Do I have another window for... Great, so this is one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna label these real quick. Oh. Uh let me change those. Is that the right calculator? No. How about this one? Why why are they all the same calculator? They're not the same calculator. Can I can I please choose one of the other calculators? There are four calculators open. Any shinies yet? Uh no, not at the moment. We tried searching Zubat so we could get Dupes Claws for, um, for another thing. For, uh, for Slowpoke. But, okay. Actually, I think I figured out a way to do this. Sorry. I just want to be able to show this to you so that you guys know that this is legitimate. Um... We do filters. We'll add a crop pad to it. Do left. Oh, 500? No, 450. Why is it showing Bellsprout? Cut HM user. Twenty, right. Professional streamer, ladies and gentlemen. Trying my best. All right, here's our calculators. All right, so the way we do this. So we view the first Pokemon. So we take the base amount of uh, EXP. We go to 21, which is one level above. So we go 900, uh, 9,261, we subtract 4,111, that's 5150. We divide it by the amount of EXP you gain from knocking out a level 2 Pidgey, which is 15. That is 343.33, we round that down, so we go 343 times 15, that's 5145. We add that to the initial uh, 4111, and that gives us 5 EXP below the level cap. So, because we did uh, 343, we put that in the second calculator. And you see how we have our stat experience here. Uh, just the like for the HP, the attack, the defense. So, what we do is take Pidgey, Pidgey's base stats and we multiply that by 343. So, we take 40 times 343 and then add that for the HP stat. We do 25,767 and that's how much we are going to end up with if we uh, manually trained, but this is the faster way of doing this. Uh, then we do 343 times 45 for attack, 15,435. Add that to 26,845, 42,280, uh, 42, excuse me. That's how much attack uh, we have on unknown, a completely useless stat, but we may as well calc it. Uh, 40 is Pidgey's base defense, so again, that's going to be 13,720. Add that to 26,048. And uh, it's going to be a little bit different because we've knocked out a few other Pokemon that aren't just Pidgey with uh, with Unknown. But they're they're pretty damn similar. And then for Special, uh, Pidgey Special is exclusively 35. Uh, because Special Attack and Defense are linked. This is why they're the same. Uh, but we multiply that by the 343, 12,005. Add that 27,266 we already have. Get 39,271. I never think about this stuff Stuff for my Pokemon stats. I'm glad you do, Meatball, but goddamn, I min-maxed the fuck out of everything. That's just how my brain works. 
Um, and then for speed, the base stat of Pidgey for speed is 56. Multiply that by 343, and then we add that to the 26,189, and we have 45,397. See how it's like 36, but we go 45,397. It goes up to 38. Who knows if those two spe speed points matter, but if they do, we're going to be bet uh, we're going to be pretty freaking happy that we did that. And then we uh, and then for that, that's uh, that's it for unknown. Usually I will check for the move sets of the learn like a learn set for a Pokémon, but because I know unknown doesn't learn anything, I just uh, I just pass that by. Uh, I do need to move this over here. All right, so uh, let's make sure we have Bayleaf Gen 2 Learn Set just so that we don't forget anything. You got a nice brain. Can I have it? Uh, you can rent it. $100 an hour. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bayleaf doesn't learn anything till level 20. So we just uh, so we make sure this is set. We view Bayleaf. And we go, okay, so it starts at 3194. And we go 21. Okay, 64, 58. Uh, then we subtract the 3194, divide that by 15, 217.6, we round that down uh, so that we get uh, 217. Then we add the multiplied by 15 for the amount of EXP that a level 2 Pidgey gives. And we get 6449, we adjust the amount of EXP it has so that it stays under the level cap. What if it's under an hour? Do I have to pay for the whole hour? Uh, preferably, yes. Uh, so because of that, we're, we're, do it. we're just going to put in this one for a reminder, 217. So... And we just do the same process again. 27, 326. We have 36,006. An attack. 28,024. 37,789. 40 times 217. Plus 27,338. 36,018. Then we have special, 35 times 217, add that to 26,840, 34,435, and then lastly speed, 56 times 217, add that to 26,260, 38,412. Oh, Geodude has grass 69 instead of grass 49, would you look at that? So it's like tipping, so it's not required. I was just trying to say it in a nice way. His flat rate is renting his brain. $100 or no go. All right, so that is it for Bayleaf. Uh, I believe we said it right. Yes, we did. Move on to Geodude. 4554. Bring this up to 21. 6458. Subtract 4554. Divide that by 15. 126.93, round that down to 20, 126, multiply that by 15, add the 1890 to the 4554, get 6444, set that to make sure you don't forget, make sure you look at the move set to make sure that Geodude does not learn anything uh, at or below level 20 between the levels that you put in, it doesn't learn anything between levels 18 and 20, so because of that we can move on to our thing, our, our uh, base stats, our stat experience, so we just make sure we write in that 126 to remind ourselves, 126 times 40 plus uh, 27,263, 32,333, then we have 45 times 126, add that to 27,530, 33,200, 40 times 126, add 27,384, 32,000, 424, uh, 35 times 126, add to that to 27,127, 31,537, sounds like someone's doing his taxes over there, honestly, uh, speed 56 times uh, 126, add that 7,056 to 27,859, and ladies and gentlemen, that is the last that we need to do for our three party members and uh just because it's more convenient we can just throw uh bell sprout into the box there we don't have to walk out of the gym and walk back in and there we go that is how you do experience with chaotic meatball or stat experience with chaotic meatball how'd you like that chat did you uh, did you like that uh 
that explanation. Did you like that I showed my work so that you didn't think it was fake? Let me know. So I have a lot of people that accuse me of cheating with that stuff. I don't know why. I, I, I get a couple comments here and there, and it seems like a lot of people, but I figured, you know, if I show them, they won't have anything to complain about. Except for the fact that I'm using, an, uh, uh, you know, the the game, not uh, I'm using something outside of the game, in which case, you're going to complain about something. So, I fell asleep. What happened? Uh, we're at, <laughs> we're here. Let's make sure all this is done. I'm too lazy to grab Drowsy. What if it's a shiny? If it's a shiny, then I'm going to get mad. So, I'm going to just give everybody a berry. I will also wish to complain about something. What's that? All right, let's just fight her. I decided I don't need rollout. I have mud slap. So, in case you're wondering why we didn't grab it. Metronome used headbutt. That's funny. All right, that is a dead Clefairy. Oh, we're not faster. I thought Reflect would block that. Run's dead. No, it's not. See? I told ya. That crit... Usually those crits don't come. Uh, what was the likelihood of it hitting five times in a row and the fifth one being a critical that we would have normally... Or it wasn't a fifth one, it was the fourth one. I don't remember the last time you lost a starter in a, nuz in a Nuzlocke. Me neither. Well, I guess we will need to add the uh, the death counter for the next stream because I don't, I don't have one. Let me just magnitude from here. Magnitude 4. Screw you. Guess the unknown will come in handy now. Yeah. Magnitude 7. Because it's so typical for a crit to happen when you've boosted your defenses. Can I please roll a magnitude 10 so I can end this fight faster, please? Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, I just had to ask for it. I asked for shiny Zubat over and over again, but you couldn't give me that, you stupid game. Poopy head. Oh, yeah, let's learn to self-destruct after Bayleaf died. Yes. If only we kept looking for Picklebat. Honestly, we were not getting saved there. We just got we just got an unlucky crit. Um, could we have swapped a Geodude? Yes. Would Geodude have, like, lived a critical hit? Maybe. But it wouldn't have lived the fifth hit. So, I don't know. Maybe it, uh, it was just a it was just luck of the draw. It's fine. Goodbye. You are more than likely losing something that fight, and if it's the thing that I don't need the most, it's it's definitely Bayleaf. I mean, it could have been unknown. Maybe we should have sacked, but at the same time, it's like, how was I know, uh, supposed to know that the crit was going to come? Shiny Bayleaf, Bayleaf gone, but never forgotten. Hey, at least it's making it to, uh, to Pokemon Home. I can't complain about that. Had to be a miss or something dies. Yeah, basically. 
Or I could have just immediately gone for Geodude, but I wanted Reflect up. Um, eh. What can you do? Goodbye, Bayleaf. You can still use Meganium in, in a future game now. Sun and Moon Island, sca Island scan, anybody? Sun and Moon Island scan? I don't know if those can pop up shiny. Be worth taking a look. Ooh. I can pick Chikorita in our HCSS. Unfortunately, we use Bayleaf, but I, and I have to wait until Meganium, but I can use Meganium in one of the one of those games. Holy moly. Are you going to go for another grass type since Bayleaf died? I don't think I need one. I have Hidden Power Grass on Unknown. I'm okay with that. Oh, you can use the starter in a remake. I know, right? That's crazy. Hidden Power Grass, baby. Will you add another Mon to, uh, to replace uh, the thing? No. Onward and upward. We have Rattata. I don't want to use Rattata in this game. Yeah, I can get away with it. Are you going to try the pseudo -wudo? Uh, I don't want pseudo -wudo. What if Charmander dies before evolving in the gen remakes like Bayleaf here? Then I guess I can use it in, like, something else. Oh, also, I, sorry, Brandon. I forgot to add your uh, your dono to the uh, timer. Thank you again for the 10. Shiny Bayleaf gone, but never forgotten. It's okay. Bayleaf died. It died to a crit fourth hit rollout. So, yeah. We got kind of boned. Um, unknown Geodude. Uh, I guess we just have to get Surf. If we get Surf, we're fine. Uh, which I think we can get past Morty with a level 25 Golem. Surely we can get past Morty with a level 25 Golem. Wait, you can use Meganium in a Gen 2 game and save a starter line in the Gen 4 remakes? But I don't have another Geodude. I don't have another opportunity at a Geodude in a, in, a, in one of the other games in one of Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I just need stuff that can brute force Faulkner at that point. Uh, I need to blow my nose again, sorry. Give me just one moment. Okay. Fan P is a ground type option. That is true. It's a ground type option. It's not a rock type option. All right. Um, let me just double check what these trainers have on on this route. Jodo route thirty five, just so that I don't like die. Again, I think I can get through Morty with with Geodude and in Magnitude. Guess you didn't see Bayleaf's stat. It was a crit fourth hit rollout. Like, she hit four rollouts in a row, and I had already set Reflect up. I was trying to hit, um... I was trying to hit Poison Pat. I think I was trying... No, I tried to hit re Headbutt, thinking that I might outspeed, so that I could perhaps interrupt the chain, but she outsped and crit me, so... I, what is Miltank's base... Uh... Miltank base stats. What is, what is this thing's base speed? A hundred?! What? Why does this thing have base 100 speed? Just by looking at the Pokemon, I wouldn't have guessed that. That's why I thought I could outspeed it. Well, I guess maybe I should... Well, even then, I think the Gold Berry wouldn't have mattered because I would have just gotten killed anyway by that crit. 
What happened to Bayleaf? It dead. It got crit by a fourth hit rollout. All right, let me look at these trainers here. Trainers, Gen 2, Picnicker, uh, Vulpix. Okay, well, I guess I'm... I, well, I, I guess I'm splitting the EXP. Or we just have really good defense with Unknown compared to Vulpix's attack stat, so we can just kill it with this. Lol was reading the chat and found out I was 20, uh, 20 minutes behind. It was like Bay, uh, Bayleaf not dead. No, it wasn't. It wasn't dead before. It dead now. Uh, I can go behind them and then I can fight you. You have Diglett, too bad Diglett. Just don't hit yourself, please. Thank you. Um, please KO with the fourth one. Thank you. Kill this. Thank you. Walk back here. Go back in here. Trainer spots reset. Boom. Nailed it. Paralyze heal. Are you going to uh, update the level cap for Morty? Yeah, let me do that real quick. Cap is 25. Hey, guess what? I can at least update. I can at least update the text. I can't update uh, the additional. I can't put another one there. I have to have. Uh, I have to have that added. But that's fine. Does that mean it may have Meganium is available for Harkold or Soul Silver? Correct. Um, all right, let's loop back around here. I think the TM for Dig is down here. TM for Dig. I think there's something back here. Full heal. Um, I would rather have this over magnitude. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yo, dude, why won't you move? Thank you. Meatball and Ruxin, Soul Link, Le uh, Len. I do want to do a, a Soul Link with Ruxin at some point. I've been meaning to get around to doing one of those. It's. Ow. So, what is the optimal Pokemon for the Odd Egg for you? Uh, Pichu. I've already used Pikachu, but I can use Pichu, then whenever I get a Thunderstone, I can just uh, evolve via Friendship and immediately throw it into Raichu, and it doesn't matter. Alright, uh, 36. What do you have? You have Abra, Abra, Kadabra. Okay. 
Don't forget to grab the level ball, Apricorn. I will go. I'm, I'm going to do both when I go back to, uh, to, um, after Morty. Have anything but Flash? No. Um, Pokemon don't heal by going into the box, do they? Not in this generation. I have to walk by those stupid trainers again. Well, Struggle dealt more damage because, uh, you know, Kadabra's physical defense is ass. Please face a different direction. Thank you. Did you end up getting Slowpoke? I did not. I got impatient, and then I moved on to do Whitney, and Bayleaf died because of it. So, uh, whoopsie. So these are the only two we're rocking right now. Um, okay. Do I have to fight this person to get to... Don't you need the squirt bottle? Didn't I get it? I talked to the person in the... In the thing. Yeah. Oh, of course. No stream tomorrow, correct? Uh, correct. Sorry, I didn't see you had it. You're good. I thought I might have me messed up and didn't grab it myself. You guys said it was on uh, Route 35, right? Where's this tree? Or no, uh, the, the Apricorn was on Route 37. So that's rollout. My my A button stuck. My A button stuck on my controller. I'm not letting that happen. No, no, no. We know what's happening. No, 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 no. No, that's bullshit. Just because my A button stuck on my controller does not mean that is happening. Oh, <laughs> this is happening the way it is. No, no, no. This is what save editors are for. Fuck you. Give me dig back. I was replacing rock throw. There we go. Stupid bitch. I'm already pissed off enough. Rollout was supposed to replace uh, Rock Throw. That's what I was doing, but my A button stuck in my controller. Okay. Guess what, chat? The game is fixed. Look at that. That's what we were doing. Oh, we already have a repel active. Now we don't. Now we do. This video is just going to be Meatball Unhinged. Very true. Okay, I can go. Cool. You may need a... Uh, how did Bayleaf die? Oh. Yeah, I guess I, uh, I guess I do have to add that. Exclamation point Bayleaf.
Boom. Exclamation point bay leaf. Exclamation point Geodude. Geodude's not dead. It better not be dead. Okay, he's up there, so we go around like this. Uh, unknown is healed. We have hidden power. Cool. Uh, I do not want this uh, this pseudo Ludo. I want to save this for Harkold Soul Silver. Flail and dead. Um, I do not. I believe there's a ledge up here. No, there's. Well, I can. I could at least access the red apricorn first. Uh, we can toss this. I don't want it. Hey, different area. Did we get the bat? No. I just decided to scrap the scrap it because like it was taking way too long. And uh, we went, uh, I went exactly to 8,192 encounters with, uh, with non-shiny Zubats. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I am tired of doing this. I am just going to move on. Uh, what does this guy have? About 37. Drowsy. Uh, yeah, unknown stays in front then. Are you counting different forms uh, of different Pokemon? I'm going to do that this uh, this season, yes. Ah. Well, that's not going to do much damage, too. Can I wake up, please? Thank you. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yes, yes, Bill. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. If you evolve Geodude straight into Golem at level 25, you could technically use the other Geodude as a Graveler, no? Yes. But not here. I wouldn't want to use it here. Uh, isn't there a path to get around these guys without uh, going down? Can't I avoid you? No. All right. Am I a high enough level to deal with this? Let's see. All right, Ecrotique Gym. Trainers, Gen 2. This motherfucker has five Ghastlies. You have to go to Burt Tower, don't you? Yeah, but I do need to fight the uh, required trainers in here anyway, don't I? What happened? Death happened. Dig. Dig. I guess I can try Mud Slap, see what happens. Oh, it KOs, cool. Mud Slap. Curse. Alright, well, we're swapping, I guess. In power. Could you stop? Thank you.
I believe there's a way to get around these trainers. They're not required, right? <clears throat> I always thought they were required. Ha ha. That one's not. Does anybody actually have an image of what spots on this map can be walked on? They have the path of fight all the trainers. No, I don't want to do that. I want to skip them. I want my stat experience. Thank you. Really? Who is your surfer? Whatever the first water type I run, in, run into is. Okay. Well, I can't walk that way. Should have turned off speed up. Alright, I don't feel comfortable uh, not going into Burn Tower and fighting uh, fighting the Fuckler first. Guess that second... It was skippable! I just ran into it! Fuck you! Oh yeah, we still completely kill this with exactly Geodude. All we have to do is um, give it a PRZ Cure Berry. Where's my PRZ Cure Berries? I don't feel like going back. Chad, I'm putting them into the game. I don't feel like going back. I know they're accessible because we used one for uh, for the guy for him on the last fight. Um, well, I didn't get Slowpoke yet because uh, Zubat was being a weenie and Bayleaf died because I was being too impatient, probably. Uh, okay. PRZ Curaberry. Did I say Confusion? No, I was about to say what? Uh, okay. Alright, let me slow this down for just the video's sake. We dig here. Not a good time. Not a good time at all. Not really good at all. Really, really not good that you decided to do that on tur turn fucking one. I know this isn't going to do much damage, but I may as well. Sonic Boom. Please don't do anything stupid. Use Thundershock. That was not the move I asked for. Okay, we outspeed. speed. 
I just needed to divert some of the EXP here. Right. Kill in one shot, please. Thank you. And dead. I just realized, are you able to do trade evos? Yes. This is what I get for being a stubborn a stubborn person who wants to, you know, move. Just keep like, get get stuff going. Move like get. Are you sure? I, I I thought I had to do this place. Well, did I not have to do that fight at all? I really not have to do that fight at all. If not, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. Did I not have to do that fight? But if you've beaten Morty already, you'll know how to deal with it. They're poopy head. Poopy heads, all of them. Damn it. Uh, is there any way to get around you? Do I have to? I walk that way? No. Okay, fine. I'll fight you. Alright, what do you have? One level 22 haunter? That's fine. Of course, we have exactly 66 HP, so I can't just survive two or three of these. Oh, I can survive three of these. Fuck it. This should kill. And the last one has Ghastly, Haunter, Ghastly. All right, let me heal. God, I really would like to have the EXP share by now. Only for the legendary dogs in this gen, uh, I believe HDSS is mandatory. Yeah, it is mandatory in that game. What's the plan if another death? Well, if the death happens, it's going to be unknown, but probably not. Uh, we have the PRZ Cure Barry on here. Yeah. Really? Come on, dude. 10%? Isn't Lick 10%? Fuck off, dude. Just let me play the game. You think Golem can tank a Shadow Ball from Gengar? Hey, guess what? Ghost is special, or Ghost is physical in this gem. Dig. Stop using curse. Oh, that's mighty useless. Awesome. I agree. All right. Uh, swap out so that I can get out of curse. I'm so sorry you're having a bad time, Epal. I hope luck goes your way. Me too. Because I just... 
I'm just trying to make some goddamn progress, and today, the game is just not liking me do that. Been feeling that let me play the game against the Elite, Elite Four in Crystal the past few days. 10%! L Lick is a 30% chance. Okay. Well, it's a thir apparently it's a 30% chance not to, because it keeps fucking happening. It's like, it's like static. It's a 30% not to paralyze. Okay. Finally. Finally. Are you willing to just add that to your inventory or need to, to, um... I can't read it. Uh, or do you need to prove that you can get it before at once before adding? Um, usually I do that. But I don't want it. I don't want a gold berry here. I want, um... Let me, let me see. Lick, spite, mean look, curse, hypnosis. I want an S. Uh, I want a sleep cure berry. Is there an SLP cure berry? Or is there something else? Or is it mint berry? Where the hell can I get mint berries? Pewter City Route 39. Don't have enough EXP to get there. They will simply not hit hypnosis. It will simply not hit hypnosis. All right, Chad. I'm going to complete my uh, in-game. Uh, I'm going I'm to complete my trade evolution real quick for uh, Hypno. Give me just one, or not Hypno for uh, Golem. Why did I say Hypno? Because I read Hypno in the chat. That's why. I'm going to complete my in, uh, my trade for Golem real quick, and we will be just fine. We will complete our trade for Golem, and we'll be just fine. We just fine. Are you taking off uh, tomorrow? Yes. I'm doing three days on, one day off. Tomorrow is my day off. I fucking need it. Yes, Hussein, I am. Because I'm evil. Mostly because I don't feel like trying to trade with myself. Boom, there's the game. All right, let me let me grab a Let me grab a picture of Golem for the layout so we can replace Geo dude. Boom. Let me uh, adjust its size here. We have exactly one good Pokémon. Exactly one. Okie dokie. Look at that. It's Golem. He's right there. He's, a, he's ready. He's not going to get killed. 
Mintberry is on. I know Mintberry is on Route 39. I do not have enough EXP to get to Route 39. Do you want me to try proving it to you? I will save the game, and I will try to get over there. But I'm probably not going to be able to get over there. If I overlevel, I will, I will reset. But I just want to prove. Okay, there's a trainer there. See, I don't. Can I go this way? Is this way safe? This is Route 37, right? So, okay, thank you for not fighting me, Jesus Christ. How do I get that one? I have to fight him. This is 38. I don't have to do this. What are you guys talking about orb? What orb? Okay, never mind. I'm just ignorant. Now, can I get back up there without EXP? Yeah. Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to... Why are you guys saying orb? Golem is not an orb, if that is what you're saying. No. I don't think it's funny. All right, I am going to bring everybody to level 25 real quick, and then we will do the gym, and we will not get killed. Exclamation point, Bayleaf. Defense is 40 times 93 and 32,965, 36,685, specials 35, multiply that by 93, add that to 327, uh, 45, 36,000 exactly, that's funny. Hello Arlen, welcome to the stream, hope you're doing well. Give me just a moment, we're going to get into our next gym battle. So I will be there just a moment. I am just making sure my Pokemon are all ready. 5,968. Alright, 41,176. And then, unknown, it's level 23, so at least it has flexibility. 13,778. Subtract that from 70, uh, 17,576. Uh, uh, 3,798. Divide that by 15. 253.2. Round that down. 253 times 15. Add 3,795. Yep, yep, yep.
The decent thing is that you can save Graveler and Golem for later. Well, I can save Graveler. I can't save Golem. But yeah. No, I get the point. It's kind of convenient, I will say. 45 times 253. Add that to 42,937. I hate that uh, Unknown is already close to maxing out on stat experience. Yet, like, Golem's only a, uh, a little over halfway. And I'm just like, ugh. I just need Surf. I just I just need to conserve my Pokemon enough for, like, later games. I feel like I'm walking into a death trap. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just doing this out of frustration or if I'm doing this because I just want to get to Slowking. Because I feel like if we can get Slowking, things will get rolling again. We get that. And then we can go get Fortress shortly after we can go get... Um, well, those would be the two that I want to add. Um, we can probably add, like, a Sunkern. I don't think I planned on using Sunflora anywhere if we want just a replacement grass type. He's pretty red. What do you mean, who's pretty red? Am I red? I feel hot. Might just be the camera. Uh, and then I gotta do 35 times 253. Add that to 40,232. 49,087. Then to 56 times 253. In case you're curious, Meatball crit goes through reflect if the attack of the target's defense is greater than the user's attack stat. So in that case, Bayleaf had more defense than Miltank's attack stat. Only in Gen 2. Really. Insane. Absolutely unhinged. Alright, and uh, yeah, Unknown's speed uh, is like almost maxed out. It's like 5,000 points away from being maxed out. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Let's try to get another gym badge. I think another solid Pokemon is needed to beat Morty. I, the solid Pokemon is Slowking. Which is 8515. I need to surf outside of battle to get it. I need to conserve Pokemon for the future games. That is the problem. I can't sacrifice more Pokemon in early games that are easy. Let me just make sure my power points are healed. We fought this woman already, right? Gonna put you here just in case. Yes, we did. Okay, I just about had a freaking heart attack. Um, you are holding the mint berry. Okay. We should be fine. We have dig. And even then, you know what would have been kind of better? If we had just gone in here, like, pre-poisoned, maybe? I don't know. Alright, Ghastly should die from Mud Slap. Yep. Yo, what's good, R9? How are you doing? Indeed, banger song. Gengar? Dig? What did I tell you, chat? We didn't need to grab that. I bet you if we didn't grab it, though, it would have hit. We'll just dig again. Oh, 
Harden. Oh boy, I'm going to replace Defense Curl for Harden. Let me just dig again. I did not realize that Golem was going to outspeed these Haunters. Or the Gengar. Well, I didn't uh, outspeed the Gengar, but we dodged the, uh, the Hypnosis. Okay, well, what's the next level cap? 30? That's pretty good. Now I can use Surf Outside of Battle Chat. Now we can stop wasting our time on Zubat and go get the 100% Slowpoke. Uh, it is dead, R9. It died to uh, exclamation point bait leaf. It sucked. Zubat didn't work out? No. Do I have to fight all f uh, all five of them? I thought there was a rocket grunt in here, but I got right. That's HGSS. Yeah, let's let's just kill them all. Uh, we are not getting through this one fast. Roll out. Never mind. Dig. Watch you get the shiny Zubat while trying to get Slowpoke, but that's the thing. While surfing, Slowpoke is 100% encounter. Thanks, Mom. Why did this, all this stuff go down when I was at supper with my mom? Because I got irritated. <laughs> that is the only reason everything just started going out of control. But we are back in control. We're going to grab... Our copy of Surf. Once we get that, we can grab. We can start hunting for Slowpoke. Once we get that, uh, well, I'm only going to be streaming for another hour and twenty. So, speaking of which, chat. I would really appreciate the help if you could help us get the timer back up north of 55 hours, so we can go net neutral today. We've lost about three hours today. Uh, which is fine. That's great. Like, for a 12-hour stream, we've only lost three hours. But, I, again, I really do want to make sure we make it through to finish the Gold Silver Crystal video. In before first time. I'm using a repel as I walk in there, Shiny Wabafat. I'm not letting it happen. You guys are... 10% chance of getting slow, bro. 10% chance of getting slow, bro. Not if you surf on the first level. Slow poke. Well... I believe it's a 100% encounter on the first floor. Pokemon, Gen 2, surfing, levels 10 through 24, 100%, yes. Swervel, thank you so much for the, uh, what, what is that? That is a membership. I'm, I'm, I'm flustered right now. Thank you. I will add five minutes to the timer. And chat, uh, again, we have about an hour and 20 minutes of stream. So... If we can add four hours to the timer by the end of this, uh, we would we would end around net neutral, which is not bad. Because we have an hour and 20, which would bring us down to 51 hours. If we can bring it up for, uh, that would be great. Does your surfing mod need to be shiny? No, it just needs to be an HM slave. Wabafat, thank you for the, uh, the membership. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of those. That's another five... Minutes on the timer, I very much appreciate. And I can kill you. And chat, in case you any of you guys are new around here, um, if you're wondering how to increase that timer, memberships do it by five minutes. You can both get yourself a membership. Not only that, you can uh, gift memberships to other viewers. Every uh, every membership is five minutes. Uh, you could also use Super Chats. Every minute in a Super Chat is going to be uh, an additional minute on the timer. And exclamation point gamer subs. Every uh, dollar that you spend over there using my discount code chaoticmeat when you use that link 
is going to be added in the form of minutes. So every dollar equals every minute, assuming you buy the drink mix or uh, any of the uh, the gamer soups. So the drink mix like this, the, uh, the instant ramen like this. Uh, if you don't mind me pestering, if the timer ends, do you just stop playing? I'm a bit new, newer to the lives, uh, have mainly watched the vids. Yes, mostly. Uh, the reason we're doing it like this is because I'm sacrificing every single other video that I'm making right now uh, to do this series. What's your favorite drink flavor? I am partial to both Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, which is like uh, kind of like a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, and uh, Brand Risk, which is kind of like a peach. Uh, it's like a really good peach flavor. All right, now that we have Surf... Where do we go to get a Surf Pokemon? Yep, that, that is Pay Money Wubby's flavor, indeed. Uh, what do we want to get for a Surf Pokemon? Uh, I'm not going to Olivine City to grab the good rod, I don't think. Yeah, uh, Slowbro is second floor. Yeah. Poliwagger Goldeen. Um, I could just do Wooper on Route 32 at night. That seems easier because I am go. I have to go all the way back there. Let me check Johto Route 33. Goldeen? Johto Route 33 does not provide what we want. Where's uh, Totodile when you need him? You know what? I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know suck it up and go back to Route 32. That's fine. Does not bother me. You know why? Because I can just go this way. I forgot. We can go this way. That makes things much easier. Slowbro could be an option later on, and maybe Crystal. I want to save more water types for the... Uh, yeah, it's very close. I forgot that this was a thing. Uh, what's my money looking like? A lot. Uh, 401123. Password is 1054. Uh, save. Are you going to watch WrestleMania? I am going to watch both nights tomorrow, yes. 1054... Uh, I have, like, plenty of great balls. Watching it now don't, won't spoil. Thank you. Easy. Good. Give this surf. It's the silly little guy. That's that's his type of... That should be his um, his type in uh, Pokemon Too Many Types. Wooper should be silly little guy's type. What's for the uh, what's the password? What's the password for in this game? Let's say game. Uh, so the password just resets the um, resets the to uh, the the clock. Uh, there's a Pokemon Gold and Silver Time Changer. When you hold down down select and B, you can just. Uh, Depending on what your name, uh, ID, uh, your trainer ID, and current money are, you can change the time. Uh, there's just a code a calculator that exists online. All right, so we can go... I'm going to go this way because it's just going to be faster to get to Slowpoke well this way. Um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, you're not going to use it? It's just a Surf Mon? That's a different story. Yeah. Well, it's not shiny. So I couldn't use it anyway. But uh, yes, I am using it for uh, surf. Yo, Swervel, thank you so much for the gifted membership. If you dodged it, type dodged in chat. It's as simple as that. I very much appreciate that. 
getting closer and closer to try and to hit that uh that 55 even mark again if we can keep this timer going as long as we can finish the gold silver crystal video as long as we can finish that one we can get that video out we can put in the beginning of that video that we're doing these streams so that the people that watch the videos that aren't necessarily getting the live streams recommended to them will see it and then we can keep churning out like the red uh, ruby sapphire emerald fire leaf green diamond pearl platinum heart gold soul silver etc 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 okay so I guess I do have to go uh, up and down on this one Meatball, so you're not getting Pineco. Uh, I want to get Pineco, yes, but uh, I need to also give the red, uh, red apric uh, what are what are they called? Apricorns, right? Um, uh, held items, slowpoke. So these guys have a two percent chance of getting King's Rock. Do I have any Pokemon that can learn Thief? Catch them all? No, I will put one in my uh, in my bag instead of having to waste time doing that. No thanks. Uh, do I, do either Golem? Well, Go I know I know Unknown doesn't get Thief. Uh, does Golem get Thief? Is Thief even in this game? You know what? Let's not even worry about it right now. For now, it's time to restart the counter, folks. I'm just going to keep it wide because it's funnier that way. Thief is in the rocket hideout, then we can't get there. So, yeah, we would have to capture them. But because I'm lazy, I'm just going to put one in my bag instead of wasting time. Is that a four? Is there an easier way, easier place in this, uh, this area to surf back and forth left to right so that my freaking d-pad doesn't kill itself no this is the only place i can do it great bayleaf would have definitely lived if it was it wasn't for crit yeah and catch a shiny one holding a king's rock true I'm not pressing right. I'm not pressing left. I'm pressing up and down. This is why I don't do up and down. Oh. What if I disable on the thumbstick left and right, but use the D-pad to do the menuing? Oh, that's, that's pretty smart. I'm a smart feller. Occasionally. Sometimes I'm really freaking stupid. All right, does this work? Why are they doing left and right? No, I just said don't do left and right. Only do up and down. Because if I could do it like that, then I won't move bla like back and forth all the time. I could just move the stupid stick. Controllers. Clear analog. I'm going to mash the fuck out of this button. Apply. 
clear analog, apply, clear analog, apply, refresh, clear analog, apply. Okay, clearly that should have done it. Up, skip right, down, skip left. Okay. Oh my god, why does the stick do le still left and right? God fucking damn it. I'm gonna lose it. Damn it. Do I really have to hold it sideways like this? Do I really have to hold it like this to get the controller to work properly? That one's 13. I don't know about you, man, but but I don't think that thing will make a sweet send anymore. What sweet send? I, I, I'm confused. Controller config is very finicky. I, uh, I think it's because operating system is recognizing your controller. That would make sense. Yo, TXM, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. If you guys manage to dodge it, type dodge in chat. It is simple as that. Let me go ahead and add 25 minutes to the timer. And back to game. Can you use Graveler in another game? Yes. I did not use Graveler in battle. I immediately evolved it into the trade evolution for Golem. So, yes. God, I wish I could move left and right. I just want to move left and right. I hate having to adjust the controller over and over again to be able to hit the space bar, clear through the uh, the dialogue, run away, hit space bar, do it again, I'll go up and down because I have to do it with my thumbs or else I hit uh, left and right. It's a pain in my bum. So I'm an hour behind catching up to everything after giving up on Zubat. Swervel, thank you so much for the five dollars. Can you maybe remap left and right to temporarily be up and down? I might be able to remap like L and R to be up and down. That might work. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and add that to the timer. Thank you again. I appreciate it. And folks, our goal today is to uh, get this timer up to... Uh, 55 hours by the end of the day. We're currently sitting at a almost 53 hours, and we're ending in about uh, an hour and five minutes. If we can get there, I would really appreciate it. Uh, settings. Controllers. Up. Uh, L. Okay. Down R. Up L. Down R. I'm going to have to get used to this. Oh, down... Oh, the D-pad still works. Oh, my God. That works. That works. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will never, never have a problem again. Did we lose Bayleaf? Yes, but who cares? <laughs> I can go up and down. While using the L and R buttons, I can never touch left and right again. <laughs> Did that count? I don't know. I think I missed. Technically, doesn't this make uh, Meganium available later uh, in a later gen? Correct. Zubat, I gave up. <laughs> 
Chat, how many slow pokes before he goes crazy? Who knows? Yo, TXM, thank you again for the 10 gifties. Again, if you dodged it, type dodged in chat. It's as simple as that. I don't make the rules. I just, uh, I just enforce them. Thank you very much, though. I really do appreciate it. Chad, if we get like another two and a half hours on the clock, I think we are perfect for net neutral of um, on uh, 55 hours by the end of the day, which is awesome. Thank you again, by the way. I really appreciate that, TXM. Oh, this is harder because I have to use my index finger to use the R button, so I can't use my index finger to hit the space bar. So I gotta use, like... What can I use here to do that? Can I, like... Can I get this... Oh. No, it's... I don't have enough, uh... Enough, uh, keyboard cord <laughs> to, uh, use my... Use, like, a toe. Unfortunate. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Shigeki. I was just like, can I do it with my toe? Would that work? Um, I'm just gonna have to, like, switch it back and forth. Oh, I found, I found the rhythm. I found the rhythm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I found the rhythm. Let's do it. Perfect. Get your cat to bap the right bumper. I don't have a cat. I'm allergic to cats and dogs. I tried to dodge, but I was sniped. Oof. Up downs shall never be a menace from this day forth. Thank you, thank you, Swervel, for the idea, though. That was that was really good. And I can still use up and down on the D-pad. That's the thing. Like, I can still operate the fight menu as fast as possible, but uh, the overworld just as fast. Like, that, I did not realize this. Which is awesome. I'm, like, super stoked. Not to mention, again, we have had... We went through over, like, 10,000 plus encounters, at least, trying to get a shiny Zubat for Dupes Claws in here, specifically for Slowpoke on the ground. But now that we have Surf, we have it at 100%. We're bound to get this Slowpoke pretty quickly. Uh, even if it's, like, in odds still, that's, like... Not terrible. I think we can get this up to uh, probably about, you know, 500 today. You say that, but at the... S yes, but we went like 10,000 plus encounters without getting one. And I 10,000 is a very, very like low number in comparison to what it probably was uh, when you're totaling together the Geodudes, the Dunsparces, and the 8,192 um, Zubats in there. I don't remember when we got to the shiny Geodude, uh, I don't, do you guys have, like, the timestamp? Somebody has the timestamp. If you do, if you want to check the last VOD, if you want to tell me what number the Zubats were at, uh, when you, uh, when I encountered that duplicate shiny Geodude, that'd be great. So that we can kind of get a good rough estimate. I should write a code that auto-detects Slowpoke on the screen and adds an encounter number. Or just... You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe like something that you could like put in the sprite for, uh, if it detects the uh, that in the and got away safely, like to, if it reads that, or a wild or wild blank appeared, something like that. That would be cool. Cause the the software that I tried using just didn't work. Ducky Badger, it's very easy to modify a Nintendo 3DS. It's called transferring the save to that. It's not like the save's bad. You didn't update your Pokemon. God damn it. Pokemon used, like, well, Graveler isn't in that number, uh, however, it is Golem. 
again, the, thankfully this layout is exclusively for stream. We are going to have this fixed in the final video in case you're worried about it. There we go. Look at that. I'm just genius. No, we cave up on the bat. Yes, but we got Surf because we beat two more gym badges. We got two more gym badges. So now that I have Surf, I don't need the bat because now Slowpoke is a 100% encounter. I will get it. It's as if we already got the Zubat, but we lost the Bayleaf, which kind of sucks. But, you know, I don't really care. You're a professional at this stuff? I, you, uh, I, I'd like to say that I'm at least pretty good at it, but... I don't know. I definitely got I get definitely got pretty angry today, which uh, I do need to make sure I control a little bit better. But um, I don't know. I was just mad that I wasn't making any progress. I feel like we're six streams in, and I should be like halfway done with the game by now. Anyway, chat. Um, we need to add. What is it? two hours and 27 minutes uh, onto the timer by the end of the stream so that we can end with a net or a, a just a net neutral at 55 hours uh, if you guys uh, have your ability to um, if you're uh, what, what's the, what's the phrasing I'm looking for here I don't know what I'm trying to look for if you are financially stable enough to where you can contribute to the stream and make sure this uh, and help make sure this series happens, feel free to leave a super chat. Every dollar adds a minute to the timer. Every membership adds five minutes. Either you can get one for yourself or you can give some to other viewers if you are so if you so fancy. And uh, of course, the ten percent off my gamer subs using or uh, not my gamer subs, but you. 10% off using my code on gamersups.gg, which you can use exclamation point gamersups to find. And, uh, yeah. Uh, for, for every dollar that you spend on there, you will get an extra minute on the timer. Holy guacamole, shiny Wobbuffet. Thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. If you managed to dodge that, then damn, you're really good at it. <laughs> Type dodged in chat. It's simple as that. So that is 5 times 20 is... 100. So that goes to 608. Woo. How are you playing with, like, Wavebird? I got a USB controller. It's working just fine. Thank you again, though. Wow. Very generous of you. Where's the game? I'm trying to find it. What was the one death? Bayleaf. Dodged? TXM, you gifted some, yet you didn't get one for yourself? Uh, I appreciate the generosity, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. Very funny. I love when viewers are gung-ho about being like, I want to give uh, give memberships to other people that might not be able to afford it, but didn't do, don't buy one for themselves. It's like um, you, you forgot the person who's spending the money. I'm a madman. <laughs> well, I do appreciate your your generosity. Hey, I came now. Bayleaf die. Yeah. If you're not financially capable, go ahead and like, follow the stream. Well, like the stream. Uh, subscribe. It's free. Helps out the helps out our boy. Thank you, Jesse Robinson, for the uh, the additional shill. Very good, folks. We are actually very close to 700 likes. Can we hit over 750 likes by the end of the stream? We're at 674. We got 257 people here. I'm not sure if anybody has ch double checked to make sure they have liked the stream. Uh, go ahead, scroll down, tab over. It'd be uh, a big help. Again, we did not manage to break a thousand, mostly because I kind of forgot to. Uh, Drive the point home because through the uh, through the twelve hours that we were live today, but you know, I got you. Just came in. Welcome in, Ben.
I have confirmed I liked the stream last time I was here. Well, thank you, Orchid Braid. 675? Or at 683? Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I haven't liked it yet. Say orb and I will. Orbs, 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 orbs. There you go. I sold out for your like. What is song? Departure from Mega Man Zero Two Acoustic Version by At The Acoustics. I forgore, but thanks for telling again. No problem, Okyo. I could totally give a Twitch Prime sub if it'll count towards the time. Over on Twitch? Uh, if I open that can of worms, I'm going to have to check over there, and I don't think that's a good idea. I do appreciate it, though. MBT flashbacks, goddammit. I swear to God, not everything I do is supposed to imitate him. I'm not trying to be a MBT Jr. I don't mean to do it. It's just some of his stuff is funny. Wow, if we really encountered 132 of them, that's fast. I guess uh, I guess it helps when it's 100%, uh, you know, encounter rate. But I guess if I did this for Rattata, we would have uh, known how many we would have gotten. He's the only... Uh, no, no, it's funny. He's the only yu tuber I watch, so it's nice having that familiar comedy. I just don't want to be like a carbon copy, you know? I like him, but I also... I want to be my own person. <laughs> also, his humor is really funny. I think there's also not much crossover between our audiences. So sometimes I can get away with, like, borrowing bits from him and it work. But uh, I don't want to, like hinge my career off of borrowing bits from another creator that just isn't right slow king will carry us to victory yes yes it will we will surely make it there oh damn we are over um 55 hours already folks if we can get like 52 more minutes on the timer 52 more minutes on the timer would put us net neutral I will continue to tell people to like the hell out of this stream. Thank you, Tay Man. I appreciate it. Summer. Whoops, that's a slip. What? I don't get it. What ca what counter do you use to count your encounters? Uh, it seems very useful. I'm using codepen.io slash Marilla Police. I, I will just link it. This is what I'm using. I just looked up something that I could click down the space bar and it would uh, it would hit the thing. Michael Tam, thank you for the 10 buckaroonies. I very much appreciate it. Let's go ahead and add that to the timer. I do eventually want to get to the point where we're not just going net neutral, but we're going net positive in terms of time. Uh, let me bring this back up. But, again, I, I don't want to be, like, super duper crazy about it. But I do, um, I do think that if we can keep uh, the timer as high as possible. As long as, again, as long as we get through Gold, Silver, Crystal. As long as I get the chance to be able to put this at the beginning of the Gold, Silver, Crystal video and people realize, oh god, he really wasn't kidding about this being an April Fool's thing. Or, then we could probably keep the timer rolling for the rest of the series. But, the, uh, I feel like the Gold, Silver, Crystal crew has, uh, the heaviest load in terms of, uh, you know, trying to carry carry this series uh, and make, keep it alive, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want it to put on it. Uh, I don't want to put that pressure on a smaller amount of people when there's clearly a bigger amount of people uh, that are available from my channel that would probably be interested in this series. But again, because I had to put it at the end of the red, blue, yellow video, uh, because you know I didn't really have this hyped out, hyped up, or anything in a previous video. Um, I felt like it wouldn't have been right to be like, all right, if you want me to do this series, pay me money. Here's the first episode of this series. Like, I don't know. I felt like it was right to uh, put that at the end. 
Are you going to play remakes? Yes, remakes are included. The state of Maryland just reminds me of Maryland. Uh, oh, Maryland, the, the nostalgia, the, yes, the, uh, the Let's Player, the Pokemon guy. You know, he used to be a Pokemon judge uh, for the trading card, uh, not the trading card game. I think it was just the video game. But um, I met him because he was judging the Nationals event that I attended in 2011. So it was really cool to uh, meet him. I haven't met him since, which is kind of wild. Uh, but still, the fact that, uh, you know, eventually that kid managed to start doing content for himself is pretty cool. I used to live in Maryland, but somehow never ran into MBT, but my friend would run into him at Token quite often. That's funny. All right, we're just looking for a pur purple slowpoke. <clears throat> a purple slowpoke. Are you doing Colosseum and Gale, and Dar uh, Gale of Darkness this time around? I'm still debating on it. I'm going to get through Gen th 2 first, and if, uh, I will make my decision by the end of Gen 2. Um, just the way that shiny hunting works in that game seems iffy. If there's a way to like man uh, manipulate it, maybe. Uh, but at the same time, I if it takes too long for me to learn how to do it, it's just not worth making the video. Uh, I would rather just do Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Are you going for Slowbro or Slowking and why? I'm going for Slowking because Slowpoke in the wild has a 2% chance of holding a King's Rock. So as soon as I capture it, I can evolve it immediately. Um, that's why I wanted to get it pre-Whitney because I knew I could have an instant Slowking before I even fought her. But because I got impatient and I was like, I'd rather just hinge on the 100% chance of getting it in the water. I waited until after Morty and because of that I ended up sacrificing Bayleaf, which is very unfortunate. Been away for a few hours. Did we catch Dupe Bat or one in a million Dunsparce? We didn't catch either. I decided to go forward. Bayleaf died um, to Whitney. We made it through Morty with, uh, with the solo Golem Sweep as expected. But um, now that we have Surf outside of battle, I can at least get my shiny uh, Slowpoke. What are the odds for a Slowpoke holding a King's Rock? Uh, 2%. But because we're running into more than our fair share, I'm just going to put one in the inventory. Because it does not matter. I'd rather not have to waste time over and over catching them. And I don't have Thief. I know, I mean, it says it says it's available on uh on Bulbapedia and on Cerebi, so I'm not I'm not gonna bother. It's just easier to do it like this. For me the challenge of the thing is is the actual shiny hunting and the battles. Any like item collection and like arduous shit that I have to do that isn't shiny hunting, I usually will bypass. Uh grinding, uh you know, uh money generation, all of that stuff I will just do through um through PK Hex because it's it just makes making videos much more efficient but uh, for this of course I think the shiny hunting is a very integral part of the video I can't like not do it like I can't just be like ah yes I'm using a shiny one of this and not hunt it and just like change it in PK Hex to be shiny like that would be that's just like killing the spirit of the idea of, of doing shiny only That extra one to two seconds of Thief genuinely adds up. Yeah, that's true. Plus, we can't even get Thief. We would have to continuously catch them, which is the problem. We can't get Thief until the rocket hideout. So, which I think they said it was the uh, the radio tower. So we can't even get in there until like after the sixth badge or seventh badge. So there's no point. You have a team in mind for gold? Well, the team was supposed to be Meganium, Golem, uh, Unknown, uh, Fortress, uh, Slowking, and Ho-Oh. But Meganium is no longer part of that plan. Uh, hopefully you get the increased odds shiny baby Pokemon in Crystal. I do too. Uh, again, I'm really hoping for Pichu there. I feel like I can get it, but we will see. Uh, 
up. Do, 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 do. Uh, run away. I'm like looking that. I'm like, is that purple? No, it's pink. No, it's purple. No, it's pink. Moron. Nope, the place with the electrodes has thief. Oh. Nah. None of my Pokemon learn thief anyway. I mean, unknown can't learn another move, and Golem doesn't get it, so it'd just be it'd just be pointless. Will you reset the odd egg if it isn't shiny? Correct. I will reset it. Go for Elekid. Electabuzz is my favorite Pokemon. I guess I could. Like, if I theoretically dropped, like, Colosseum XD, I wouldn't need the Electabuzz line in those games. Uh, because there's, like, a gift Elekid you can get in uh, in one of them. I think it's XD. And then you can evolve it into Ele Electabuzz. But I also want to use Electivire at some point. I think that would be based. Yeah, this hunt feels like it's going much faster because I'm running into these guys 100% of the time. And I'm, like, being very efficient with the way I'm doing the, uh, the up and down movement. WrestleMania Night 1 just ended. No spoilers. This is good, if not better, than Mania 39 Night 1. That's great to hear. Because I thought Mania 39 Night 1 was the better half of last year. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out after I'm done with this. Damn. <laughs> this is going to be the longest 40 minutes of my life. I really want to watch into WrestleMania Night 1. We are getting there, though, chat. Again, we got 43 minutes left of the stream before the YouTube cuts off the VOD. Um, if we can, can we increase the timer by, what is it? 37 minutes. We need to increase the timer by 37 minutes, uh, to keep us at net neutral 55 hours. We started the stream at 55 hours. Can we hit 55 hours again by the end? That is up to you, but we only need 37 minutes to do it. So what? Eight memberships? If somebody wants to gift eight memberships, or if anybody wants to uh, divvy it up, or, you know, it's all it's all up to you guys. It's all if uh, if you're financially uh, stable enough to be able to do so. Of course, uh, that's, it's like, <laughs> God, I always feel bad about saying, st saying this stuff, because, like, I don't want to ask people, but I also want to make this series, but I also know that I can't make this series if I'm sacrificing all of my other videos. Why won't you encounter? There we go. Only 10 likes away from 700. Also, yes, make sure to like the stream. Let's see if we can get over to 700 by the end. I'd very much appreciate it. Double check, triple check. Uh, scroll down, tab over. Very, it really does help a lot. Logan Bender, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Or the five gifted memberships, excuse me. <laughs> I'm on the wrong platform. If you, t if, you if you didn't get one, type dodged in chat. It's as simple as that. Uh, so this goes up to 43. And Shiny Wobbuffet, thank you for the other five gifted. Again, if you uh, didn't get one, type dodge in chat. It's as simple as that. And that will put us at net neutral for the day. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Okay. There we go. It's funny how, like, the... Um, Oh, sh Jesus, I forgot that I was using left and right, that I was uh, using the L and R buttons to go up and down for a second there. I was like, oh, shit. XD and Coliseum can be RNG Minip for shinies. I saw a video of sh someone catching every shiny in XD with RNG Minip. Jeez. I don't know if I can do them all on stream or learn how to do it, but I, will, I can look into it. If I can't figure it out in time, I'll probably skip the games. But, uh, we'll see. That one didn't count because I didn't hit the space bar. I'd love to see if we can hit a thousand counter encounters by the end here. Or, better yet, we can just get the shiny. Uh, but I don't think we'll end up getting it just because my luck has been pretty bad today.
Uh, ran away from the first shiny I ever encountered, full odds, because I thought the star meant it, it was a Pokemon I released. Oh, that's funny. Shiny before 300, that would be dope. Because again, we did go through like a, a ton of Zubats, a ton of Geodudes, and a ton of Dunsparces in Dark Cave today, and we just didn't get anything. Like we legitimately shiny hunted for probably nine and a half hours, ten hours almost, and didn't get shit today. So like, that's ten hours of encounters we've already done before jumping into the place where we actually want our encounter. I remember when I found my first shiny. I one-shot it. Big rip, Zachary. I'm so sorry. That's so rough to hear sometimes. Wingull and Emerald. That's a cool one, to be fair. Shiny at around 2,000. I hope it doesn't take that much, but I, I, you know, I can't really complain. I think we'll be just fine. Shiny at exactly 696. That's a hell of a prediction, Tay, man. Ran into a shiny Weedle and Leaf Green first time through Viridian Forest. Didn't have Pokeballs. That's a big rip, my friend. That is a big rip if I've ever heard one. Better if shiny at 420. Very true. Shiny at 6969. Nick, why are you being so antagonizing? Like, all of your messages have seemed rather antagonizing today. And I, I do not appreciate it. If you would uh, be willing to stop, or I can time you out. One of the two. Pretty true. I appreciate you at least admitting it. Because <laughs> I, I was pretty sure I had seen your name pop up earlier. And I was like, oh, he's being a weenie. But I, fi I finally was like, all right, I'm, I'm just going to say it now because I'm annoyed. I'll post it in the Discord, by the way, mentioning the Discord. You guys should really join the Discord. Uh, join it. It's Keck L. Neff. Uh, well, if you want to, if you want to join the Discord, you know the easiest way to do that is by using exclamation point Discord in the chat because that gives you the link to the Discord. I predict that the last Slowpoke you find will be shiny. Well, if it's today, that would be cool as fuck. I caught my first shiny in Fire and Leaf Green. It was a Spearow in Treasure Beach. Uh, I thought it was special Treasure of the Beach and spent so many hours trying for another. My God, really? That's so funny. I need to uh, I need to edit the FAQ. I'll edit it for next stream. I, we only have like 35, 37 minutes left. No, he did not get the bat. We did not get the bat. We just went forward and uh, we just got surf because it was easier to hunt for Slowpoke because it's a 100% encounter rate on uh, in water. What was the final Zubat count? 8,192. No bat. I was like, oh, we went at odds? Nope, not going any fucking higher. Not doing it. Thank you, Tay Man. I very, I very much appreciate the, uh, I will echo the sentiment. If y'all haven't, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and join the Discord. As Meatball deserves it. I, I don't deserve shit. Um, I may have earned it. Uh, that's arguable. I think pe uh, I didn't earn it. I think people just enjoyed it. So, uh, enjoy my stuff. So, you know. Did Bayleaf die? Yeah. Nothing like a whole waste of two days. I agree. But hey, at least we got two more. Oh, at least we got two more. Uh, two more badges. We got two more badges today. I can't complain about that. At least we paid you for the pain. I I was trying to be as efficient as possible, but I also didn't want to waste people's money anymore. 
Hey, no one deserves 20k encounters of literally nothing. That's fair. My first shiny was my first Pokemon ever. My first time playing Pokemon, I got my starter Chimchar. I, it was shiny, and I, of course, did not know you needed to save the game. You didn't save the game? You just turned it off? At that time, I thought you always had to manually save. Like, I don't, I'm not familiar with any games pre-2007 that were, like, auto-saves unless they were on console. But even then, I think that was a new concept for the fifth generation of consoles. I don't think that was a thing that was on handhelds. Either way, unfortunate, but also, damn, how did you fumble the bag that hard? Are you still planning on making one giant video for the last run of the entire series? Uh, I have Nick doing it. I don't know if he's doing it yet. Um, I will reach out to him because he should be waking up. Also, yes, my editor's name is also Nick, not not the Nick that has been in chat here. Um... Alolan Richu, thank you for the $2. I'm back. Did you get the shiny Blight and Bat? We did not. We just went forward. We uh, Bayleaf got killed. Um, <laughs> we got Surf. So now uh, Slowpoke is a 100% encounter as opposed to 15. Who would have guessed? I would have expected the same antagonism from my own Nick. It's okay. <laughs> Can't become a member, so I subbed over on Twitch. Oh, I just told somebody, don't do that, because I, I don't think I can add time from that. Because if I do, like, I'm going to be opening up a can of worms, and I don't have, uh, I, I don't want to be having to check that as well. Uh, the It's just so much easier for me to look at this, at, at the YouTube stuff. Check gamer subs. I will at least check gamer subs. I haven't checked that all day. That's another 36 minutes to the timer, folks. Yasun, thank you for buying a tub of gamer supps. Uh, I'm going to be nosy. What did you get? You got some lean. You, you got some lean. Based. That's right. You can get lean off of gamer supps. It's not real lean, but the flavor's name is lean. Proceeds to gift Twitch subs. No, please don't. I did not buy anything. I was just asking for you to check. Oh, then somebody else bought it. Uh, how long ago was this? Like, two hours ago. I thought you bought it. That's funny. I thought you said to check uh, because you bought it. That's funny. Uh, Alola reach you with another two. Let me add those to the to add that to the timer too. Very funny. But thank you for reminding me. Don't have money right now. Fair enough. I appreciate you at least being here for the streams though. At least I'm giving you some sort of entertainment. Purple lean. <laughs> True. Will you continue with the non-shiny franchise lock when Legends EA comes out? No. Season 1 is over. It's the same thing that Simo uh, did with his progression series. Even though he started Season 2, um, and like Season 1 ended with Burst of Destiny and they were still releasing sets, it's not like... So they went back to season one every three months to continue it for with the newest set. They just started doing season two. And that's the same thing I'm doing here. Wonder how lean tastes. I don't know. I don't. I Yeah, lean is a drug. That's why it's funny that one of the uh, uh, gamer subs' like, uh, flavor names is literally just lean. Don't do drugs, kids. But make sure to buy a lot of gamer subs. <laughs> uh, I'm just being a shill right now because it's funny. I think, come on, the flavor's name is Lean. It's, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. Dang, I just realized we got 84 new members today. Y'all were really generous today. Thank you to everybody who gifted, to everybody who decided to become a member themselves. Y'all are awesome. Thank you again very, very much. Can we break till triple digits? I've never broken triple digits on one of these streams. 
on memberships, we would only need 16 more. But it would be so neat to finally be able to say, yeah, we, we broke triple digits. Cards? We only need, we only need uh, 15 more now. Thank you so much for gifting a uh, membership to Daily Show. Boom. The timer. Oh wait, I'm reading Nightbot again. It's that time of night, uh, that time of night again, where I'm starting to read Nightbot, thinking that it's a human. FAQ needs updating now. I know. We only have like a half an hour of stream left, which is why I, uh, which is why I'm not updating it until after I'm done. I hear that flavor pairs well with black and mild. What the hell are those? Is that a flavor I don't know about? Or am I just getting duped? So you're going for Slowpoke now. I am. Gonna have that steak when you're done? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yes. Would it, it would be cool if you banned everyone that got a gift sub for 10 minutes so the people saying dodged all the time would finally be funny. I'm asking them to say dodged, Dante. That That's just, that's just a thing. It's like whenever I say, oh, thank you for the five gifties. If you didn't get one, type dodge in chat. It's as simple as that. It rhymes. That's why I say it. Well, that and I also stole that from MBT. <laughs> it just kind of rolls off the tongue, though. It's like, it's, it's, it's cute. I like it. How did you lose the leaf? Exclamation point bay leaf. And that's with double E, it's not EA. We're just going along with the bit. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know what was funny, too? So this morning, uh, well, last night, because we ended on... 5,450 Zubats. Um, I ended up leaving my computer on. I just put it in sleep mode, which leaves all the LEDs on my computer uh, on. The reason I did that was because I didn't want to have to click the space bar 5,450 times this morning before I uh, I streamed because the, this, this, the little uh, site that I'm using does not let you just manually input how many times you've hit the space bar. You have to hit the space bar. So I just left it on, um, and luckily the sleep mask that I got recently literally blocked out all of the light, the, the LEDs from the computer, and I was able to sleep uh, nice and tight last night, uh, as much as I physically could. There was some, like, insomnia in there, like I, I woke up, like, twice in the middle of the night, but I also did at least, like, not have to deal with the light part, the light, the light part, which was pretty frustrating, usually, so... Bayleaf died, yeah. So you have my game for Heart Gold. Uh, if I want to hunt it, which I don't know if I do, but maybe it would be worth it, I guess. If I get lazy, I might just leave it for Soul Silver. Or if they reveal it for Legend ZA by the time I get there, I might just leave it for then. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Dishwasher did die. Uh-oh. Dishwasher? Are you talking about my bay leaf? Even though you're saying dishwasher? For some reason, I'm thinking you are. Unless you're telling me about your dishwasher, in which case... Damn, bro, that sucks. <laughs> Bayleaf had too much lean. True! And folks, if you want to have too much lean yourself, you can use exclamation point gamer subs and go buy yourself a 100 serving tub of lean. It's real. It's not, it's not real lean. If I said that, that's drugs and I'm not allowed to pr promote that on YouTube. It is a flavor of gamer subs, which is a, um, an energy drink that's, uh, keto, uh, keto friendly 
sugar-free, and not at all actual lean. Okay, YouTube? It is not actual lean. We are just making fun of it because the flavor name of this product that is not real lean, it's just called that because they're shit posters. Thank you, YouTube. Cha, pay attention. People have been calling Bay Leaf Dishwasher for like a very long time now, and it makes total complete sense, I swear. What the fuck? I, this the, I don't know. Real lean. No, it's not real lean, damn it. You're leaning too hard into the joke. God damn it. I'm, I'm being had today. I'm just being had. Folks, also, like I said earlier, we are 15 memberships away from hitting triple digits today. I have never hit triple digits before. I... Would, I want to be able to say I, we, we got triple digits in one stream. Please? <laughs> Plus it boosts the timer. If we go net positive, I, I'm not complaining. Do you keep... Shut up, Jesse. That's a lot of members. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, bleh, uh, hi from France. Might be a stupid question, but what does lean mean in this situation? Honestly, I'm not even sure what lean is myself. I just know it's like a party drug. Folks, I'm going to look this up. A recreational beverage that commonly contains codeine cough syrup. That's it? Man, as a kid, I drank like three-fourths of a bottle of codeine cough syrup. Or maybe it was just like regular cough syrup. I don't remember. There might have been car codeine in it. But I think I did it because I was bored. It's codeine mixed with Sprite. Oh yeah, somebody actually did mention that the other day. No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot. Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. Here we go. No problemo. Who, who the hell has a lean drawer? Uh, somebody who loves gamer subs like me. I'm gonna have a lean drawer. It's gonna just be full, be full of tubs of lean. Not real lean again. God damn it! I just have to keep saying that. Helps you sleep. It did. I will say, I was sick when I did that, by the way. I was sick when I when I drank the, that cough syrup. And uh, it put me to sleep right good for a good for a while, and it, uh, it definitely helped me pass the time of being sick and getting better. I don't know if it helped or if it hurt, but, you know, it worked. It's typically prescription, not over-the-counter. Oh. Well, then, whatever cough syrup that I got, maybe I... <laughs> Did, is this like the the thing of you can get a, you can get a teenager drunk on grapes uh, uh wait sparkling grape juice but it just depends on how dumb they are it, did I fall to that oh shit kid me was stupid <laughs> damn it almost to 420 here we get ready for the purple true. Oh, wait, we are over 420. I thought you were talking about uh, what day it was, because uh, it was April 6th. Tomorrow's well, April 7th. Lean back and enjoy Cha leaning hard into the lean jokes. We lean an important lesson. Le lean sin. No, that doesn't work. Nah, it was funny in the first sentence. So did he get the bat? No. I got, I got irritated, and I moved on, and I beat Whitney. And I beat Morty, and I got Surf, and now I can hunt for it regardless. Uh, except we lost Bailey, because I'm dumb. Actually, I'm not really dumb. I just got crit on a fourth hit rollout, which was bullshit, especially because Reflect was set up. Nonsense. Nonsense. Complete nonsense. You must have... Uh, muscular fingers. Um, you can have mu muscular fingers, I guess. Maybe. I could. I have good rapid twitch muscle in my fingers because of how fast I can move them. 
Uh, I might not have, like, good, um... What's the other type of muscle tissue? I think there's rapid twitch and there's um, something else. Any uh, any experts on that in the chat right now? I'd like to see your rapid muscular fingers, if you know what I mean. I hate my life. There's, there's your rapid muscular fingers for the day. Fast twitch, cardiac, smooth, and skeletal. I remember there's like fast twitch and like slow twitch, I guess. I don't, I remember that being a thing that I learned in like school, but I might be applying it wrong here. I don't remember. I don't remember shit from school past like elementary school. Welcome back, Sins. I, uh, we only have like 20 minutes left. I'm sorry. Do I count this one? I don't care. Unknown being HP grass was foreshadowing all along. Maybe the hidden power was the types we may we lost along the way. There we go. I, I adapted the joke. <laughs> I adapted the joke to be good. Fast twitch, slow twitch are muscle types. Okay. Then yes, I think my fingers have pretty good, uh, pretty good fast twitch uh, muscle in it. School, you say? School. Remember that? Remember having to do that every day? Five days a week? 300 days a year? It's like being a professional wrestler, except way more fucking boring. Yo, I just got notified I was gifted a membership. Thanks to whoever did it. I don't know who did it, Orchid, but uh, congrats to you. you. You got sniped. You didn't dodge. How many tries on the Zubat? I went exactly on odds. I counted exactly Zubats. And I went 8,192 non-shiny Zubats. I don't know if I pressed it. There we go. I don't, uh... So, once I hit odds I was and didn't get a shiny Zubat within that, I'm like, well, there's no use doing this anymore. Apparently, the odds are a lie. Yo, cards 5,000. Thank you for the additional membership. Folks, we are only 14 memberships away. 14 from hitting double digits today. We are streaming for another 17 minutes. Are you guys able to get uh, get us there? I would very much appreciate it just for being able to say that I got that. And it, of course, uh, increases the timer. But I think it would be cool to say I uh, we managed to hit a triple uh, triple member, uh, triple new members, triple digit new members. I can't fucking talk today. I'm like running out of a, the ability to talk today. Jonathan Godbow, thank you so much for the five. Now we are nine away. I have to, uh, I have to count away or er, yeah, we're nine away. I keep uh, trying to pause the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, so that was five. So I have to add 25 minutes and shiny Wobbuffet. Holy guacamole. So an hour and 15. Yes. Yes, that is an hour and 15. Boom! Not bad if I do say so myself. 101 members today. Folks, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Not to mention, we went net positive today. We went net positive of over two hours on the timer today. That's in that's incredible. Thank you. Again, if we get if we keep that alive... We keep that alive through gold, silver, crystal. I get that video out. I'm able to uh, say that we're doing these and hopefully get the attention of uh, people that are not seeing these streams but are seeing the videos, which is a lot of my uh, subscribers and non-subscribed viewers. The series is going to churn, and we're going to see this thing reach its fruition all the way to the end, baby. And that's what we're going for because I want to be the first person to beat every single Pokemon game using only shiny Pokemon. I don't think there's anybody else that has beaten every single mainline Pokemon game using only shiny Pokemon. Especially with no repeats. Like, surely I would be the first person on the internet to do that, right? That would be sick. Now we just need more likes. Uh, it's fine. Did I count that? Did that hit? I don't know. 
Absol might have, but I don't know. Well, not with no repeats, I'm sure. If so, then... Goddamn. Hey, we got the hundred, uh, members. Wrong term. Pog! Hope you get the slow poke, but I got to hit them sheets. Have a sick one and enjoy your day off tomorrow. Thank you so much, Dante. Thank you for being a repeat uh, viewer over here at House Meatball while we just do the stupidest shit imaginable. And you, uh, you have a good night. I already liked I can't like anymore. I can't like anymore! I already like it enough! No! Uh, if you're watching the stream and haven't liked yet, then what are you even doing? You know, Jesse, you have a point. Yo, what's good, NTG Theorist? How are you doing? So if you got the Zubat, I didn't get the Zubat. But in water, chimps will drown. I mean, slowpokes are 100% um, encounterable, so it's actually faster to do this. It was just more of a risk to do to skip what I what I ended up doing. The the right strategy would have been shiny hunt Zubat, get dupes claws, get slowpoke, deal with any extra shiny Zubats that you end up getting first. But that would have taken days. And I just I don't think that was worth people's time and money. I think me taking a risk, me uh you know, playing it up. I think that I think people got a little bit of a kick out of me just going crazy. I think it was fun. I know that uh, it almost see uh, it like it is su like there's a half of a character like I'm intentionally playing it up. I am a little bit angry, uh, but it's it's a video game. I'm really at the end of the day, I don't care that much. Uh, I'm just I'm just having fun with you guys, and if I can if I can give you some sort of entertainment. You know, as, as, as a wrestling fan, I always appreciate trying to, like, embody a bit of a character. Um, you know. So, and I think that wrestling and content creation legitimately are, like, 90% the same thing. They are about characters that you see on a screen telling you a story. Wrestling's story is good versus evil with two guys half naked dancing around in a ring suplexing each other whereas the creators are telling you stories about good versus evil about history about tips and tricks about learning how to more uh, have more fun just like by themselves through their own character and like so it's it really is 90% the same thing it's learning how to talk it's being able to effectively sell yourself and, like, advertise yourself to get people's attention. But it's not just, like, trying to sell yourself as, oh, you should buy into me, but you want to be, like, real. You want to be as authentic as possible. You want to give some people something that they want to see. You don't want to just be, like, you know, trying to mooch off of them. Like, I, I do not like moochers. Uh, and that's why I, I almost hate doing this series, because I, I do feel like a, mo a moocher. But at the same time, I'm like, I know I can't do this series without you guys cont uh, contributing. Because I have to do other videos to, you know, sustain myself and survive. But, again, it is it is a big a big thing uh, for you guys uh, to be doing this uh, to help me. And I very much appreciate it. And I'm, I'm very happy to give you guys, in return, like, uh, some good entertainment. Brandon Stacy, thank you so much for the two gifted... Or, oh, you bought one for yourself, and you, uh, you, uh, you got one for another person. How kind of you. To Aaron Guy. I very much appreciate that. Can we not get the shiny Lapras? I'm assuming you meant it's type Lapras. Streaming while WrestleMania is on, though. I know, I know. I wanted to sit down and watch it. But I knew that if I pushed myself to get up too early, like to, to stream and to get it done before night one started, I was not going to have a good time. Um, so I'm glad that I, I just decided to start at my normal time. Man, how are you going to do the games that have the starters shiny locked? 
I'll figure it out when I get there. Um, uh, that's that's the only answer I have for those that are asking me that, because I've had that question a few times so far. I'm worried about this series hurting the channel with you being able to put out uh, essentially not uh, n essentially no content minus videos. Um, it should be fine. Especially because I know shiny videos do extremely well on this platform. Uh, like, look at Tion's channel. Uh, if, uh, if you guys are familiar with Tion, he's been doing shiny-only runs uh, occasionally. But he went like nine months without uploading or something like that. And his first shiny video back got like over a million views. Like, I did three in mine. Maybe it's because it was Gen 1 that people can't really see the shinies and I had to use a modified version of the game. Maybe that's why it didn't do as well as that. But, I don't know. I won't know if I unless I continue. And, uh, and that's why I want to at least get the Gold Silver Crystal video done. I think people are really going to start popping off once we hit the Gold Silver Crystal video. Hell, I might. Uh, hell, I might even be able to bribe Yon to react to it or something. If, I, if we do that, I feel like we'll be fine. That'd be funny. Honestly, I want to know what Yon would think about like what different strategy would go into routing uh, routing encounters in a shiny only Nuzlocke. Like that seems like something that he would be like, oh, oh, that's really weird. But also that like that sounds like hell on your time. But that's also really based. Like, I feel like he would actually uh, kind of get a kick out of it. But I don't know. I mean, I shared it with friends. I appreciate that. Technically, it's over. Oh, WrestleMania Night 1. I Again, I do not want spoilers. Please do not put spoilers in my chat. I will, I will, I will kill you. I will eviscerate you into the goddamn sun. And you will never see the light of day again. Thanks. Like that. Like, those are little, little like, bits of... You know, the Chaotic Meatball character. Where the Chaotic Meatball character likes to bounce between emotions and, uh, like, go from anger to funny to uh, lighthearted to going absolutely bonkers. Um, that's, like, something that I really like embodying because I love, uh, again, the name is Chaotic Meatball. There should be a bit of chaos in that. And, yeah. So, uh, I think I think that kind of gets it across i don't i always like say it like telling a bit of the magic behind it because i think it's fun i think that people would enjoy knowing how to do that because if they can craft their own creations based on their own character that they they kind of turn up a, uh like how do i say this like usually wrestling characters are that person like the best wrestling characters are that person like turned up to 11 or just like maxed out all the way um both their good and bad characteristics and I think that if you kind of are able to find that within yourself and you're able to also provide really interesting like content from your own knowledge from your own um, like niches that you enjoy and you pull ideas from other niches that you see content working in but you don't see that content in the other niche that you want to do and you're like oh let me see if I can apply this idea from this game and put it here like that is always something that uh, I always try to strive to do because I, I see something like take Nathaniel Bandy and uh, his videos that he's like, can I 100% every um, like every Kirby game in uh, in two weeks? Like I would love to be able to do can I Nuzlocke every Pokemon game in a month? Like I feel like that would be that would be season uh, that would be season three is me trying to sit down and do the entire thing in a month in one video. And that video will be like three, four hours long. First time checking out a stream, you're doing looking well. Well, thank you, Anton. I appreciate it for for going for uh, almost twelve hours now. I guess that's that's a very uh, nice compliment that I'm still uh, looking decent. That would be amazing. I initially saw the idea with the 3D Sonic games um, from Yakko uh, CMN. 
I really, I thought that that was a cool idea, like beating all of the Sonic, 3D Sonic games in one week. I was like, there's got to be a way to do that with Pokemon. I wonder if I could do that with spin-offs. I feel like spin-offs would do really well. I think that would be really cool. Man, this stream is going so slow, Poke. True! Child, why not do a four-part series? Each episode is one week of the month. I think it's not, in as, uh, not as intriguing. Like, people want to be able to consume all of it at once. It's like binge-watching a show on Netflix. People rather have all the episodes drop at once rather than waiting for weekly episodes. Some people prefer the wait, but I, I know a lot of people rather just have it all at once so that they don't have to wait. People are impatient these days. People have low attention spans. They'll forget and move on to the next thing, and that's why you want to put it all into one video. Uh, Pokemon Ranger would be cool, or Mystery Dungeon. God, I think I can do all the Mystery Dungeons in one week. I would have to do Red, Blue, Time, Darkness, Sky, Blazing, Stormy, Light Adventure Squad, the Japanese Wii Wear exclusives, um, Gates to Infinity, Super, and... Mystery Dungeon DX. God, could you do 11 games in 7 days? That seems hard. Especially for Mystery Dungeon? That seems crazy. I feel like you might need 2 weeks for that. I know that the WiiWare titles are shorter... Shorter games. In terms of... Um, in terms of length in comparison to other... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, but it could be done. Oh, I really want to do that. I haven't played any of the Mystery Dungeon games in years. Oh, I really want to do that now. I might, you know what, after the, after Gen 2 is done, I might take a break and do that, and then we'll jump into Gen 3. After Gen 3 is done, we could take a break and try some other spinoffs, like, uh, or we can, uh, I don't know. I, I want to do a bunch of stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's all up to you guys, too, if you guys want to keep me to continue doing Gen 3 right after Gen 2. I don't want to, like, be like, oh, let me stop the breaks just because I got a good idea this time, but, you know. I'm going to get 10 more encounters, and we are going to uh, jump out of here, and we're going to raid somebody. I appreciate you all sticking around, and if you can, just stick around for a few more minutes. I want to give the love to the next streamer, whoever it ends up being. Even if you don't want to stick around, it would mean a lot if you could drop a meatball raid once we go over there. Um, I always like to raid friends. I love to raid people that I don't know or that I know that are in the community that I don't have a good relationship with yet. Uh, just because I want to be as kind as possible to them and be like, Hey, just because I'm uh, a new, I might be a new face to you doesn't mean that I, I, don't, I want to be like a... Uh, alien to you and not like approachable so plus you might enjoy the content that the other person ends up streaming you know but with that that is 600 encounters 527 hours and 24 minutes today folks thank you very much for coming along today let's find who we can raid today Anybody streaming that I think is worth rating. I rated Pokey Aim yesterday. I don't want to do that two days in a row. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I, I, I saw that um, Akuma Nimune was live, but she ended like an hour ago. Maybe we need to... Oh, and yeah, same thing with Rima Evenstar. Uh, maybe we need to start doing streams earlier so that I can do raids because it's like midnight when we leave. Because usually I'm having a hard time finding people that I know that I'd like to raid. But usually the YouTuber, um, VTU the YouTube VTubers that I watch, like Akuma Nimune, like Rima, like uh, Nova Aokami, usually they're on a little bit earlier. But not like so much earlier that if I changed my, I would have to like go up uh, or um, get up like multiple hours earlier. 
Um. Yeah, there just doesn't seem to be anybody. Sorry, folks. I guess we will just end. That is okay. But again, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the, uh, the stream. Subscribe to make sure that you get the alerts for all of them. Make sure you hit the bell also and turn those notifications to all. That's something that I always see people forgetting to do.